<clears throat> sorry, I didn't mean to start with a cough. But, um, sorry, I was just eating. But hey, after this, you know, if you sit and watch through the whole game, right? You can, once your laptop's back, you can play through it again. <laughs> like I have many times. <laughs> Like, I played through the first game by myself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then I watched, like, a bunch of people play through it, like, Let's Plays. And then, um... And then I, like, play through it by myself again. And I try to get other people I know to play it and stream it to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so, um, hang on. I put the content warnings at the top. There's, like, a bit more specifics in on, like, the actual itch page. Um, like, if you want to, there's, like, a content warning list. I didn't put all of it on there because I can't fit it all on the screen. But I kind of summarized sort of what's happening. If you're iffy about it, please be aware. <laughs> oh, that's smart, though, actually. Going with different routes and options. Yeah. Okay, I didn't open the game beforehand because I was excited if it was like... Because <laughs> I was too excited. Oh, here you- yeah! Ah. <laughs> okay, hold on. hold on. There it is. The music, it's- obviously it's different, but it still has the same feeling to it. So yay! Ah! <laughs> ah! Okay, okay, hold on. The music I feel like is kinda loud. Give me a sec. It's loud for for me too. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um hold on. <laughs> uh, Okay. Um so butterfly soup too. Right, obviously, the sequel to the first Butterfly Suit, and it's set a few months after the events of the original story, so... Um, just like a super, super quick summary, kind of talked about it in the other stream, but like, if you're walking in, you're like, what's Butterfly Soup? Right, so, again, it's, it's gay Asian girls playing baseball too. <laughs> um, so if it's set after the events of the first story, that means Dia and Min are already together. Right? And, um... Wow, there's so many directions I can go! I'm <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Alright. Uh... My head's empty, let's go. <laughs> okay. Yes, roll that coin. Akarsha! Okay. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> um, pardon my voice acting and reading skills, I'll try my best, but it might just all just sound like me. <clears throat> get up, bitch, it's ready! Finally, out of the way, you'll get burned. Oh, Karsha, at the three-fourths angle? What the? Karsha gingerly pulls out the molten chocolate cake from the oven. Holy shit. <sighs> Thank god, it looks edible this time. This is our second try. Dio ruined the first one by forgetting to add flour. <laughs> well, it's, there's, there's like, there's way more sprite. Oh, ah. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I'm getting excited about every single thing. <laughs> yes, I'm like low key. Like I feel like has, isn't Akarsha and Noah like isn't this like their? Aren't they gonna get together? Is this the idea? Like, is that what's happening or is it not what's happening? I don't even know. <laughs> 
Okay, calm down. Focus. <laughs> What's with all the specs on it? It looks- it's like the batter wasn't properly mixed. <laughs> we worked so hard mixing it though? It's probably fine. Yeah, whatever. We don't have enough time to redo it at this point anyway. All we gotta do now is just write happy birthday Noelle on- Ah! Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, naturally. Akarsha pipes icing letters onto the cake as Min checks her phone. <sighs> Hurry up, Dia said they'll be here any second. Easy, I'm done- I'm done icing the first word already. Noelle. <laughs> Why the fuck did you write Noelle first? Oh no, is this the meme where it's like, um... <laughs> like, Noelle birthday, yes. <laughs> Oh shit, I got ahead of myself. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. Oh, it is! Oh my god! Okay, sorry. Akarsha frantically adds birthday to the cake. Wait, what are you doing? If you hadn't done that, we could have salvaged this with Noel. Happy birthday! <laughs> D don't ask me, that's what you get for rushing me. What do we write now? Noel birthday happy? It's gonna look like we had a goddamn stroke icing this. The doorbell rings. Min and Akarsha freeze. It's them! Give me the icing bag, you're not allowed to have it anymore. Okay, fair. I don't trust myself anymore either. <laughs> I'll go stall them instead. Yeah, keep Noelle outside. I just need like five minutes to figure out how to fix this. <laughs> if it comes out as Noelle birthday, yes, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Akarsha sprints to the front door and throws it open. Brought her. Well, 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 if it isn't fancy meeting what the cat finally decided- What? If it isn't fancy meeting what the cat finally decided to show up. Huh? What? Okay, good, I'm not the only one. What on earth are you saying? Noel narrows her eyes suspiciously at Arkarsha, then tries to peer past her into the house. Is this your house? Do you want to explain why we were walking here? Sure is. To be honest, Frenchman, we're here because, uh... I'm not ready to reveal the birthday cake yet. I gotta do something to distract her. Make your own death propose to her! <laughs> oh shit, what do I do? Both options are so tempting! <laughs> I'm gonna roll- I'm gonna flip a coin. <laughs> I don't know! Wait, is there a back button? There's a save, right? Oh, there is a back button. Okay, we can see both. Alright, alright. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Propose! Akarsha gets down on one knee. Noelle looks wearily down at her. Noelle, will you marry me? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Akarsha grabs Noelle's hand and tries to force the rubber band onto her finger. <laughs> what is that? Your engagement ring. I didn't agree to this, we're not engaged. You didn't say no. No! Too late, you didn't say it right after I asked you. That's not how it works, you adult. Is that any way to address your future wife? Noel flings the offending rubber band into the bushes. Oh, there's so many new sprites. Well, I mean, we've seen new sprites of Dia and uh, and Akarsha, though. Okay, I'm gonna fake my own time. <laughs> I'm like low-key just gonna go through every option, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I've been poisoned! Akasha theatrically collapses and lies face down on the floor. Uh? Used to Akasha's antics, Dia and Noelle step over her motionless body without comment. <laughs> wait, wait a minute! Akasha crawls, on, crawls to Noelle on all fours and seizes her leg with shaking hands. Let go of my leg. Wait, I seriously just threw up all over the floor in the kitchen. What? Why? That's what I gotta do to get your attention? I didn't even throw up. <laughs> Noel wrenches- Sorry, my voice. Noel wrenches Akarsha off her leg, then wipes her hands on her shirt like she just touched a slug. You're just gonna ignore me? I'm throwing up again! <laughs> Dia just stands there in confusion. Noel suspiciously looks from her to Akarsha. What's really going on? There's no way you made me walk just an hour just to act out this insane- inane skit. Oh shit. Sorry. I clicked too fast. Okay. <laughs> They're so cute. I love them. It only took that long because you wouldn't run. Once you run at least three miles without walking, you'll see how fun it is. 
I'm sorry, Idia, but that's never happening. Surprise! Oh, we're doing this? The cake must be ready now. But surprise! Happy birthday, Frenchman! Surprise! We put together a party for you. Oh, you... what? Noel is lost for words. Uh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! You're not the boss of me! It, it, it's my birthday, so shouldn't I have some say here? Anyway, I haven't said anything about not liking it. She grimaces like there's something disgusting in her mouth. I sincerely appreciate you all doing this. Oh, I like this. Go on. There's nothing more to go on to. That was all. It was nice while it lasted. Come inside. We baked you a cake. You did? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no, no, birthday. No. What what kind of save was this? What's that red squiggly under it? A heart monitor? <laughs> Why does it look like it's flatlining towards the end? <laughs> it's hard to control the icing, okay? And this was all Lucretia's fault in the first place. <laughs> oh, it's not like I like it, but yeah. Noel, who just can't be honest. <laughs> My fault? All I did was drive the train off the rails. You were the one who crashed it. Driving off the rails still sounds like a pretty big mistake. Oh yeah? Well, ultimately, this is Noel's fault for being bored. <laughs> Who's the real culprit now? Oh, good point. Okay, let's go with that. <laughs> good point! We won. Two against one. Democracy USA. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like I've seen this living room in so many houses. <laughs> I've definitely seen this exact living room before. <laughs> Once everyone had a slice of cake, a card- Oh, and this rug! Why does every rug- why, why does everyone have this specific rug? Like, it's always- it's just this design. Because <laughs> same- yeah. I don't know why the chat on the screen isn't working, but I can read it from the side. <laughs> I literally have that rug. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> this was originally going to be a sleepover, but I think, uh, but I think some of your parents would have said no. Dia nods. My mom's never going to let. Uh, my mom's never let me go to one before. She's worried you'll turn me into a lesbian. <laughs> Too bad for her. I already did. Yeah. <laughs> Karsha, I'm surprised your parents let us come over unsupervised at all. Uh, they trust me. They should be back any minute now, anyway. They're in San... San Ramon? Watching my bro's red belt test for Taekwondo. It must be taking longer, longer than they thought. Oh, okay. <laughs> test? I didn't realize you had to pass formal examinations to advance in Taekwondo. Yeah, you gotta memorize forms and stuff. I've never seen them fail anyone, though. Anyway, us being home alone means we get to go buck wild. Let's talk about what we're about to throw the party of a lifetime, Frenchman. Akarsha crouches at the foot of the TV and turns the GameCube on. Oh, right, this is set in 2018, oh, not 2018, 2008, if you don't know. <laughs> Mario Golf, baby. Golf? Are you sure Noel will like that? I don't know what you're talking about. Mario Golf is the best game in the world. I only have two controllers, though. I usually just play against my bro. No one should get to play first because it's her birthday. Yeah, and the rest of us should take turns playing against her. <laughs> Why do I feel like that's torture? <laughs> Wouldn't that feel like everyone ganging up against- Yeah! <laughs> Nonsense! You're getting the maximum amount of fun here, Frenchman. Akarsha hands Noel one of the controllers. Min grabs the other one and curls up on the couch with Theo. Oh. Akarsha, this better not be like your copy of Melee. <laughs> You don't even have any of the characters unlocked except for Marth. <laughs> Who needs Falcon or whatever when Captain Falcon is right there? Same thing, really. <laughs> you mean Falco? There's no fucking character called Falcon! <laughs> oh my god, the pixels. <laughs> Jeez, calm yourself, I unlocked everything this time, see? Min, choose Wario. We're team Wario. <laughs> Why should I? Don't you trust me? I guess, whatever. I suppose I'll be this... Pink princess. Akarsha glances over at Noelle. She placed her controller fat on the sofa and is pressing down on the buttons like she's playing piano. 
<laughs> what are you doing? Shut up! I can con I I can adjust the control stick with greater precision like this. Noel pinches the control stick between her thumb and index finger like a crab with a pebble between its pincers. Oh my god. Why are you like a grandma who's never seen a video game before? Don't you know video games cause violence? Sorry, I had to cough. I ate. <laughs> Those are bad lands. Min selects a dark lava-ridden course, an animation panning to the stage his first hole plays on screen. Wait, that looks difficult. I don't even know how to play this yet. Sink or sizzle, Frenchman. That doesn't sound like something you should be saying to someone on their birthday. <laughs> Noel hastily mashes buttons at random on her controller. Her character managed to hit the golf manages to hit the golf ball safely across a lava pit. Oh, so it's just luck. <laughs> it's not luck, it's physics. Big words from someone who was protesting she didn't know how to place 10 seconds ago. <laughs> After a few swings, Min successfully puts her golf ball into the first hole. The words boogie appear on screen. That kid's a boogie. Should I know? Aren't you you and Dia the sports enthusiasts here? I like real sports, not fake old people sports like golf. <laughs> Me too. Fake old people sports. <laughs> She's such a nerd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Noel fin finishes the hole with a triple boogie. On screen, Princess Peach collapses and shakes her head, devastated. <laughs> oh no. Haha, <laughs> loser! <laughs> you shut your mouth! Min hands Dia the controller for the next hole, kissing her adoringly on the cheeks as she does. Oh my gosh. Dia furrows her brows. For I can't talk. Dia furrows her brows, considering her options. Dia launches her ball straight into the lava. <laughs> At last, my chance to make a comeback. I'm weaker today because I'm not Luigi. If you insist. Of course Dio will like Luigi. <laughs> what is it? Oh, right. I was like, I was gonna, like, isn't Boogie, like, one after par? Boogie is one after par. Triple Boogie is three after par? <laughs> I don't know. My experiences is with Mario Golf, but not the GameCube, the Wii kind. <laughs> Noelle immediately hits her ball into the lava too. <laughs> I can't wait to see your face when we play Monopoly <laughs> later. We're made, we're playing Monopoly? Why? What, you don't like it? There's no skill involved, this pure luck. Silence, demon. It's fun to fantasize about your owning property someday. The game was not even designed to be fun. It was created to educate people on the dangers of capitalism. <laughs> but I like collecting the deed cards. They're such nice colors. <laughs> Noelle, let's make a deal. If you win the next hole against me, we won't play Mon Monopoly. <laughs> How's that fair? You've played Mario Golf countless times before. Hey, I've only tried this course once or twice. Honest. Noelle ponders this as Dia hits her golf ball straight <laughs> into the lava for the third time. Fine. Deal. Oh no, I roasted my golf ball again. <laughs> After countless attempts, Noel manages to complete the hole first. Yay, you win! It's a good thing your athleticism doesn't translate to skill at sports games. <laughs> Mia puts the ball into the hole with her next swing. She passes the controller to Akarsha. Your turn. You just totally let Noel win. Unfortunately for Frenchmen, I don't believe in going easy on the birthday girl. I'm pulling out all the stops. The words press A to skip appear on the animation showing the next hole begin to play. Accidentally press A as you take the controller. <clears throat> oh no. Akarsha presses A to skip the animation before it can reveal the hole's location. You cut it off early. Whoopsie daisy. I got too impatient. <laughs> Akarsha, where is the hole? I wonder. You worthless scammer. Akarsha smugly puts her ball, but it rolls smoothly into the lava. No! No! Ah! Saves you right. Noel sets up a trick shot against the wall. <laughs> Whoa, geometry! Be quiet, I'm concentrating. Noel hits the ball with a measured swing. Instead of glancing off the wall at the intended angle, it just ricochets back the way it came. <laughs> well done, Noel. You're back where you started. I hate you, you scumbag. I just don't even know where the hole is! 
Watch and learn, my friend. Akarsha expertly angles her shot so the golf ball rolls up a hill, then drops straight into the hole. That's how it's done. My days playing this stage against my bro have finally paid off. <laughs> days? You said you only play this stage one or once or twice. Well, scowls, but Akarsha can tell by the way the corners of her mouth crinkles that she's fighting back a grin. <laughs> you liar. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh-huh. Suddenly I can't hear. My, my ears are failing. How... Hello? Hello? <laughs> Akarsha! <laughs> Wario slaps his butt as the words par appear on screen. See, this is why Mario Golf is the best game in the world. <laughs> Noelle turns away so Akarsha can't see her face, but by now she's shaking with barely suppressed laughter. I win! I broke her! <laughs> I'm gonna beat the living daylights out of you! Oh god. <laughs> Violence! <clears throat> Akarsha yelps as Noel pelts her with slaps. Help! Murder! Murder! So, Monopoly? You got it. <laughs> yeah, I got Boardwalk! Welcome to my Santa Cruz of death. I'm using my entire savings for to pile four horses on it. Oh no, if I land on it right now, I'll go broke. <laughs> well, chances are you won't. And loaning all your money on a single property is pure folly this, this early in the game. Karsha's too funny. Karsha's so good. <laughs> Dio rolls the dice and breathes a sigh of relief when she safely patches Akarsha's killer board walk tile. After a few spaces, her dog token lands on Min's property. She begins to shell out the rent, but Min stops her. <laughs> you don't have to pay me. Huh? I don't? It's my house, so I'm in charge. You can stay there for free. <laughs> oh, cute! <laughs> Not so fast, that's not allowed! Oh. <laughs> when you land on property owned by another player, the owner has to collect rent from you. Akarsha flips open the rule book and pretends to adjust an imaginary pair of glasses on her face. Actually, it says here, the owner may not collect the rent if he or she fails to ask for it before the second player following the following throws the dice. Fails to ask for it before the second player following throws the dice. <laughs> so confusingly worded. Basically, it's saying if the owner doesn't ask for rent, the renter doesn't have to pay it. So Dia can sleep at my house. <laughs> what kind of buffoon penned these rules? If the renter and owner are in cahoots, the other players are at a disadvantage. Unless the odd ones out form an alliance to counter it too. Hmm, wanna be in cahoots with me, Frenchman? Not a chance. Don't say I didn't ask ya. You. You'll be singing a different tune once you land on my killer boardwalk. <laughs> Noel's phone buzzes, and her, faint pale her face pales when she checks it. Oh no. Oh great. What's wrong? Oh my mom, I texted her when I got to Akarsha's house. And I was having so much fun, it completely slipped my mind. Akarsha caps catches a glimpse of Noel's phone screen. It's filled with panic texts from her mom. Oh no. Mom. <laughs> are you having fun? Hello? Hello, Noel. How are you dotting? Mom! I mean Dewey, not dotting. <laughs> Colon parenthesis. <clears throat> Noelle's mom sucks, but... 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 Yeah. You may consider to call us when you can. Is everything okay? Where are you? You said you would text us. It's been almost two hours. Oh no! How come you're not picking up your phone? We're about to call the police! No! Jesus. <laughs> There's four missed calls, too. I think we were all shouting so much I didn't hear any of them. Dia jumps in surprise as her cell phone starts ringing. She stares at it with trepidation before fearfully pressing it to her good ear. Uh. Dia frantically hands Noelle the phone like it's a hot potato. Uh, Alright, I'll deal with it. Don't tell me it's the police. <laughs> Noelle answers the phone and leaves the room with a sigh. Akarsha can faintly hear her side of a frushing frustrating conversation. A few minutes later, she returns to the group, her face sour. We've cleared up the must understanding. I'll let them know I'll be here for a few more hours. Sorry my mom called you, Dia. That was humiliating. Humiliating. <clears throat> it's okay. Good thing she didn't report you missing yet. I know she means well, but it's honestly irritating how often she wirely over overreacts to perfectly harmless situations. She has no friends or hobbies, so all her brain power is spent on obsessing over me. Sorry we got you in trouble. It's not your fault. You couldn't have known. I should have remembered to text her once I arrived at your house. 
Noah joins Crick as she sets back down at the Monopoly board between Dia and Akersha. It's just me or all of the cool kids at our school, just the ones whose parents let them do the most stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's the girls who are allowed to wear makeup and hang out with their friends all the time. That's not always true. My parents are pretty chill, and I'm still uncool. <laughs> I'm just unpopular because I'm weird. Don't forget perverted and annoying. <laughs> I would like to add that you're a compulsive liar. Jeez, uh, wow, I didn't realize everyone had their own theories for why I'm not popular. Oh my god. My, my headphone battery is low. Uh... Man, I can understand Noah's mom, though. Because, <laughs> like, this is actually really recent, but, like, um, like, my parents called me and I didn't see. And they had to get the people who lived at my apartment. They called the apartment itself to ask if I was okay. Because <laughs> I had, not because, because my phone's silent all the time because I hate the ringing noise. And then, um, I just didn't look at it, man. But that- that one was my fault. Sometimes it's like overreacting, like if you're going to a friend's house, it's fine. I don't know, but yeah. <clears throat> Few turns of Monopoly later, Akarsha moves her top hat token to the Reading Railroad. <clears throat> Who's this this? Mine. Dia, bro me, please. I have a starving family and eight children at home. <laughs> 25, hand it over. You're murdering the babes, Dia! How about 24? Just one dollar can save a life. I like how since we found out it's possible to not pay rent, this turned into a car ship begging and haggling with everyone to not charge her. Wait, Dia, I'll roll for you. Double or nothing. So now this is a casino? <laughs> Dia assesses the thick stack of Monopoly money she's accumulated from not having to pay rent on Min's properties. Okay, I'll try my luck. Dia shakes the dice in her hands and drops them onto the board with a clatter. She got... Three. Three! There's no way I'll lose to that! Rolls the dice. Oh my god. Here we go! Here we go! Holding her breath, Akasha rolls the dice. Ten! Winner! I live another day! You're so annoying. I hope your next turn kills you. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> if I'm so annoying, why do you keep hanging out with me? Because I love to watch you fail. <laughs> it's Noelle's turn. She rolls a 12. Noelle only moves her iron token a couple of spaces before she starts to lose it. That's how Akarsha knows she's landed on Boardwalk. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> Shut up, you don't need to rub it in. She nearly knocks over all the houses Akarsha's piled up on the space as she slams her token down. How much is it? Oh, only 1,700. <laughs> to Akarsha's amazement, Noelle dissolves into laughter on the couch. Actual honest to God laughter. Uh, D dang, I gotta figure out how to do that again. Ah! Sorry. <clears throat> I should have put a content warning, an extra content warning for cringy fangirling. <laughs> As Min rolls next, Akarsha hears the sound of the front door opening. Oh, they're finally back from Taekwondo. Her little brother runs into the living room, wildly swinging his new red belt in the air like a whip. Do we get to see a sprite of her little brother or not? Oh, we do! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh no, I don't know how to say these. Uh, pr pratic? Pratic? How? How? Zabi? Zabi motor? He, f he flails his red belt, whapping the floor, couch, and everything else within a three foot radius of him. Ow, ow! This is my bro, uh, Pratic. He's basically me, but a guy. <laughs> I see you passed your test. A voice booms to the, through the house from the garage. Dad. Ben! Help carry groceries in! We stopped by Costco and bought nachos for the party! Yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah, Costco nachos! Sh should we help? No, he's talking to me. Be my guest, relax! No, I insist. It's my birthday, so... <laughs> it's my birthday you're going, to, you're going through the trouble for. Fine, hard to argue with that. Frenchman, let's go! Akarsha has to- This garage I've also definitely <laughs> seen before, it's so messy. <laughs> and all the faking bottles. Okay. 
Akarsha hastily stuffs her stock feet into her mom's sandals and walks into the garage with Noelle in tow. Is Praktik your only sibling? Nah, I have a big sis too. But she's like way, way older. She's in medical school already. That is a lot older. That was definitely an accident. But I think I was so awesome that it reminded my parents how cool kids are and they made my bro on purpose. <laughs> that is far too much information. So your sister intends to become a doctor? A neurosurgeon. Like, good for her, but it's almost kind of frustrating how perfect she turned out. She's just as bad as you. I can't even say my parents have unrealistic expectations because my sister actually met them. Oh gosh. Oh my god, dad! God bless you, USA! <laughs> dad! <clears throat> Akarsha's dad walks over from the trunk of the minivan with an armful of groceries. Oh god, what is he wearing? <laughs> Oh, so this is a birthday girl. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't have a good dad voice. Thank God you're- Thank God you're here! Oh, thanks God. My oh, dad always says thanks God instead of thank God. I don't know why. <laughs> well, it's my surprise party, so I don't have much of a choice in the matter. Akarsha said you don't like surprises, so you might go home already. What? <laughs> like my co-worker Carrot last week. When we threw her a retirement party, she stayed for only half an hour. <laughs> Your coworker is called Carrot? <laughs> yeah, the dad actually has a face? What? I guess, um... I mean, if your parent isn't a dick, maybe they have a face. <laughs> dad, her name's Karen. I really hope you weren't calling her dad at the office. Akarsha's dad tries to clear your path through the heap of shoes by the garage door. Meanwhile, Akarsha and Noelle gra each grab a couple of grocery bags from the trunk. Your dad looks very patriotic. <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel like the darkened faces might be a result of, like, like looking down and avoiding eye contact. So the face just looks shadowed by, like, comparison. You know what I mean? Like, when you just don't look at someone in the eyes, right? So you just don't really see their face. And that's, like, represented by the shadowed black this, right? But like, Akarsha's dad and Akarsha get along fine, so she looks him in the eyes, like that sort of thing. I don't know, I may be looking way too much into it, but yeah. <laughs> Bad parents get their face privileges removed, exactly. <laughs> Your dad looks very patriotic. Yeah, he thinks being American is really cool, so he likes to buy stuff with eagles and flags on it sometimes. I see, is he really into politics? No, my parents don't know anything about politics. Every election, they have one. They, they have one of them vote for a Republican. And keep, wait, what? Every election, they have one of them votes for the Republican candidate, while the other votes for the Democrat. So they cancel each other out. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what is this? Why do they bother voting if they don't care who wins? Yeah, they just want to feel included. I guess it's pretty silly. Oh my God, Akarsha's mom. <laughs> Akarsha's mom smiles at Noelle as she steps out from the passenger seat. Oh my god, she was sitting in the car the whole time fixing her hair and replying her lipstick. No one cares, mom! <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry we're late. We thought we'd be back before everyone came. It's not stupid GVS's fault. It wanted us to go on all these strange routes. You know, if you've just followed- what? If you just followed its- it's a the, 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 Sorry, I can't talk. If you just followed its directions all the way, it probably would have been faster. No, I could predict that there was traffic on 680. I would have known, I lived here for 20 years. Speaking of driving, I have a great idea for an invention. Cars should zap bad drivers. <laughs> z z zap? As in with electricity? Just through the steering wheel. Not enough to kill them, but enough to hurt. Steal my parking spot- yeah! Arkasha's dad minds being shocked with electricity. Oh my god, stop it. With all due respect, that sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> I love how bluntly honest Noelle is. <laughs> but everyone would learn so fast. Hasn't Akarsha told you I'm a genius? Her smarts run in the family. I should patent my car zapper along with my telephone idea. The telephone idea? It's the same thing except the telephone shocks telemarketers. <laughs> I'm dubious the patent office will approve either of those. What, you don't think it's a great idea? Hello, will you buy your product? <laughs> Akarsha's dad shakes his arm as if being shocked again as he walks into the house. What's wrong with you? 
Of course, his mom follows him inside with an exasperated expression on her face. Finally, they're gone. I thought I was gonna die of embarrassment. <laughs> Noel is still staring after Rakarsh's dad, fascinated. Your dad is such a character. He's so outgoing. Oh yeah, he loves talking so much. He never shuts up. <laughs> I feel like this explains a lot about you. <laughs> really? Like what? I see where you get your sense of humor from now. <laughs> oh, well, no, my jokes are totally different. You can't deny there's some similarities. From my observation, your parents have a lot of influence on their kids' personalities. Oh wait, from my observation, parents have a lot of influence on their kids' personalities. No way, I'm funnier than my dad. I'm an enigma. You'll never figure me out. Actually, I think I already have. For instance, your worst fear is earnestly trying at something and failing. Oh shit. So even though you're perfectly intelligent, you use your goofy disposition to preemptively make a fool of yourself on purpose. No, no. I do not. Give me an example. When we play Monopoly, you sink all your funds into board boardwalk. When we play poker, you eat your cards. When we play baseball, you clutch your head and claim you're having a psychic brain attack. I just like providing fun for the whole family. I doubt that's it. This, this extends to every facet of how you present yourself to the world. You're insecure about your appearance, so you go out in this outlandish hairdo with this windbreaker and flip-flops outfit. You're worried people won't like you, so you act like a circus clown. Rather than risk rejection, you set yourself up for failure to feel in control of the situation. But oh, what the- I feel really exposed. <laughs> You're one to talk of fear of failure, miss I argue with the teacher that my multiple choice answer was technically also right. I would contend that makes me more adept at sensing that trait in the others. <laughs> Sweating profusely, Akarsha lets out a nervous laugh. Her, her read on me is scarily accurate. No one's ever seen through me like this before. How much attention is she paying to me? Wow, I feel- right? I feel so called out. <laughs> like, oh shit, Noelle. And tone it down a couple notches. <laughs> Usually you don't watch someone that closely unless you like them. Uh, unless? Uh, just kidding. Unless? <laughs> oh. oh my god, I'm gonna... By the end of this game, I'm just gonna have an aneurysm and die. Like... <laughs> ah! like she pays so much attention, but she's like not aware of it. Unless... <laughs> Akarsha watches Noel closely as they haul the food inside. She can't help but grin as Noel ascends the gar garage's concrete steps with the grace of a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Suddenly, Noel turns to her and gives her an unreadable look. Uh, what? Akarsha's heart skips a beat as Noel reaches out to her windbreaker sleeve and plucks something from the fabric. There was a grain of rice stuck to your jacket. It was bothering me. Noelle holds up the offending grain of rice between her fingers. Uh, oh, that's an accessory. Put it back. <laughs> Akarsha feels a jolt of euphoria as Noelle rolls her eyes and lets the corner of her mouth quirk up for the briefest moment. Oh shit. No! Not the shit again. No! Monday before- Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. Also, like... I was gonna have to sedate me when they start fading. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. <laughs> also, like, just as another observation, I feel like... Isn't, like, Akarsha and Noelle's relationship similar to Akarsha's parents, right? Where, like, Akarsha's like her dad, like, he makes- she makes all these jokes and acts goofy all the time, and then Akarsha's mom is just like, oh my god, this guy. <laughs> But like deep down she like likes him of course. Right? Like like yeah, like oh my god. Are they the similar? They're similar. <laughs> Akarsha daydreams about Noelle as she uses one of the library's computers. I'm so fucked, I can't stop thinking about her. We haven't even known each other for a whole year yet, but she already knows so much about me. But we're closer than a lot of couples who really are dating. She can tell when I'm about to say something annoying before I even open in my mouth. I can't talk. Uh, she knows I have a big sister, which is like a rare Akarsha fact because she's so much older than me. Heck, she's met my parents already. That's a couple way thing, right? Akarsha, please. <laughs> the heck are you doing? Ah, you scared me. I said hi like twice. You must be really out of it. She's so down. She <laughs> yeah. She's she's down bad. She's down bad. Down abysmal. <laughs> I said hi like twice. You must be really out of it. 
I was just focused on the computer. Akasha points to the screen to try to sell her point. I'm editing my report card in at MS Paint. I intercepted it before my parents checked the mail yesterday. Watch this. On the computer, Akasha fo photoshops her B plus in English into an A minus. A minus? Why not just change it to A plus? Nah, A minus is more realistic. Now I just gotta print this out. Don't tell anyone I did this, okay? Who do you think I am, Noel? You're not even changing your actual grades, so you're not really cheating. You're right. I'm just cheating my parents' brains. Mind hack. <laughs> Akarsha! <laughs> Akarsha pulls her new and improved report card from the tray. It's still warm from the machinery, like fresh laundry. I'll do your report card too if you're giving if you give me twenty dollars. Nah, can't be bothered. I don't care what my parents think. <laughs> Sorry, I have to cough. <clears throat> this, is, this is what I get for eating right before streaming. <laughs> wow, you're not worried about disappointing them? Why should I be? They don't seem that worried about disappointing me. Ooh, that's deep. Even though Min gets horrifying grades, she's pretty smart in some other ways. She did manage to get together with Dia after all. Maybe she has tips for this kind of thing. <laughs> oh, oh man. <laughs> Actually, can I ask you a question? Yeah, what? Uh, hypothetically, if you had a crush on a friend, what would you do? <laughs> hypothetically, not like it's already happened before or anything. <laughs> or it's currently happening now. You have a crush? Who is it? I can't tell you, it's embarrassing. Is it someone I know? Uh, seriously, I'm not telling you. No one you can know. Is it Dia? What? No, I'm not trying to get my throat slipped by you. Is it me? <laughs> <laughs> She's so slick. I, I love this- I love this reasoning. Is it Dia? Is it me? <laughs> uh, no, but no more questions. I'm not exposing myself. What happened to being a love expert or whatever when I was trying to kiss Dia? Why don't you just follow your own shitty advice? Admittedly, it's easier said than done. Look, it's exactly like what you guys said when I was on that date. Don't overthink it. Just be straightforward and tell him how you feel. <laughs> you sure? They don't feel the same way. This could end up destroying our friendship. Yeah, just do it. You can even try one of the stupid fucking pickup lines you keep practicing on my girlfriend. Okay, okay. I, I promise I'll stop doing that for real. I just feel like hitting on my crush directly is a massive risk, though. Well, it worked out for me. You never know if unless you go for it. What's the worst thing that can happen? They reject you? Getting rejected is a huge deal. It'll make everything so awkward. I mean, yeah, but that's just a risk you have to take. You don't get it. This isn't just me being paranoid. This has literally happened to me before. None of you went through the same middle school as me, so you don't know. Not only did my crush start avoiding me, but she told the rest of our fan group and they stopped talking to me too. What the? That sucks. Yeah, no kidding. I try not to think about it much. Well, that wouldn't happen this time. Even if it blows up in your face, you still have me, Dia, and Noelle. Huh, <laughs> right, obviously. I'm gonna sink into a hole. The bell rings. No, being direct about it feels too risky. I'm not even sure Noelle likes girls. Heck, like, I've never seen her express any kind of attraction to anyone at all. Is she just fellow repressed? In any case, I don't want to embarrass myself. The only safe way to do this is to seduce Noelle so hard she's compelled to confess to me first. That way, if it doesn't work, I can write off all the flirting as a joke. There's no way this could go wrong. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna go wrong! <laughs> Oh wait, hold on. My thing is running out of battery. Give me a sec. Uh... Holy shit, my charger is hot! <laughs> yes! Like, I can't even read things properly because my mouth is stretched. <laughs> <clears throat> <sighs> okay, okay. Time to look at everything. Examine bookshelves. Min crosses her arms as the crush browses through the shelves. I fucking hate libraries. What? What? What's there to hate about libraries? It's free books? Well, I guess the books are okay, but librarians are the worst. Why? This one time when I was seven, when I was like seven, I looked up a bunch of bad words on the school library's computer. The librarian saw my search history and got me banned from there for a month. What words did you look up? It was just a bunch of swears I got curious about. Like, damn and fuck. I remember I searched middle finger too. Love that you thought middle finger was a bad word. 
Yeah, I was so innocent as a kid. Uh, I'm not sure innocent is the right word. <laughs> Just, oh, okay, you can see my cursor. Alright, cool. Just making sure. <laughs> is Noel still fake tutoring you to trick your parents into letting you out of the house? She actually tutored me for real sometimes. Wow, really? I haven't failed a single test since we started. She looks so proud, but not getting an F is a super low hurdle. Hey, oh, you don't know. <laughs> okay, let's go. Look at that. All right, protect your hearing. Min nods and covers her ears as her crusher walks through the library scanners by the door. <laughs> the book scanner alarms go off. You still haven't gotten rid of it. It's still there. Why is the library tag still sewn in? Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> The librarian looks up, seizes the Karsha, and impatiently waves her through. <laughs> she still has it. <laughs> I like how the librarian even knows that. Like, oh yeah, okay, it's a Karsha. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it seriously happens every time you walk through the scanners. Are you sure you don't have any library books on you? Of course, there's even a photo of me taped by the door now because after the first few times they searched me, they confirmed I don't have any. It almost feels like my backpack is haunted by the ghost of a library book. What'd that happen? Pissed off any books lately? No. Unless maybe Noelle counts as a book. And because I annoy her daily, the books are mad at me? Are you hearing how crazy you sound right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm embarrassed. I even said that aloud. Oh, I'm embarrassed I even said that out loud. It's probably just one of those things. Like, my magic rosin. Your what? Never mind. Forget I mentioned it. Your what? Magic Rawson. No, just never- Yeah, she never told her! She never told her! What do you mean Magic Rawson? What? Did you steal that from Noelle? The only person I can think of that has Rawson, as in like, for string instruments, is Noelle. Though I've never seen her play, but like, she has it in Dia's locker. Dia and her's locker, right? What? <laughs> okay. Never mind. Never mind, forget I mentioned it. Okay. I won't forget though. <laughs> Go to the bathroom. Ah, uh, the public school's girl uh, the public school girls' restroom. Probably the most disgusting place on earth. We didn't go. Return to the school library. <laughs> You're gonna go back to the library? The alarms will go off again. So? I'm nothing if not an agent of chaos. Ready or not, here I come! Book scanner alarm sound as the car should have been re-entered the library. Sound like the library- sounds like the library ghosts haunting me are alive and well. The librarian gives Okarsha a death glare from behind the counter as the alarms go off again. Is that really necessary? It's not like I can help it. I'm gonna do it again. Again? You're kidding. <laughs> I've never been more serious in my life. The, the blare of the book scanner alarm announces Okarsha and Min's return to the library. The librarian looks up, sees this Akarsha yet again, and slams her fist onto the countertop with surprising force. Oh, that librarian is definitely pissed now. Oh, we're gonna keep doing it. Here goes nothing. Sorry, librarian lady. The book scanner alarms go off. The librarian leaves the counter and begins power walking at Min and Akarsha. Uh, oh crap! We are speed run. <laughs> Akarsha and Min spin out of the library in a panic. I aspire to be her level of annoying. Yes. <laughs> As they escape, Akasha trips over her own flip flops. Oh no! Ah! Akasha throws her hand forward to break her fall onto the hard concrete. Mamma mia! Ow! This is so typical. Why do these things always happen to me? Shit, dude, you okay? Akasha starts to stop, stop sobbing for a second to assess the damage. Oh, actually, I'm fine. <laughs> Can I go again? My life will probably be in danger if I go back again. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> That's great. <clears throat> okay, locker room. I don't have gym until later in the day, and the baseball club doesn't meet until after school. By the way, our baseball team is called... Oh, right. Okay. Because they had you choose a name last time. I guess it's gonna stay consistent. Because, well, obviously you don't have your save from the first game, so... Yeah, it's last- I think I chose Global Warming. <laughs> yeah. 
That name was Noelle's idea. I bet the more time passes, the scarier our team name will be. <laughs> right now I need to go to first period and terrorize Noelle. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Go to class. Alright, I'm ahead to class now. Adios, bitch. Probably gonna go find Dia now. I feel like she's chilled out a lot since they started dating. I guess knifing people is less exciting than kissing your girlfriend. <laughs> She's blown me away too. If death bagels. <laughs> all good names. They're all good names. The only name that I don't like is Seme is because it's too cringy. <laughs> Alright. Oh, eavesdrop on classmates. I hear how my parents yell at me for studying late at night. If I slept early instead of cramming, I'd probably fail. And then I get yelled at for not studying. <sighs> That's so g <laughs> What? <laughs> That's so gay. At our school, it's really popular to say gay when you mean stupid or uncool. So you hear it all the time. Whenever people don't like something, they say that <laughs> they go, That's so gay. I had friends who used to do that in, in college. And then and then like halfway through they realized, oh shit, that's probably not not good for me to build a habit of this. So they changed from that's so gay to that's so straight. <laughs> Holy shit, this guy's being erased. Is this guy okay? Hello? Sir? Sir? Please? Mr. Stark? <clears throat> Hello, welcome. How is it that everyone else has Bama's hair while mine's all sad and thin? What happened, Gene Catastrophe? Damn. Yeah. I feel you. The other day I saw my side profile in a photo and it's like, Whoa! I really go around looking like that all day? Wish I could get plastic surgery. I feel like the more I look at the reflection, the worse it's gonna get, but I want to see all the dialogue. I'm sorry, Akarsha. That me. Oh, okay. Never mind. We're fine. Noel and Dia aren't here yet. I managed to set up a special surprise the other day. Hopefully everything's still in place. How does the teacher just let her do this? Like, that's my biggest question. <laughs> Last time she dropped a garbage can from the ceiling, it was like, when- like, how did the teacher not stop you? <laughs> what? A few minutes later, Akarsha looks through the window. Outside, Noel and Dia are approaching the classroom. Yes, come here, my sweet. Suddenly, a water bottle whizzes through the open door and hits the floor with a loud smack. It rolls across the classroom until it hits a wall. Huh? So, it's not Saran Rap today. Noel peers suspiciously into the classroom from the doorway. She experimentally reaches one hand inside and feels along the door frame, apparently searching for abnormal abnormalities. Uh, what's wrong, Frenchman? Afraid to come in? What did you do this time? What makes you think I did anything? Maybe the fact that you've done something every morning this month? Uh, two against one! Cheater, cheater! That's what you get, you worthless pest! What was the water bottle from? Thea retrieves the sacrificial water bottle. Meanwhile, Noelle haltingly walks to her desk with an arm outstretched ahead of her. Racing for all manners of assault, whether it be liquid, solid, gaseous, or in psychological in form. <laughs> After thoroughly inspecting her desk, she apprehensively sits. The surprise was that there was no surprise. <laughs> no. After a few tense seconds, Noel seems satisfied that the act of sitting down didn't trigger anything. Breathing a sigh of relief, she hefts a bulky laptop from her messenger bag. Yes, she didn't notice the extra wireless mouse USB I plugged into her computer last Friday! <laughs> I have the mouse hidden in my pocket! Akarsha! Dia takes a thin plastic folder from her backpack and floss it back and forth so it makes a wop 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 sound. Wait, hold on, it has Bluetooth? When did it's Bluetooth me? <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Dia takes a thin plastic folder from her backpack, flops it back and forth, and makes a wobble wobble wobble. Dia. Do you work on the counterpoint? I did a slide on sharks and dolphins as another example of convergent evolution. Noel scrolls to the slide in question. It's a solid wall of text with no images. Noel, no. <laughs> this is gonna put everyone to sleep. Noel's so confident that she's good at public speaking, but she has zero charisma or self awareness. She just drones on and on forever, oblivious that she's lost the audience 10 minutes ago. I love her. <laughs> Sorry. 
Wait, I already made a slide about that. Swimming. Leo scrolls to the previous slide. It features a photo of dozens of fish and dolphins swimming in the ocean. Cryptically captioned, good shit. No one but you is going to understand this. Neither of them are paying attention to me right now. Time to shine! Jiggle the cursor. Close the PowerPoint presentation. No! What if she didn't save? I don't want to ruin it. I'm sure it doesn't really matter in the end, but... Wait, no, but she said she added it last night, so she probably would have saved. She didn't add anything just now. Okay, let's close it. Akasha swiftly moves the cursor to the X button and closes the document. <laughs> What was that? I think it crashed. I bet it's because you typed too many words on one slide, Noel. No, well, even Bill Gates didn't see this coming. Noel <laughs> reopens PowerPoint and squints suspiciously at the slide in question. <laughs> that can't be it. I fit more words on this one slide. Uh, what? I, that can't be it. I fit more words than this on one slide before. <laughs> you have? Good thing we just saved. We didn't lose any significant progress. While Noelle is busy typing an essay-length caption, <laughs> Akarsha quickly closes the program again. <gasps> See? There it is again! What's going on? You've been hacked, Noelle! Don't tell me, you fell for those pop-ups ad advertising hot single ladies in your area? <laughs> as if! Look, it's moving on its own again. Noelle clenches her mouth harder, as if they'll help her regain control of the rogue cursor. Akarsha makes it drift towards the control panel. Oh no, Akarsha, no! Akarsha wiggles the mouth in her pocket. Nia's eyes flicker to the movement of fabric on Akarsha's windbreaker. <laughs> oh shit, oh no! Nia grabs Akarsha's wrist and yanks it out of the pocket, revealing the wireless mouse in her hand. <laughs> it was you! Wait, wait, I just happen to have a mouse in my pocket. There's no proof this is connected at all! Nia wrenches the mouse from Akarsha's hand, but not before Akarsha uses her previous final moments to click on the control panel and change the mouse speed to the slowest setting. <laughs> Pathetic. I can revert your changes within moments. <laughs> you sure about that? Why don't you go ahead and try it? Noel tries to navigate back to the control panel. The cursor inches across the screen so slowly the movement is barely perceptible. <laughs> Akarsha! The bell rings! This concludes Noelle and Karsha's daily morning scream fest. Once everyone is seated, the morning announcements play over the intercom. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no, I don't know how to say this name. No! Bon- Bon- Bongra? Bongra? <clears throat> I can't make the- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Our first practice session for senior bongo is today after school night gym. Don't forget your t-shirt order forms. Our school has this tradition where seniors do a... B bon bongra? Bongra? I need to look this up, I'm sorry. <laughs> Pronunciation. Bongra. Okay, Bangra. Bangra? Bangra. Okay. Our school has this tradition where the seniors do a Bangra dance at the end of Multicultural Week. Guess that means we'll get to see Kristen and Liz dance. Oh, nice. The Japan Club's first meeting is the day after school and end at 6. I like the anime club. Besides discussing- <laughs> Besides discussing anime, we also eat Japanese snacks and learn Japanese manners and languages. That doesn't sound like a significant of a difference. <laughs> Our school may not have a football or baseball team anymore, but it does have hella new clubs popping up all the time. It's because everyone wants to be able to put founder and president on their college apps. Come to think of it, didn't Chris and Liz start the baseball club during application season? No way. Well, good for them, even if they had ulterior motives. It's been fun. 
<laughs> no way. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the rose thing. Oh my god. This Valentine's Day, the Rosal Student Association is kicking off their annual stu annual rose fundraiser. <laughs> For five dollars, we offer a rose to a special someone with a message of your choice. <laughs> you can even make it a bouquet for twenty dollars. Order forms will be distributed in third period today. <laughs> like anybody's getting me one of those. Nakasha serendipitously glances at Noelle, who's sitting beside her. To her surprise, Noelle is listening to the intercom as intently as if she was being graded on it. Wait, maybe this is my chance! I should act really pitifully down about being single and drop hints that getting a rose would make me happy. After seeing the love of my- After seeing the love of her life, me, in quote parentheses, in such a miserable state, Noelle will feel guilty that she hasn't got me one. Akarsha. <laughs> Akarsha sighs heavily and slumps in her desk. What's the matter with you? I always feel the worst about being single on holidays where I have no one to celebrate with. Like, Valentine's Day is supposed to be the happiest, most romantic day time of the year, but it just reminds me of how no one ever loved- no one's ever loved me. I bet Dee is getting roses this year. Must be nice. <laughs> What's there to envy? Flowers serve no practical purpose. They wither up within days and wind up, wind up in the garbage. What a waste of money. Of course you would think so, you upright spoil spurt. It's a thought that counts, though. I personally wish someone would send me a rose. <laughs> what? Did I say something funny? Not at all. Oh no, she's gonna do her thing! She's gonna do the, the, the freaking prank thing! Oh my god. Like, there's like this one part of Noelle that I like a lot, is that she's like actually extremely sadistic. <laughs> right? And she was talking to Dio, she was like, Oh yeah, let's plan this prank for Valentine's Day. Where we buy Akarsha roses, right? And then just write, like, um, something really cryptic, like, your secret admirer, right? And then, um, or, or put, like, really common initials, she said, like, I forgot exactly what the initials were, but yeah, right? And then have Akarsha just, like, run around like a headless chicken trying to figure out who it was, who it is, yeah. Man. Oh my god. Ah, uh, okay. Noelle goes back to reading her math mathematics puzzle book. Oh, so that didn't go as expected. Time to revise my tactics. Improvise. Adapt. Overcome. <laughs> After the day's usual math lesson, uh, the teacher brings out a stack of test papers. Alright, everyone. Clear your desks. Ah, huh? oh, what? A pop quiz? You know, I should have done that, but no, it's just camel today. Camel? Is that like standardized testing? Let me just double check. Camel. Not the programming language. <laughs> Camel test. What is Camel test? Camel competition is an opportunity for you patriotic mathematicians to compete against students from other schools in the country and state. Why do I feel like this is a California thing? California M Math League. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I just want to make sure. Because, like, because I'm from Illinois and Illinois also has, like, standardized tests that, like, are specifically in Illinois, like ISAT. <clears throat> oh, thank god. The camels are these math- oh, they explain it. <laughs> the camels are these math league contests we do every few months. They're 30 minute tests consisting of weird problems that don't have much to do with our current course material. It's just for fun, so they don't affect our grades or anything. Akarsha scans the six problems on her tests. Usually three of the problems are freebies you get- you'll get right if you have a brain. And then there's two you have to think about, and one hella tough one. Better get to work! On the way to lunch, Akarsha, Noel, and Dia check notes on their answers. What did you get on the last question? The one about the diagonal passing through the uh, 2012 uh, what 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 20, 2012 next 2015 unit grid. I drew the whole grid the best I could. Yes, three three thousand eight hundred based on that. Aghast, Noel drops her lunch box lunchbox as she pu pulls it from her locker. Sorry, I can't read. 
but Dia manages to catch it before it hits the ground. You drew the grid? There are thousands of units on each slide. Only roughly, I was running out of time. I had one minute left and didn't know where to start. But the answer was uh, 4026, right? The, the diagonal goes through the first square at 00, zero and then another uh, 2014 squares horizontally and 2011 squares uh, vertically. That's what I got too! Yes, if you got that, it's gotta be right! <laughs> Min gives them a weird look as she joins them. What's wrong with you? How excited can you get over a math problem? Clearly, you've never known the high of finding out you got the same answer as the smartest kid in class. <laughs> Noelle preens a little at the compliment. That's an exaggeration. No, it's not. No one else in our class got all six last- Oh, got all six right last time. Wait, you got all six? Don't they publish your name on a list or something online when that happens? They do. Dude, that's so impressive. The most I've ever managed was five. Five is still per perfectly respectable, though. It means you're better at math than the vast majority of high schoolers, and that's including all the way up to grade 12, not just our grade. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's seriously amazing that she's basically one of the smartest kids in the whole state. We're so different, but th at the same time, there's so many ways we're alike. We're so compatible with one another. We're so perfect for each other. Of course. <laughs> of course. Min holds the door open for Dia as they walk to over to their usual table. After you, princess. <laughs> Thanks. Mm, Min always treats Dia like this, even though Dia is strong enough to smash a hole through the wall like a Kool-Aid man. <laughs> She's down bad once again. <laughs> yeah. I guess Dia finds it romantic that Min is protect protective of her and stuff. Maybe I could try and move on like that, Noelle will fall for me. It, where's Min? <laughs> Once they sat down, Noelle struggles to open her water bottle. Ugh. Dia must not have opened it for her this usual this- uh, Dia must have not opened it for her like usual this morning. This is my chance! Here, I got this, babe. Oh no. <laughs> Akasha snatches the bottle away from Noelle and tries to open it. <laughs> no, shit! <laughs> this is surprisingly hard. And they say chivalry is dead. You disgust me. Huh, I was just trying to help. You are smirking condescendingly as you took the bottle from me. Uh, was not. Us too. You were smiling weird. Well, was I? Noel hands the water bottle to Dia with a huff. Okay, that could have gone better. Luckily, I've got one last trick up my sleeve. Oh my gosh. Before fifth period begins, Akasha schemes at her desk. Acting sad because no one was into me didn't work, so I should try the opposite tactic. I'll make Noelle think dudes are falling for me left and right. So if she likes me, she'll be pressured to take action or else I'll be stolen from right under her nose. I won't be on the market for long, I'm a limited time offer. Oh my god. Akasha goes over to annoy Noelle at her desk. Noelle punts down the thick tome she's reading to give Akasha her un undivided attention. Uh, yes? Can I tell you something? I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Who talks like that? What are you, a judge? <laughs> oh my god. She's so down, down abysmal. So yesterday, I was RPing with one of my online pals, XX Chiba. Oh, what? XX Chibi Asian XX on AnimeCrazy.net, and he asked me to be his forum girl, oh, his forum GF. I turned him down, of course. But I'm so popular, this happens all the time. <laughs> Never mind, forget I asked. Oh, she doesn't sound remotely interested. Suddenly, a sharp tremor rattles Noel's desk. What? Huh? Is this an earthquake? Quit shaking my desk. But I'm not shaking it? Noelle and Karsha look at one another, then at their violently shaking surroundings. <laughs> They're the ghost? You mean earthquake? Oh yeah, earthquake! <laughs> There's a ghost. There's a commotion as Dia and the others crawl under the desks for cover as taught by years of earthquake drills. Without thinking, Akarsha dives under Noelle's desk, leaving Noelle sitting dumbly in her chair. <laughs> Akarsha, what am I supposed to hide under it now? Oops, well, why don't you squeeze under here too? <gasps> ah! So wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, sorry. I'll, I'll calm down. I swear. <laughs> it's like a jump scare before my heart. <laughs> Sedating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I 
Karsha tries to make room for Noelle as she stiffly crawls under the desk. Every single one of Noelle's joints pop as she crouches into place. They're so close, Akarsha can feel the heat radiating off Noelle's skin. Is it just me or is this like really romantic? No, I'm just overthinking it. I gotta look at this objectively. Scally, Noelle readjusts herself and brushes her hand against Akarsha's. No way, does this, think, does this mean what I think it means? She must have done that because she secretly likes me. Confirmed! God bless America. I think it stopped. Help. <laughs> Noelle clamors back to her feet in a hurry. I can't believe you. I could have perished because of your selfishness. But you didn't. Talk about a win-win situation. What are the odds of an earthquake happening right as we were talking to each other? Maybe it's a sign from the universe that we're soulmates. I mean, think about it. What's more likely, that this was a coincidence or that the world revolves around me and is trying to tell me something? <laughs> Yeah, she's blushing! Ah! <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> it's obviously the second one. <laughs> Akasha comes home g giddy with the private conviction. What? What? Uh, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Akasha comes home giddy with the private conviction that Noelle lights her back. In spurt. In spurt of reckless courage, she boots up her family desktop in the computer room after dinner. Okay, I'm gonna confess my love to her. I have a really good feeling about this. Certified brain genius. Hey, do you have a minute? Why is your display name Certified Brain Genius? Uh, because I am one? Duh. What difference is there between a genius and a brain genius? It's a pointless dis distinction. No, 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 they're obviously different. Did you change it to this just to annoy me? I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't appreciate you questioning my certification. We ladies need to uplift each other. No point in having two queens fight. Queens? Right now I see you as nothing but an enemy to be obliterated. <laughs> okay, can we circle back to this later? That's not why I messaged you. Why did you message me then? I have to tell you something. What is it? I- Uh- Man, this is hard to say. <laughs> Emoticon! Switch off, switch off, switch off, switch off, switch off. I kind of have a crush on you. Uh, what? You're joking, right? Shit. Oh no. <laughs> Are you ready to have your hearts broken? I'm ready. <laughs> Harsh's stomach drops as Noel flat Noel's flat response flashes on the screen. Oh crap, that was not what I was expecting. If she really liked me, she would have jumped at a chance to say she felt the same way. Are you sure, Akarsha? Are you sure? Maybe Noelle knows you really well, but Akarsha's like missing- Noelle is ne never honest about her feelings. <laughs> or at least, like, whenever she tries to be, it's like, extremely difficult. <laughs> I know I would've. Which means, I was overthinking our rea interactions after all. Not a certified brain genius anymore. I've made a grave mistake. Abort mission, abort! Uh, just kidding! That was my brother, XD. <laughs> Brother? Yeah, he took the keyboard and typed that as a joke. I can't believe he did that. I, like, I never ever say anything like that. That crazy. <laughs> e underscore E. I see. Just forget this ever happened, okay? My bros are so random. LOL. I gotta go now. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Why she stay over Tess? Because <laughs> she's scared of confrontation. She's scared of eye to eye contact. <clears throat> Akarsha! Oh my god. You guys. No, it's too it's too early. Even if Noelle like kinda likes Akarsha, right? Which I like I'm sure she doesn't hate Akarsha, right? But like even if Noelle does have like budding reciprocating feelings, like it's definitely way too early. Cause she's probably never thought about Akarsha that way yet. You know? So it, it, you gotta have time, time. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna melt. Okay. Akasha powers the family desktop off, her heart pounding a mile a minute. <sighs> that was a close one. I somehow salvaged that and escaped unscathed. You sure? <laughs> Apart from my heart being broken into a thousand smithereens, I mean. Akasha dramatically throws herself onto the sofa in the living room. Used to this, her brother offers her piece of candy. <laughs> Wanna hide you? No thanks. Don't eat too many of those, they have dangerous oils in them. 
Okay, Dad. <laughs> Her mom goes into the room. Akarja just left to switch off. Akarja just left to switch off the light. What? What is this? D Diwali? Oh, oops. Sorry, I was having a meltdown. I forgot. <laughs> Wanna watch a funny movie with us? It'll make you feel better. What's the movie? She's the man. We just need to wait two minutes. It starts on TV at 7. Oh, <laughs> when they used to play movies on TV. Wait, do they still play movies on TV? I don't even know anymore. I remember, like, watching Disney Channel movies on TV, right? The movie kicks off with a teenage heroine making out with her boyfriend. Ew, gross. I don't know, wish that were me. We would have been so cute together. We belong together, we should be dating! I was so hoping- I was hoping so bad Noelle could see that too. It just really hurts to know she doesn't feel the same way. Man. Oh, this actress- actress makes a very handsome boy. She would have tricked me. She would have tricked you? Betty, do you know how to do this? <laughs> do what? Disguise myself as a guy? What kind of question is that? You're so weird. It's a fun movie, but watching all the characters happily pair up after their wacky teen hijinks makes Akarsha's chest ache even more. Seeing the forlorn expression on her face, her dad pats her on her shoulder. They still play- okay, maybe they do, I just don't watch TV anymore. <laughs> cheer up. Oh, I mean, <clears throat> cheer up. If you really don't want to be a doctor, you can become a movie star instead. <laughs> dad! <laughs> What are you saying? I think it would be cool if Akarsha becomes a famous movie star. If she's rich, we can live in the mountains. We can be like, in the wild. Why would we want that? You can do it, Betty. I believe. My parents have such high hopes for me, but all I do is waste the opportunities they work so hard to give me. There's literally nothing going for me. I'm legitimately such a waste of time and resources. How do people manage to have the first kiss in kindergarten and stuff? Why doesn't anyone want to kiss me? Am I that unlikable? It just It feels like such a remote thing that I can't imagine it ever happening to me. I've never even held someone's hand or been in any kind of relationship. At this rate, I'm gonna go through my entire life without ever getting kissed. What's the point of me trying to- what is the point of me staying alive? There's nothing for me to look forward to. Everything just so, feels so unattainable. She, she's just like me for real, for real, but like in a very sad. Once the end credits roll, she dejectedly texts Min over her phone. Akarsha, no! I read online it's healthy to wallow in sadness for up to one hour a day. And that hour begins now. Yeah! What the fuck? Ah! <laughs> Shut up! Ah! What, what happened? I confessed and it didn't go well. T, T underscore T. Oh shit. Luckily, the second I saw things were going south, I was able to backtrack and play it off as a joke. Like, it's, I said it was my brother pranking me. Wait, hold on. You did it through text? Yeah. Why? I don't know, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Colon, end per oh, colon beginning parenthesis. And that way I could say it wasn't me if I chickened out. Uh, what the fuck? Do it properly! In person! And deal with the consequences of my actions? No thank you. <laughs> well, if you're not sincere about it, then what you get back isn't going to be real either. You're like someone who went to Vegas, spent one penny, and got spooked and left. You need to take risks if you want to win anything. Who's scowly? Lord. What's the point? I know they're not interested in me anyway. Weak sauce move. <laughs> and I can't even blame them. Who would want to waste time with a loser like me? <laughs> semicolon. Semicolon underscore semicolon. But then what am I then, motherfucker? Chopped liver? I'm wasting time with you all right now. But you like wasting time with Dia more. See? Is die. Well, it's not a contest. Okay, but it kind of is. Like, I don't know. Like, having one person in the world think I'm worth loving would be nice. I feel like I've spent my entire life wanting people and being rejected while no one's ever felt anything for me. Like, am I really that ugly and boring that no one would ever fall in love with me? It's a waste of space. Seriously, stop saying shit like that. I was just kidding, XD. I'm so random. <laughs> Akarsha, no! <laughs> Sincere is spelled wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> it's 
not funny. XD. <laughs> Akarsha, no. Don't XD, don't XD me, you son of a bitch. I just want to do normal high school things. Like, date and go to parties and stuff. I feel like I'm missing out on this whole fun experience everyone else is having. Look, dumbass. There's probably like three couples in our entire grade, including me and Dio. Bunch of socially stunted fob nerds. Most of us aren't even allowed to date until college anyway. Great. So not only am I under an undesirable weirdo, but I'm not even special. <laughs> no, that's not the point, Akarsha. <laughs> Get Akarsha a therapist. Yeah. Not special is good sometimes. If you're not special, it means you're not alone. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. You're right. Do you want to play Maple- <laughs> Did you want to play Maple Story tonight? I need a distraction to stop thinking about my epic fail OTO. Sorry, I can't. Just using the com- June's using the computer right now. What is it? Uh, colon- Colon- Um, si Colon- What is it? Forward slash? Backslash? I don't know. I don't know the difference. Why this music? Why- why this music? Why? How about we play through text then? What do you mean through text? Is a snail. Oh, okay. Attack. Ninja start. It's hitting you! Minus 5 HP. Huh? Why? Use emoticons like me! Oh. Uh... Start! <laughs> Astrid. Oh, what's that supposed to be? Your butthole? Why would it be my butthole? Why would it be my butthole? It's the ninja star! Sicko? Oh, okay. 22 damage. Star. 25 damage. Snail. It's coming closer and closer again! Uh, equal sign O. That's my fist punching. 2 damage. Fist. 4 damage. Minus 3 HP. What the? The snail should be dead by now. They don't have that much HP. F9. <laughs> Fine, you're not damaged. Dollar. <laughs> Money. Okay, great. I love how the Maple Story or Diet Maple Story soundtrack is the uh, <laughs> My Heart Will Go On recorded ver version. Okay, great. I'm gonna try doing the Kerning City, P Kerning City PQ. Yeah, good choice. Karja feels a bit better after talking to Min, but once she's locked off, the heartache in her chest returns. That night, Akasha reads the entirety of the Asu manga Dayo for the first time on an illegal manga scanlation site in an effort to forget about everything. The entirety of what? Sorry, I'm not a cultured enough weeb. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It doesn't work. Aww. Next morning, Dia's house. Akarsha cracks a weak smile as Dia answers the door. Hey, ready to walk to school together? Dia gives her an odd look as she start as they start handing it on the sidewalk. Are you okay? Y yeah, why do you ask? You didn't send me a weird message this morning like usual. Also, your eyes are red. Oh, that's nothing. I just got shampoo in them while showering. You should get L'Oreal kids. No tears. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> Johnson's baby oil. <laughs> are, you, are you making fun of me? Yeah. Oh, all your jokes are so deadpan it's hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> Must be nice to be pretty. I wish I didn't have to be funny all the time to get people to like me. It sucks being so pathetic that you feel hopelessly in love- That you fall hopelessly in love with anyone who pays even the slightest bit of attention to you. Especially unattainable straight girls. God, I'm stupid. Can't even I can't believe I was so desperate that I convinced myself she liked me back. Literally delusional. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> depression. At school, Akarsha nervously waits in the first period classroom before Noelle and Dia arrive. I wonder how facing Noelle again will go. A water bottle flies through the doorway and ricochets off the floor. <laughs> oh, that's why that's why she throws the water bottle. It's to make sure there's nothing happening okay okay it's to set off the set off the traps i understand now it was that took quite a while but <laughs> i get it now <clears throat> the coast is clear you don't need to keep doing that you know i wouldn't reuse the same setup twice noel cautiously sticks a long twig through the doorframe her eyes narrowed at karsha and what is it this time you putrid worm wouldn't you like to know 
Oh, she's acting like nothing happened last night. She must have believed that what I said about my little brother sending the message. Thank god. Sorry, Pratik. Now I just- now I just gotta ignore my feelings until they eventually die out. I have a special from I have a I have a special present for you, Frenchman. Come closer. What? No, keep it to yourself. Don't be shy. I know you want your very special present. I don't want this present! Don't come near me! As Noelle enters the classroom suspiciously, she tries to give Akarsha a wide berth. Akarsha discreetly pulls her secret weapon out of her pocket. Here you go! Oh no! <laughs> No! Why? It's a spinning light toy Akarsha got from Disneyland in elementary school. <laughs> Do you know these toys? <laughs> oh my god, that hurts! That hurts! <laughs> no recoils as its rubber arms repeatedly whack her face. Ah! Thousand energy beams attack! I used to annoy my, my brother like this all the time. Akarsha, I hate you! <laughs> Akarsha gulps as Dia approaches the crime scene and towers over her. <laughs> Akarsha is evil. <laughs> I like how even though she was so worried about Noelle's response, right? She still took the time to like, <laughs> bring this to school. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Come on, this isn't fair! Just look, I'm so small. Look how small I am compared to you! No, it's also my birthday! You can't be mean on my birthday! I'm just a little guy! Is that true? <laughs> She's lying! Her birthday isn't until April! Akarsha yelps as Dia snatches the spinny toy out of her grasp. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. Ahem! <clears throat> Seeing that Akash is unarmed, Noelle menacingly, menacingly starts walking towards her. But, uh, hey, calm down! I was doing you a favor, testing your reflexes for you. Like, at the doctor. <laughs> f free! Free reflex test! Akasha breaks into a run as Noelle chases after her. Come back here, you cretin! Oh shit, baseball practice actually made her faster. <laughs> oh shit, she's catching up to me! Oh shit! <laughs> what about class, you guys? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. When Akarsha comes to baseball practice, she hears whispering in the locker room. So the plan is we all pitch in. <laughs> oh my god, no, they're doing the fucking rose thing! They're doing the rose thing! Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, when you can see tragedies happen before it <laughs> happens, <clears throat> tragedies turn into good stuff. Like, yeah, okay, never mind, I'll shut up. <laughs> <clears throat> If we split it, if we split it up eight ways, it's only one dollar fifty per person. But I don't see why I should have to pay. Shh. You have to pay because it'll be hilarious. She'll never guess who it is. Here I thought we were trying to do a good deed. Do you always have to be engaging in some sort of psychic land battle with her? <laughs> what are they scheming about? I want in. Harsha walks over to where the others are fur furtively huddled together. A hush falls over the team. Why, hello there, Akasha! Uh, we were just talking about... How Vampire Night is getting an anime. We're acting so natural right now. <laughs> okay, clearly they're off to something. The question is, what? After jogging around the track and stretching, Global Warming runs fielding trail. Right, Global Warming. While Akasha takes a breather in the dugout, she watches Noelle ha haplessly flail about on the drift on the field. Within moments, the object of her affection misjudges the trajectory of a fly ball and gets bonked on the head. <laughs> Ow! Baseball champion. Do anything for you, if only you'd let me- You're so down invisible! Karsha lets out a wistful sigh as Noelle performs her signature move, throwing the ball almost directly into the ground. It sucks ha having such a- It sucks having a sad, hopeless crush. I just want a girlfriend. So dramatic. Konichi, what's up? <laughs> Konichi, what's up? <laughs> She's so in love. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just bummed because I've never experienced love. No one ever looks me back. I feel like I'm missing out on so much. It's okay. Being rejected is part of life. You should learn to love yourself. It's a lie that people can only be happy when they're in a relationship. Esther glances up from the drawing she's scribbling on her sketchbook. 
I'm sorry, surprisingly wise words coming from someone with zero love experience. I've learned that life lesson from Carve Chapter Sakura. <laughs> The main character experiences unrequited love, even though she's a great person. That means it can happen to anyone. Even our Sukhoi Akar <laughs> I hate this. Does that make me- f that does make me feel less alone. Thanks, senpai. <laughs> End of me! Ugh. <laughs> Esther furiously erases something on her page, making countless great racer shavings rain down on the dirt beneath the bench. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Esther, what are you drawing? A chapter title page for a webcomic I'm starting. Oh my gosh. A webcomic? Like on Smack Jeeves? Akasha peers over at Esther's sketchbook, but she recoils looking bashful. <laughs> D don't look, I'm not done yet. Akasha manages to glimpse a spiky-haired character on the page before Esther angles her sketchbook away from prying eyes. Thanks. <laughs> Thanos Senpai, oh no. <laughs> no! She's pretty good though. If she posted out on DeviantArt, I bet she'd get like 200 views. Is that from an anime? Mr. Frowns aghast. No, it's just a regular guy. Like, those iPod ads, see? He's wearing white earbuds, and I colored his silhouette in black. black. Esther's the type of weeaboo who tries to hide the fact that she likes anime because she's embarrassed by it, but it's still super obvious. Wow, <laughs> she's just like me, for real, for real. I hate to break it to you, but even from this silhouette, you can tell it's an anime guy. It's probably his hairdo. No real guys ever have bangs that go down to their chin. They should, though. Life would be way less boring. <sighs> guys with short hair is so hard to draw. She's just like me, for real, for real. <laughs> Akasha turns her attention back to the field where Dia and Min are passionately killed. Dia, Min, what are you guys doing? I think they're trying to keep their relationship a secret, but they keep forgetting. Do you have to do that in front of us? Just you watch, I'm gonna rub my gay hands all over. <laughs> you guys. I'm so jealous. I wanna be in love too. Someday everyone else is gonna get married except me. I'll be the one sad single friend. Me too. Me three. If that happens, we should pitch in- we should all pitch in to buy a mansion and live as an otaku together. <laughs> wait, Yuki, Yuki, you're actually- wait, this is- this is some genius moves right now. <laughs> that definitely doesn't sound like the kind of life my parents were envisioning for me when they immigrated here. But that sounds incredible. Doesn't it? We could put up all our anime prints and display our figurines with no shame. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I don't have any of that stuff. My, my room is normal. You don't have anything? You've never been to an anime convention before? The anime is like right there in San Jose. Oh, we should all go together this year. We can all cosplay the same series. Yeah, maybe like Soul Eater or Haruhi Suzumiya. What? At Fanime? Admission's probably too expensive anyway. No way. Are we gonna go to Fanime? <gasps> Fan, fan anime? Is it fan anime or fan, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just combining the words together. Esther scoffs like she's not interested before fervently writing something on the tiny- something tiny on the side of her sketchbook page. She didn't write small enough. It says fan anime. <laughs> she's probably gonna google it later. Hey, all you slackers sitting down doing nothing, get over here and practice. Yeah. Valentine's Day- oh my god! No! Akarsha! <laughs> Ah, oh god. It's coming. It's coming. I thought this was gonna be at the end, but like, it's still kind of towards the beginning? Huh? Nakasha scoffs at a few upperclassmen come in. As a few upperclassmen come in to deliver goodies people ordered. Fear. <laughs> we should have like a reverse Valentine's Day where we give annoying, terrible gifts to our enemies on purpose. You mean what you already do to me every single day of my life? Oh, true. <laughs> a few of their classmates received ribbon roses, but someone comes in holding an entire bouquet. Oh my god. Oh my god, a oh god, oh god, oh god! Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Akarsha, I'm praying for you. <clears throat> Are you Akarsha? This is yours. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Huh? Bewildered, Akasha accepts the bouquet and notices there's a note tied on it, tied to it with a ribbon. It reads, 
Roses are red, violets are blue. Love never crossed my mind until the day I met you. Your secret of <laughs> It's what she deserves. So true. Excited. It's not that it's a prank, Noelle. You said this to. <laughs> oh gosh. Maybe. Well, they, okay. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Secret of Fire? Who? I can't believe it. Is this some kind of joke? She looks wildly around the room in case her per paramour is watching her oh her secret admirer is watching her reaction from afar but no one seems to be acting out of ordinary except dia and noel who are besides themselves with amusement <laughs> someone sent you flowers i told you i was hot <laughs> it was a hot commodity i turned the pants off someone without even knowing it <laughs> what does the note say let me read it w w why do you care are you jealous in your dreams why she won't show us because they misspelled her name as Ar arcacia <laughs> Why are you so mean today? I was gonna tell the teacher you- I'm gonna tell the teacher you're bullying me. Maybe I can deduce who the sender is, like a, like a detective. The poem is one hint. There's gotta be others. Oh no. <laughs> Noelle. Oh, Noelle knows her so well. It's- oh god. <laughs> Akarsha- it's like- it's exactly what she said last game. That what would happen. She would try to figure it out like a detective. Akasha flips a note over. It's blank, except for a small dark smudge on the back. A uh, clue? Maybe it's from food, like blackberries? Akasha sniffs the note, but it's hard to send, single out any scent over the fragrance of the roses. What are you doing? <laughs> Quiet, meanie! I'm trying to crack the code! You're interrupting my mind palace technique. <laughs> There's only two possibilities here. Either someone is secretly in love with me, or it's a prank. But it's kind of a lot of money to spend on a prank. It's either fake or real. <laughs> you don't say. Thanks for narrowing it down for us. But, but be quiet. Flustered, Akarsha scans the room one more time for good measure. She catches Dia looking away to be a beat too late, smiling to herself. What are you smiling about? Nothing. Just happy for you. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> Dia! Third grade. Oh my gosh. Dia, Min, and June wait at the horseshoe for their parents to pick them up at school. <clears throat> oh, the horseshoe, like the pickup area. Okay. Why does it always take mom so long to get here? I'm so hungry. We could have eaten a pizza with pineapple. Mom should just let us walk home ourselves. It would be way faster. Especially if she buys us Heelys. <laughs> Heelys. But if you did that, I'd have to wait for my mom alone. It'd be so boring. Oh, I thought of that already. We can chat on walkie-talkies while I'm rolling away on my heelys. <laughs> oh my god. Sounds fun. <clears throat> the three of them peer down the horseshoe at the long line of cars, hoping to catch sight of their rides. My mom's car is tan-colored. They should make- They should make cars in better colors, like sky blue or pink. Right? Yeah! They should make cars in better color- What's with all the brown- Tan, brown, gray, black, white cars? <laughs> where- Where are like the more fancy cars? Fancy colored cars? I don't know, maybe it's expensive, who knows. Yeah, if, I bet if they did, they'll sell a lot more. It's cause adults are boring and you have bad taste. Men gets it. <laughs> they should sell cars with pictures of dolphins on them. Everyone would want one. Dia perks up as a beige Toyota drives into the horseshoe, but it's the wrong model. <laughs> did you hear about Barry Bonds? He's in trouble because he did steroids. Ster- I mean steroids. I can't talk. What are steroids? They're drugs that make you really buff. It's cheating. I don't see why they don't let you use them. If they're so good, everyone should use steroids. Baseball would be more fun if everyone was super strong and super fast. Suddenly Min jolts upright and shouts as a silver sedan pulls up to the curb. I can see our car! Bye, Dia! Heat rushes to Dia's face and Miz hugs her tightly before dashing off. Bye. Uh. Wait, that car has a side thing under the door that ours doesn't have. Miz flings the car's passenger, door, passenger seat door open, revealing the stranger inside. <laughs> who are you? Min hastily slams the door shut and stomps back to Dia and June, who are both wheezing with laughter. <laughs> that was the wrong car! I told you! 
Wait, no, I've had this exact same experience. No, I did the same thing before in elementary school. I saw that this one car was mine. I opened the door and it was a person I didn't recognize. But for some reason, I tried to get in the car and then I like immediately ran out after realizing, like, I don't know. I think the mom that was driving the car probably thought nothing of it. But man, I I will remember it until the day I die. My embarrassment. Yeah, I think your car is over there though. Well, thanks. Bye for real this time. See you tomorrow! Castilla buckles up in her mom's sedan. She peers out the window, smiling a little when she sees Min waving frantically. Oh. Fr frantically at her outside. Whoa, Dia's mom! What? <laughs> Dia's mom has a face. How was your day at school? Okay, we had to write about an invention we make in class today. What did you invent? A better bed that makes it so your stuffed animals can never accidentally roll off it. <laughs> Dia, her mom. Yeah, her mom is really pretty. Oh shit, is it genetics? <laughs> I thought of it because last night when I was sleeping, Horny- What? Horny fell on the floor. <laughs> Horny? Who, who's that? A cow plushie. He's the one Snakey- He's one of Snakey's older brothers. He's all cold and alone for hours and- He was all cold and alone for hours and I didn't know. The pause. <laughs> Maybe you should give Horny a different name, like Moo Moo. Why? It'd be hard for him to get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Mom, you must have the most loved stuffed. <clears throat> oh, sorry, you must have the most loved stuffed animals in the entire world. What else did you do at school? I tried to take an accelerated reader quiz on the boxcar children book I can't read. What? <clears throat> I tried to take an accelerated reader quiz on the boxcar children book I read. Read. But I accidentally clicked the wrong book, so it made me take the quiz of a book I never read before. It, it didn't let you quit out? What a bad design. Yeah, my classmates all tried to help me, though. Hayden read the book a year ago, but he could barely remember anything. So even with everyone's help, I got a 2 out of 10. Oh no! Mr. Armstrong said he didn't won't count it for my grade, though. That's a relief. The boy waving at you earlier, was that Hayden? The classmate who helped you? You mean Min? She's not a boy. Well, the one wearing a hoodie. Yeah, she's a girl. To Dia's surprise, her mom wrinkles her nose in disgust. I was a girl. She's a freak. She should make friends with more normal girls. Uh-huh. That's not very nice. But it's true. She looks like a boy. Stay away from her. We'll catch it too. Catch it too? Catch what? It's not like she has a disease. You're too young to understand. Only freaks look like that. It's bad to judge people by what they look like. You don't even know her. She's really nice to me. I don't need to know her. There's clearly something wrong with her. She's only acting nice because she has impure thoughts towards you. <clears throat> What's that supposed to mean? Even if she has problems, I can tell her and she'll fix them. We're friends, so she'll listen to me. You can change- you can change people, especially not weirdos like that. If they're bad, they're bad. It's a waste of time to try. Can't change people, then how can she change me into looking like a boy? You can't have it both ways. <laughs> When, the, when there's the fault in the logic. Uh, you're normal, so you have to stick away from weirdos like that. I don't care, she's my friend. No, you can't be friends with her anymore. If I see you talking to you again, you're in big trouble. Uh, six years later, after baseball practice, and they're dating. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Min pushes Dio's back against the locker room wall, kissing her again and again. <laughs> no, this is great! They break apart, both panting for air. A pleasant shiver runs down Dio's spine as Min grins sharply at her. I can't do- I can't read this well, I'm sorry. But you're just gonna have to bear with it. Oh, you like this, don't you? Dio's too embarrassed to admit it, but she just nods, her cheeks blazing. You don't need to be shy. It's just me. I feel like I absolutely can't say it out loud, though. Sorry. Let's go lesbians! <laughs> let's go lesbians, let's go! Rounding the corner with a bunch of lesbians. <laughs> Min presses a cheek to her ki- <laughs> Yeah, Min presses a cheek to her kiss. Good reading. 
Vin presses a kiss to her cheek and whispers in her ear, voice low. Dia can feel her smiling, her breath warm on her cheek. It's okay, you're cute when you're like this. I always can't stand it. <laughs> it's so surreal dating a friend you've had a crush on forever. Sometimes I get scared that us getting together was just a dream, and when I wake up, we'll just be friends again. But it's real! Somehow a miracle happened and now I'm with her- now I'm her girlfriend! Min holds Dia's hand as they wait for their rides home. No one knows about us except the baseball club, and maybe the workers at the dessert place we had our first date at. So we end up kissing in the locker room a lot because the locker rooms block the view, and you can hear if other people walk in. But it's still fun. I love spending time with Min. She can also- she can almost even- Oh my god. She can almost even make me forget I have a presentation tomorrow in biology. Assignments that make you talk in front of class should be out loud. What's wrong? You look worried about something. But you can tell? Of course I can. What kind of girlfriend would I be if I couldn't even tell if something was bothering you? You're like a mind reader. Psychic. Nah, I just know you. You get all tense and quiet. So, what's up? If, something, if someone's bothering you, I'll kill them. No questions asked. You should probably at least ask one or two questions. Really, people is wrong. Okay, then if something's bothering you, I'll be really mean to them. So, who is it? It isn't anyone. It's just that my group presentation is tomorrow, in biology. Oh, that PowerPoint you've been working on with Akarsha and Noel? Yeah, nods. We're supposed to elaborate on what, you, what we put on our slides, but I get so nervous in front of everyone I blank out. What's there to be nervous about? You know all the stuff, don't you? Even if I know all the facts in my head, I can't improvise at all. It's hard to string words together on the spot. I always have to write out everything I'm going to say word for word beforehand and memorize it. The conversation is abruptly cut short when a beige sedan turns the corner into the room. In, uh, into the room. Into the school. Uh, my mom's here! She picks me up after the baseball club if it ends late enough. Oh, she picks me up after the baseball club if it ends late enough for her to be done with work. I'll hide! Bye! <laughs> Min roughly pulls Dia close for one last kiss before jashing out of sight. I like to imagine Min just jumps into the bushes. <laughs> Dia tries to slow her shaking breathing to a normal pace. I'm calm. I need to look normal. Dia gets uncharacteristically clumsy after making out with Min like a dog who's still woozy after surgery. She staggers over to her mom's car as it pulls to the curb. I'm scared of how my mom will react if she finds out I'm talking to Min again, let alone that I'm dating her. So, it's a secret for now. <laughs> Dia reaches for the door handle, misses, and slams her hand directly into the side of the car. <laughs> What's the matter with you? N nothing Dia hastily pulls the door open and gets into the passenger seat, trying to look natural. <laughs> how was your day at school? Okay. On the radio, a woman sings to a catchy beat. <laughs> I'm curious for you, caught my attention. I- oh wait, <laughs> no, Katy Perry! Katy Perry, no! I kissed the girl, and I liked it. What the- did she really just say that? <laughs> it takes to change. I'm not singing this, I'll get copyrighted. Well, I probably won't, but like, damn. Is, is she allowed to say that on the radio? Doesn't, it doesn't break any laws. Dia shifts uncomfortably in her seat as her mom frowns at the lyrics. Kiss a girl. What, ter what kind of terrible song is this? Disgusted Mia's mom. Uh, Mia? What? Dia's mom changes the station. <laughs> Awkward. You know how in the movies, superheroes have to hide their identity to their families? I'm doing that in real life all the time. The other day, I saw Akarsha and her mom at Safeway. <laughs> she was so outgoing, she even told me about the biology project you're working on together. I didn't even know you were doing a project until Akarsha said so. Why can't you be more like her? I like knowing things about you. Oh my god, is her mom- her mom's like a broken record at this point, isn't she? If Akarsha was her daughter, she'd disown her for being bi. Not that she know that. I never really know how to feel the silence when I'm with my mom. I don't know what I can talk about with her. She really loves me, but she comes from a, such a different- wait. She really loves me, but she comes from some from such a different time and culture that talking to her feels kind of unpredictable. Sometimes she'll surprise me by getting upset over something I didn't expect would cause problems at all. 
So my safest bet most of the time is just to stay quiet. It's annoying how she's raised me to be afraid of talking, <clears throat> yet expects me to magically turn out like a child who was raised normally. Damn. That night, Dia tosses and turns in bed, anxious about her presentation the next day. I wish I could time travel to this time tomorrow, after the biology presentation is already over. <laughs> Preach? <laughs> yeah, really. I need to stop thinking about this. It's making my mind race. I can't relax enough to sleep. Dia checks her alarm clock. It's midnight already, and I need to wake up at 7 tomorrow! I need to fall asleep right now, or else I'll get less than seven hours of sleep. Count sheep, take deep calming breath. <laughs> Imagine being hugged by men. Oh my god. Okay, let's do it. Sometimes when I can't sleep, I fantasize that men is hugging me and saying nice things to me. Usually this works. Aw. Leah hugs herself with one arm and squeezes her eyes shut. Min is holding me really close and telling me I'm going to fall asleep in her arms. She's stroking my side with her hand. Hands. Primates have hands too. And their thumbs are op opposable like pandas' thumbs. These similar features are called analog analogous structures in her bio presentation. <laughs> Shoot, I started thinking about the presentation again. Forget the presentation, just think about Min. Min is holding me really tight and saying nice things to me. And we're all alone together. It's just the two of us. Two. Birds and bats are two groups that have both flight independently. <laughs> Dia keeps trying to imagine Min comforting her without getting sidetracked, but after an hour, she's more awake and frustrated than ever. There's so much anxious energy pent up in my body, I feel like running a marathon. Maybe if I release all that energy, I can finally doze off. Dia, Dia frantically starts doing sets up in, sit ups in bed. After a few sets, she switches to doing jumping jacks in the middle of her room. Yeah, become tired! <laughs> Dia. After several minutes of frenzied exercise, Dia lies back down in her bed, her heart pounding. Ugh, oh, hopefully that didn't just make me even more awake. Dia wearily checks her clock again. It's two in the morning! I need to fall asleep right now so I can at least get five hours of sleep. Dia ends up lying awake for a few more hours. No, Dia! Just as the sun begins coming up, she loses consciousness from sheer exhaustion. That's why she's so athletic because of her anxiety. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case, but that would be so hilarious. <laughs> no. Dia hits all her alarms without even bothering to open her eyes. I don't feel rested at all. Barely got any sleep. Her morning routine includes lying in bed for 10 minutes, thinking about how tired she is. Do it. Do it. Oh, 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 I'm so anxious. I feel like I'm gonna explode. I don't have biology till fixed period, so I'm gonna be stewing in this dread for hours. Ugh, ugh. Ten minutes pass like this. <clears throat> Finally, Dia drags herself out of bed and steals herself for the terrifying day ahead. Marsha messaged me. That normally means she's on her way down to my house. Check your computer! Hey, Dia! Colon, at, oh, I don't know what this is called, carrot, colon, carrot, and parenthesis. No! <laughs> what is this? Your Sonic OC? Huh? What is that? <laughs> I googled Dia the Hedgehog and that's what came up. No, wait, is it actually? Okay, there are similar ones, but not like this. <laughs> Dia has gone offline. <laughs> How can she act so normal on a day like this? I wish I was all outgoing and good and at talking like her. This is so, like, man. Like, I feel like it's obvious, but like, Akarsha, who really wants to be more like Dia, who's just kind of like naturally pretty, right? And and then Dia, who wants to be more like Akarsha, who is very outgoing and good at talking to people, right? It's like, man, you, got, you guys, you guys. Dia goes outside. 
go! Ready to blow everyone out of the water with our amazing group presentation? No. Dia nervously strides off, forcing Akarsha to jog to keep up with her. Hey, hold your horses! <laughs> Slow down, some of us have average length legs, you know? Uh, Miss Longlegs. Or should I say, Daddy Longlegs? Don't call me that. You're so cold to me, bro! I'm dying here! Why would you die if you can't call- Wait, why would you die if you can't call me Daddy Longlegs, weirdo? <laughs> oh god, yeah, it is dark and cloudy, wow. So dark and cloudy today, I think it's gonna rain. Idea. What do you think- I wish real life had captions like TV. No clue what anyone's ever saying to me. What? What do you- What? What do you think happens- Oh, wait, sorry, I forgot about your ear. Akasha switches to Dia's other side so she can hear her over the sound of traffic. What do you think happens to a Teletubby when its screen, when its screen gets destroyed? Nothing, it dies. Why? <laughs> it dies. Be like punching it in the heart or something. Damn, that's dark. You asked. I don't know, Seems screens are so fragile though. It's, if it's that important, you'd think the Teletubbies would have evolved a ribcage over it or something to protect it. But they can't. They can't see what's on the screens if they were covered. Must be like why our eyes don't have bones over them, even though they're delicate. They wouldn't be able to see. Whoa, you might be onto something. You should become a scientist. A Teletubby scientist. Not the world really needs Teletubby scientists. <laughs> oh god, it really is raining. Rain in California? What is this? <laughs> As Dia and Akarsha arrive at school, Dia feels something cold and wet drop onto her shoulder. It's raining! Ugh, I'm heading inside. Oh wow, it actually- wow, wow, it's really pouring, wow. Akasha scurries off as the rain picks up. Soon the tor torrents of water are pelting the ground. Still need to get my things from my locker. Oh gosh. Use locker. Noel is hunched over in front of their st shared locker and frowning at its contents. Good morning. We need to remove our books from the locker or they'll get soaked in the rain. Are the lockers outside? I thought they're under like a little thing, like they're covered at least. How are they gonna get soaked? How much rain is there? Oh no! Won't the roof overhang block it? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. No, look at it. The wind's blowing the in rain inward. Yeah, we're even getting damp staying here right now. But it's like facing sideways, right? And there's like a door on it. Shouldn't it be fine? <laughs> okay. Dia takes a mini travel umbrella from her backpack and opens it. As Dia diligently holds it over the two of them, Noelle holds her daily water bottle out to her without looking. Also, can you open this water bottle? Take the water bottle. Dia holds the, wa holds the umbrella with one hand and grabs the water bottle with the other. I don't have enough hands to open it. Dia carefully balances the water bottle on top of Noelle's head as she continues pulling her library books from her locker. <laughs> Dia grips the bottle cap with her index finger and thumb while pressing the bottle down on Noelle's head with the rest of her hand. She manages to twist it open without spilling any of the water. Hey, I'm pretty proud of myself for pulling that off. She closes the cap and gives it back to Noelle as she slots the rest of her novels into her book bag. Thank you. I finished rescuing all my water-sensitive items. It's your turn. Dia peers into her in Noelle's shared locker. Look at Rosen. Rosen. This is rosin for string instruments. It's the first time- Oh, the first time Noelle showed it to me, I tried to eat it. Why do you have this anyway? You only play piano. Oh, right. <laughs> hmm. It's the same kind of car she uses. She plays the cello in her orchestra class. Whenever she drops and cracks the one she's using, she leaves it in my- She leaves it in her locker, and I secretly replace it with an identical copy. <laughs> what the hell? How do you get it in her locker? I figured out her locker combination. Can she tell it's can't she tell it's just new rosin? No, I always scratch up the top and make it look worn, so it looks identical to the one she dropped. What 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 are you doing, Noel? Why are you doing this? This is the third one. By now she's covered her rosin. She's convinced her rosin has self-healing abilities. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Noel goes to such lengths to just mess with Alcarsha sometimes. I don't really know what to make of it. 
My my I think it's because <laughs> I think it's because she likes her. No, I think it's because um you know how in elementary school like boys usually boys will like bully their crush so that um so that they pay attention to them. It's like that, but like in a weird sadistic sort of way. Also, I'm gonna take this time to try to fix the this this text. Okay, let's just crop it. Top. Wait, hold on. What did I set it as? I can do math. No, I can't. No, I can't do math. I'm sorry if you ever thought I could. And I'm like, God. They, they're so, like, when are they? How is this gonna work out? I'm so scared. I'm like scared for them, like their mom. Okay. Look at Rosin Moore. Oh, it's just the same thing. Oh, okay, no, he just doesn't play it again. Okay. Noel's lunchbox. Out of curiosity, Dia checks what Noel has for lunch today. Rice porridge. Noel really likes this. I should eat it. I don't have much of an appetite today anyway. Deeper in the lunchbox, there's also a Ziploc pe- Talking is hard. There's also a Ziploc bag of neatly peeled apple slices. Awful of your mom to do that. Do what? Peel the apple and slice it? Most people just eat them whole. I guess she has to show me she loves me somehow. No! No! God. This is such an Asian mom thing. I don't know. Is I don't know if this is like a universal mom thing or if this is just an Asian mom thing. But like, sliced fruit is such an Asian mom thing to do. It's like... Like, it's really sweet, but it's also like, yeah, I kind of need more emotional support than just than just a fruit snack. <laughs> just just cutting fruit. Like, you're working on homework, your mom comes in and brings you a bowl of fruit. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm continuing. <laughs> Since she lacks the emotional image <laughs> Since she lacks the emotional maturity to communicate it through words, she's left to express it through actions. Honey, that sounds like someone else I know. <laughs> Are you insinuating that I'm the same as her? Maybe. I wish I could deny it. Does your mother do the thing too? Where after you have an argument, instead of apologizing, she just silently leaves you a plate of fruit to eat? I thought it was just my mom who did that. It must be an immigrant mother thing. Maybe it is just an immigrant mom thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is waterproof, right? If not waterproof, at least water resistant. Okay, just checking. Thea slips her books and binders into her backpack. Hey, what's this? Oh, it's the Valentine's Day card Min made for me this year. Every time I see it, I feel happy. Oh, it's so cute! Oh, sorry. <laughs> you still haven't taken that home? I'm paranoid that my parents will find it if I do. Min said a lot of stuff in it. Even if she were a boy, I don't think they'll be okay with it. I see. Guess I have to move it out of the locker or it'll get soaked and wrinkly, though. Dia carefully slips it into her binders inside pocket. Yeah, like, keep it with your school stuff. They usually wouldn't check, right? Speaking of Valentine's Day, how's- <clears throat> Sorry. Speaking of Valentine's Day, how's Akarsha's investigation of her secret admirer going? <laughs> awful, and by by that- <laughs> but that, Awful, and by that, I mean wonderful. She's utterly lost. Her list of suspects includes a random guy in our history class, a sophomore she's never uttered a word to before, and even the lunch lady who once gave her two slices of pizza that were stuck together instead of one. <laughs> wow. You can really keep this up every Valentine's Day without her realizing it's us. Yeah, as long as we don't accidentally let it slip at some point. Oh no. Ready to head to class when you are. Wish I could just head home and go to bed. Locker. Dia opens hers and Noel's shared locker. 
Oh, it's just the same. Okay. No, I'll open it again. <laughs> How many times are I gonna do this? <laughs> Go to class. Mia loves the sound of rain when she's indoors, especially the drum of water metal. Unfortunately, today she's so consumed with dread over her presentation that she's totally unable to enjoy it. The next few hours pass in sleep-deprived haze. Oh man. I've s this classroom? <laughs> the, like, like, these sorts of lab desks? Oh my god. High school, man. High school. High school! <laughs> Thea's stomach churns with dread as she finally walks into her biology class. It's here. The period of doom! What? To her surprise, she finds Min leaning against her desk, waiting for her. Huh? Why are you here? You're about to do your presentation, right? I thought I'd swing by and try to pump you up for it. Oh, thanks! How do you feel? I'm so nervous, my stomach hurts. I even forgot to eat my gummy vitamins this morning. Each day, Dia looks forward to eating two gummy vitamins. Min gives her hand a reassuring squeeze. You'll be okay, you're gonna kill it. You're so cute, there's no way the teacher can give you a bad grade. If the teacher really graded like that, he'd be in jail. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I were in charge, I'd give you an A. Anything I can do to help? Can I have a hug and a kiss? Yeah, of course. Will people see it, though? It's an emergency. <laughs> Min's face lights up and she eagerly envelo uh, envelopes. <laughs> envelopes? Envelopes? <laughs> uh. Yes, Min is so nice. Aw, Min. She envelops Dia in a tight warm hug. Aw. Min pulls her in for a kiss, but Dia rears back when she smells cigarette smoke on her breath. Because Dia is so tall, when she doesn't want Min to kiss her, all she has to do is stand up straight. Yuck, were you smoking again? Uh, uh yeah. You should stop. It's bad for you. Didn't you ever see a dare presentation in elementary school? I came to my class, and it was so scary I pledged not to do drugs or peer pressure forever. You don't think it looks badass? No. Dare to resist drugs and violence. <laughs> How'd you even start doing it? Back in Florida, I mostly hang up with a group of guys who smoked. And we set things on fire and do other dangerous stuff. Concern. I'm really glad she's over here with me now. But those guys aren't here anymore, so why keep doing it? It was a pain to get the cigarettes in the first place, since stores won't sell them to people under 18. So it feels like a waste not to use them. And I thought it made me look hot. Look hot when your hair's all messed up. No, <laughs> When your mouth tastes bad and they can't even kiss you. No scowls as she sits down at her desk. <laughs> You're seriously still smoking? You need to get your life in order. I don't want to, I don't need to hear from you too. I don't even do it that often. Aren't you going to be aren't you going to be tardy for your class? The bell's gonna ring in any in about a minute. I can't talk. Oh shit, I better run. Go. I'll live. Probably. Tell me how it goes later. <laughs> the, uh... I love that Dia's like... Yeah. I just, yeah. <laughs> Min sprints off. Oh, wait. I clicked on the wrong thing. Here. Seconds later, the bell rings. Do you think she made it? I couldn't care less. It is so cool, but I hope she stops smoking. They say people don't change, but I hope that's not true. It's too sad if it is. As another group starts presenting in front of the class, Dia wipes her clammy palms on her hoodie. We're gonna get called up any minute now. Dia, please try not to panic. When you're not speaking, you can hide behind me if you have to. Just don't bolt off. Okay. Can I hide behind you too? No. No fair! How come Dia gets to, but not me? There's no reason for you to. We'll look like we're doing those we're doing those dances where everyone's standing behind one person and waving their arms. And you better not do that horrendous British accent. Why not? It'll be a hit. More like a hit on our grades. Accents aren't a proper example of divergent evolution. But we need stuff to spice our presentation up. It's drier than the Sahara Desert. So this is a biology project, not a circus performance. 
Before Noel can press Akarsha any further, the first group finishes their presentation to scattered applause. Alright, it's our turn. Come on, Dia, let's do this. <laughs> okay. Dia feels like she's having an out-of-body experience as she follows Noel and Akarsha to the front of the class. As Noel brings up their PowerPoint on the computer, Dia hides behind her and nervously looks out at the class sitting before them. I should have worn clothes that blended with in with the classroom better so no one can see me. Like, a page colored. I should have thought of that earlier. It's over. It's curtains for me. <laughs> Hello everyone. We've been tasked with reviewing the patterns of micro macro evolution. <laughs> the audience begins to nod off as soon as Noel flicks to a side to a slide with an essay crammed onto it in 10 point font. Let's begin with the obvious question. What is macro evolution? To understand this, we must first consider blah 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 blah. <laughs> By the time Noelle is done droning through her last tome of slide, half the classroom is asleep. Akarsha shakes her head and sighs as she clicks through her first slide. It opens with an illustration of a finch's head. Alright, so divergent evolution an explosion sound effect plays as five more finches with different beak shapes blast onto the screen, jolting their classmates back awake. <laughs> it's like whiplash. <laughs> it's when it's when populations from a common an ancestor. Fuck, I pressed up. Might as well save just in case. Okay. It's when populations from a common ancestor adapt to different pressures and become more different over time. Just like how your av Just like how your average New Yorker talks like this, different from over here. What? She just switched from a British accent to a New York. Oh, she was doing a British accent. Oh well, maybe the teacher will think it's funny. <laughs> Noel. You can let this slide, Noel. Just hold it in after the presentation's over. Actually, accents don't account as divergent evolution. New Yorkers aren't another species from us. They're not so different that they, can, they can't produce fertile offspring with other humans. But if they keep things up at this rate, that might change! <laughs> I can't do this. Think about it, would you reproduce with someone who talks like this? What? What? I don't think- I don't see how that's relevant. relevant. Just admit your example is invalid already. Oh yeah? Oh my god, the transition! Akarsha clicks the mouse. A stock photo of a gravestone appears on the side with the pinwheel transition. What if that was your gravestone? What then? <laughs> Did you add this to the PowerPoint just to use it as a comeback? The class giggles as Akarsha clowns through her slides, but Dia's stomach churns as they stare at the front of the room with renewed, renewed interest. I don't want to be here. I wish I could time travel to 30 minutes from now. And with that, I pass things on to- I can't read. Hold on. I pass things over to my buddy Dia. Uh when Dia doesn't move from her hiding spot behind Noelle, Noelle steps to the side, exposing her to the audience's view. Dia takes a deep, shaky breath before quickly rattling off the speech she's me mentally rehearsed hundreds of times over the past 24 hours. Oh, Dia, no, the tiny text! Convergent evolution is the independent evolution of similar traits and species that are only distantly related. For example, giant pandas have six fingers and their thumbs are opposable like primates' thumbs. These similar features are called analysis structures. After barreling through the slide in a matter of seconds, Dia quickly flips to the next one, her hands shaking from nerves. Another example of convergent evolution are birds and bats. Birds and bats are two groups that evolved flight independently. She manages to zoom through the, next, the rest of the presentation in about a minute flat. <laughs> After her classmates give them a tepid round of applause, Dia follows Noel and Akarcha back to her seat in a daze. Well, at least that's over with. It's over! I'm free! <laughs> See? That, that wasn't so bad, was it? Actually, it was. I think I'll be quiet for the rest of the day to recover from that. Oh, Dia. <laughs> oh. After school. To Dia's relief, the weather clears up just in time for baseball club meeting. Sakura goes up to the bat, and Dia readies herself to catch Min's next pitch. Besides Min's signature knuckler, the only pitch she knows is a fastball. It's pretty mediocre compared to her knuckleball, so she rarely uses it except during practice like this. Min hurls one of those fastballs to Sakura. Sakura flinches as she gets drilled on the shoulder by the baseball. Oh no! Ow! Shit, oops. You okay over there? Yeah, I'm good. I don't think I broke anything. Walk it off! 
At least if this were a game, you get to head over to first base as the consolation prize. Wait, so getting hit is like a free pass to first base? It's not free, it hurts! <laughs> Sakura walks off, rubbing her shoulder. Akasha eagerly takes her place in at the plate. <laughs> She's gonna try to run into the ball, right? <laughs> Min throws a pitch her way, but instead of swinging the bat, Akasha Lee purposely leans in towards the ball. <laughs> it narrowly misses her, and Dia manages to recover from her surprise in time to catch it. <laughs> the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm becoming a by hit pitch best. What? I can't talk. I'm becoming a hit by pitch specialist. Can I stop hitting the right click button? <laughs> if I can master getting beamed as much as possible, it'll guarantee I always make it to first base. Why would you do that instead of just hitting the ball? Hitting the ball is so fun. <laughs> hit me! I know you wanna. Stop! Stop making this weird. Homophobic hate crime. What? The B in LGBT stands for baseball, just saying. Yeah, well, I think the B is for bitch! <laughs> Having lost her patience, Min beans Akarsha on purpose. Owie! Uh, if you keep this up, the B in LGBT is gonna stand for broken bones. <laughs> no! The sound effect! <laughs> After practice, Thea slings a big equipment bag over each of her shoulders and hauls into the locker room being so helpful. Someone notices how many bags I'm carrying. Wow, dear, you're carrying two bags at once. Thank you for helping. Aw, yay! <laughs> Chris <laughs> Agreed. <clears throat> Sorry. Dia happily heads up the hill with a spring in her step. Say, so, Dia, did you- Do you watch The Bachelor? Bewildered, Dia shakes her head. What is that, a show? <laughs> no, not The Bachelor. <laughs> I don't watch much TV except for Sports, Animal Planet, and the Discovery Channel. So when people talk about movies and shows, I usually don't know any of them. You should try it, we need more people to talk about it with. Oh no. <laughs> My mom and I started watching this season, we're obsessed. What's it about? Basically, 30 women try to date the same guy at the same time. Each week, the guy eliminates some of them until finally he proposes to the last one standing. My mom would definitely never watch that with me. She'd be so scandalized. Your mom likes watching shows like this? Yeah, she's the one who got into it first. She spread it to us like a virus and now we're infected too. <laughs> the way you put that makes it sound like a zombie apocalypse. I wish I had something like that with my parents. I feel like I have nothing in common with them. They don't try to get you to they don't try to get you into the things they like? Not really. For instance, I initially got into baseball because my dad is, well... Alright, there's no way to put this. My dad's really weird. There <laughs> definitely could have been a nicer way to put that. Whenever he drives, he makes us listen to radio broadcasts of Mar uh, Mar Mariners games? Or is it Mariners? The, the Mariners, you're not even from Seattle. Ichiro is an incredible player, though. He's a weirdo. The guy only decided to stay in Seattle because his dog told him to. So, I would stay in Seattle if my dog told me to, too. <laughs> he does grow on you. They're all strange little guys. They're just little guys. I think that's your Stockholm Syndrome speaking. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it is. As for my mom, her thing is Madonna CDs. I can sing every word of True Blue since kindergarten. Isn't that the first song about a teenage girl not wanting to get an abortion? <laughs> I didn't say I understood every word. <laughs> Maybe listening to all that Madonna did something- What? Maybe listening to all that Madonna did something to you as a little kid. Excuse me? What was that? I take it back! I take it back! <laughs> oh my gosh. Krissa! <laughs> no! Oh my god. <laughs> no, Krissa! Sorry, I have like... <clears throat> My nose is a bit stuffy. I think it's just from talking a lot. Because <laughs> I'm not... Oh, uh, because uh, I'm not good at talking loud, and I talk from my throat, that's why. <clears throat> I have no clue what kind of music my mom likes. All I know are what's, which songs she hates on the radio. And if she doesn't know what kind of music I like either, or my favorite movie, or favorite color, anything like that, I know my... I've known her for my whole life, and we still don't even know basic facts about each other. 
That's so sad. I want to have a good relationship with my parents, too. Oh, Dia. Dia listens to her teammates' chat as she changes out of her baseball uniform. Yeah. Yeah! Don't look at my hairy legs! I haven't shaved in, like, two days. You shave that often? I, ju I just do it when it starts looking gnarly. Your hair's not all coarse and gross like mine. I have to do it every other day or start looking like a gorilla. Just girls are supposed to shave? Huh? I've always wondered no one's leg hair is really obvious except for mine. It must be the secret. Good thing I'm wearing long pants that cover up my legs. Suddenly self-conscious, Dia expects her arm hair. Even my arm hair is pretty obvious. My hair is just all really thick and dark. There's even hair on my fingers. Is that normal? Maybe everyone's secretly judging me when they see it. Aw, oh, Dia, no. It's totally normal. After the club meeting, Dia gets into her mom's car with renewed determination. Alright, Dia. You can do this, I believe. We're cheering you on. How was your day at school? Okay. Did the presentation go up? I think so. Just glad it's over. When I grow up, I'm going to find a job where I never have to talk to people. <laughs> Dia's mom smiles knowingly and shakes her head. I'm the same way. I'm embarrassed of my accent and it makes, me, makes phone calls so scary. Talking to workers in stores makes me nervous too. Me too. I wish we can write questions on a piece of paper and they have to write their answers back too. Yes, it'd be the best if you could slip the paper through an opening in the wall so they don't even know what you look like. So the thing they have in common is social anxiety. <laughs> Wow, I'm enjoying talking to my mom. I guess it's only natural that we have some things in common. I forgot that. Some I forget that sometimes. She used to do long distance running in India. Oh wow, and she's always encouraged me to play sports because it was good for my health. Oh wait, that's so sweet. Maybe I can ask her something else that's been bothering me. Oh boy. Emboldened by her success, Dia speaks up as they sit at a red light. Can you get razors next time you go shopping? Oh, uh, razors? What for? To shave, my leg hair is really long. His heart sinks as her mom wrinkles her nose with distaste. <sighs> Don't do it. Shaving will make hair grow back thicker and darker. Doesn't sound true. Pretty sure it's a myth. No, it's true. Shaving is a terrible idea. But all the other girls at school are doing it. That's just... <laughs> That's because it's Christian culture. Our family doesn't follow those rules. <laughs> Christian culture... <laughs> it's Christian culture to shave your leg. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> Why do you want to shave so bad anyway? Are you trying to show, you off to show yourself off to boys? Uh, no. You're too young. Who's it for? You have a boyfriend? No. Are you sure? Look at me. I think I can actually answer this honestly. I'm not lying. I don't have a boyfriend. Her mom scrutinizes Dia's face for a moment before turning away, seemingly satisfied. <laughs> Sorry. Good, because you need to focus on school. The right time to the right time to date is in college. That's when you'll be able to find a nice boy who meets all the requirements. The requirements? What the requirements? You know, just regular ones. Someone who's Hindu like us doesn't smoke and has high income. <laughs> bzz, bzz, bzz. Oh no, <laughs> they're all off. <laughs> yeah, I definitely can't tell her about men. <laughs> What if I wanted to date someone different, like a non-Indian person? No, a white person wouldn't understand our culture. Plus, whites do drugs and don't know how to save money. Sorry. Sorry I'm laughing, but I just, yeah, it's a very immigrant mom. <laughs> just remember BMWs, no blacks, Muslims, or whites. It's so racist. I don't even want to know what she thinks about Korean people. What you want is unrealistic. How can you imagine to Im immigrate to a country where we're less than 1% of the population then expect me to marry the way you did in India? It's not unrealistic. My friend Himaji's daughter did it. You're not any less pretty or smart than she is. You can find a way too. It's not that easy. I can't control who I fall in love with. If I fall in love with someone who doesn't match your criteria, I'm not going to turn them away just for you. No, that's not right. If you marry a waste, waste fellow, what will other people think? What will other people think? No. What? Why does it matter what other people think? My opinion should be the most important one. No, this is bigger than just you. You have to consider how it affects everyone, like your parents. If you marry a white man, everyone will think you're a self-hating Indian, and your parents don't, didn't raise you with correct values. It already looks bad enough that we let you quit. 
car car carna carnatic music because you wanted to ba play baseball. So you're asking me to give up my whole life in exchange for 10 seconds of approval from some aunties? If I had to marry within my parents' requirements, I, ha well, I had to marry within my parents' requirements too. Just because you put up, put up with mistreatment from them doesn't mean I should put up with the same thing from you. Mistreatment? I turned out pretty perfectly fine. How could it be mistreatment? I don't think you turned out fine at all. The way of thinking about this, that's the way of, of thinking from Christian countries. Oh gosh. <laughs> Dia, Dia spitting facts. Dia really spitting facts. Indians aren't like that. They're not so selfish. Well, this isn't India. I'm American. What, do you think you're white? It doesn't matter where you are, you're still Indian. You st you have to honor your culture. What I have- what I- what- I can't talk. Why do I have to follow the rules of a country I've never lived in before? As long as you've, you're under our roof, you will. This is an Indian household. Could it be that my mom thinks people don't change because she doesn't change? It's like her opinions are frozen in time from 20 years ago when she left India. And they never shifted to match the world around her. They're just stuck. They spend the rest of the drive ho drive home in stony silence. Man. Uh, man. What the? What? What room is this? Dia hits her alarms and flops back into bed. Is this is this just Dia's room, but like from on the, from the other angle? <laughs> her morning routine includes lying in bed for ten minutes, thinking about how tired she is. Do it. Uh, uh. Suddenly, her bedroom door squeaks open. Mom! I need to head out early today. Here, I'll put your lunch into your backpack. Dia's blood runs cold as her mom unzips her backpack. Huh? Should we see the Valentine's Day card? No, Dia, you're too obvious. If you put it in your folder, she shouldn't be able to say- Oh no, oh no, oh no, mom! Oh, I'll put it in myself. Why are you being so secretive? I can't even look at my own child's backpack anymore. I'm a baby. I should have some privacy too. Dia's mom sighs as Dia puts her bag lunch into her backpack. You know, it's okay. Okay, it's fine. You know, it's really hurtful that you hide everything from me. You're so quiet. I wish you would talk to me like my friends' kids talk to them. My friend's son even tells them about the girls he likes. He tells them everything. It makes me sad. I wish we had that kind of relationship. You think I wanted it to be like this? I didn't just decide not to talk to you all on my own. What are you all going on about? How are you not able to put two and two together? I want to be able to talk to you too, but I don't feel like I can. Every time I open up to you, I regret it. You always have some kind of bad reaction to something I say. Well, like what? Like the, the time you, I told you about my friend, and you said I wasn't allowed to talk to her anymore. What are you talking about? That never happened. Yes, it did. After school, when I was in third grade. Uh, third grade? You really go through life collecting pointless grudges from years ago? How can you use something I don't even remember to argue against me? Uh, how can two people perceive the same conversation so differently? To me, it was one of the worst memories of my life. That what, One that still affects how I act around her every day. But to her, it was just an uneventful car ride. It was just another Tuesday. I just- I need to give another example. Is this gaslighting? No, it's not gaslighting. I wouldn't say so. It's it's just not. It's just bad communication. <laughs> because Dia's not being manipulated here. She she like she knows that her mom's wrong. You know. You're not. You don't. You. You didn't only make mistakes in the past. You never changed. Like yesterday, I asked you to buy razors for me, and you lectured me about dating. I'm your mom. I'm supposed to say no when you want something that's bad for you. If your own parents won't tell you what you're doing some when you're doing something wrong, who will? Of course you're supposed to stop me from doing really bad things. But I feel like your only job as a parent is to lecture me every chance you see. Sometimes I just want to have a normal, not negative conversation. What do you want me to do? Just keep my opinion to myself, agree with everything you say? If I was your friend, sure, I could do that. But I, that's not my role. I'm your mother. I'm supposed to help you. Tears well up in Dia's eyes from frustration. Oh great, not now. I hate how I can't argue with anyone without crying. Dia, I know how you feel. You think you're helping me, but all you do is give me anxiety. 
I feel like every time I speak to you, honestly, I'm being punished for it. So me speaking to you- Oh, so me speaking my mind is punishing you. How can you not allow me to say what I think? How do you think that- uh, How do you think that makes me feel? Both of them freeze as the doorbell rings. Oh, it's Akarsha. I can't let her see me like this. Yo! Dio flings open the door and darts past Akarsha. Whoa! Homie, wait up! Oh, Dio! Dio ignores her and spreads down the sidewalk. The frantic slap of foot flops on concrete behind her gets louder and louder until suddenly a hand grabs her forearm. Oh. <laughs> gotcha! Dio reluctantly slows to a stop and lets Akarsha catch her breath. <laughs> What's with you today, Usain Bolt? Got in a fight with my mom. Dia wipes her tear-streaked face with a sniffle. She gave up her whole life for me. I'm the person she loves the most in the world. But we can't even have a normal conversation without hurting each other. It's just sad. It takes a few seconds for Akarsha to recover enough to choke out a response. Bro, that sucks. Your parents know you're bi. Uh, sorta? We haven't really had that conversation yet, but they definitely know I'm a little funky. How do you think they'll react when you tell them? I don't know, but they're pretty open-minded, so I think they'll get over it. Okay. My parents will freak out if I come out. But I feel like a bad gay- uh, But I feel like a bad gay person for hiding it. Uh, why? Instead of trying to educate them, I'm living a lie. Dude, it's not your job to educate your parents if it'll ruin your life. The gays aren't gonna come arrest- <laughs> The gays aren't gonna come arrest you. <laughs> Just like one day, uh, uh, knocking on the door, bum 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 bum. <laughs> you've been- You've been gay for three weeks and still haven't came out yet. You need to come out, this is your notice. Within the next week. <laughs> Or we're tearing your house to the ground. Sign LGBT plus community. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not bad to like worry about surviving first. Sooner or later we're gonna get caught though. We're so bad at keeping things secret. And if I want to live with Min someday, that's gonna be impossible to hide. Especially since we're gonna move really far away. Uh-huh. Where are you going? Don't know yet, but somewhere far from her parents, so she doesn't have to see them unless she wants to. When we do that, my parents will notice I'm gone too. Yeah, but by then you're an adult, so they won't be able to stop you from doing anything. But they'll still be really upset. I don't want that either. You'll get over it eventually. Dealing with Desi parents is like the five stages of grief. <laughs> Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. <laughs> Akarsha. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. My parents aren't like yours. <clears throat> Your parents really love you? Yes. Then it's, this, then it's still the same. It might take ages, but they'll get over it eventually. Like, in baseball speak, you're not gonna hit a home run off a single pitch. It's more like a nine-inning baseball game. You gotta be in it for the long haul and wear them down over time. <clears throat> yeah. Is that the best I can hope for, though? I wish I was closer to my mom. But it's hard to feel loved by someone who doesn't really know you. It's like our relationship was built on air. There's nothing there because she's always loved a version of me that doesn't exist. Man. When they're waiting at a crosswalk, Dia takes the chances- Dia takes the chance to dig a tissue out of her pocket and blow her nose. It's not even like my parents are as bad as Min's. They're not violent or abusive, and they try to support my interests. My mom was never trying to hurt me, she just doesn't know any better. In the grand scheme of things, I'm spoiled. I live in a nice house and my mom cooks me delicious food every day. But it still hurts to think that the only kind- about the kind of parents I could have had. This game is painfully relatable, right? <laughs> right? Man, it's just, um, it's just like... Afterwards, you just gotta like lay down and stare at the sky for a while. You're like, holy shit. <laughs> Karsha smacks Dio on the back as they head near to school. Come on, dude, cheer up. A thousand gay people are born every second. <laughs> In the time since we left your house, three million gay people drew their first breath. That can't be right. 
people were born that fast, the population would grow by billions every month. Where'd you get the numbers from? I made them up for dramatic effect. <laughs> hey, Dia. Do you think it's possible for a baseball player to mold her hair into a huge bowl shape and use it to catch the ball? Oh my god, yes. Dia nods. <laughs> Why not? Right? You'll make fielding grounders way easier. We just have to lie face down on the dirt and wait for the ball to roll in. <laughs> Maybe our whole team should grow their hair out and try this. I feel like between this, the gene doping, and Min's steroids idea, the sport of baseball isn't ready for us. <laughs> Akarsha grimaces as they reach the school campus. I have this huge cramp from chasing you earlier. I'm all sweaty now, too. Not my fault. Get in shape. I'm gonna wash, go wash up and take a tinkle. Can you not say it like that? Not say it like what? The tinkle thing. Too descriptive. Unfortunately, Akarsha is already out of earshot and saunters off without answering. Oh man. Um, she opens her locker and Min comes up behind her. Oh, oh, she knows more phrases now! Good morning! I don't know how to say it. <laughs> wait, she never told her? Come on! Or wait, is it just- oh, wait, I don't even know. Min taught me that phrase a long time ago. It means hi in Korean. Maybe she's touched that I still remember it? Oh no, it's definitely not. <laughs> no, she still hasn't told her. <laughs> Min, please. Dia laces their hands together. I like teaching other people all these praises. It's like a secret code. Yeah, we can even say romantic stuff without other people knowing. Like spies. Or that's not her voice. What am I doing? Min brings Dia's hands to her lips and presses a kiss to her knuckles. <laughs> Min is so romantic, she's like a prince. Suddenly, Dia realizes how close of a view Min is getting of her hand. I have hair on my friend's hands and fingers, she's gonna see it! No, Dia, it's- no! Dia, no! Dia frantically wrenches her hand out of Min's grip. Uh-huh! What's wrong? I guess Min likes me so much, nothing's bad's gonna happen if I tell her. There's hair on my hands, I didn't want to see. <laughs> Min looks utterly dumbfounded. What? They're hairy. My arms, too. When I wear short sleeves, you can see it from far away. Uh, really? I, I never noticed. Uh-huh. <laughs> Min. <laughs> I thought Min of all people would have noticed. She spends so much time staring at me. I'll show you. My leg hair is even worse. Tia nervously rolls up one of her leggings to reveal her hairy legs. I mean, yeah, I see it now, but it's just hair. Glad you're not grossed out by it. But it still might make me feel better to shave it. I won't stop you, but you really don't have to. You're drop-dead gorgeous with or without it. Like, think about those poodles you have, like, the ones with curly hair. <laughs> Carpet dogs. Yeah, whatever you want to call them. They have fur all over their legs, don't they? Doesn't look so bad and weird when people shave their legs bare. Oh, doesn't look- doesn't it look so bad and weird when people shave their legs beer, bare? Yeah. How's your leg hair any different? It's just a normal part of you. It doesn't make you any less cute. I guess that kind of makes sense. It makes total sense! It's the other way around that doesn't make sense. It really pisses me off when I notice all the crap the world tries to force on girls. <laughs> Min gets really fired up when she talks about this stuff. Like this leg and armpit shaving shit, making them think that they have to have- They have to like pink and have long hair. If you have a brother like I do, the difference is really obvious. It's all fake. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, exactly. This is like what- This is what Dia's mom should have been. Like, no, not no, don't shave your hair because it's what- some- Something not- Like, not Indian. Like, no, don't shave your hair because you don't need to. <laughs> so smart. Thanks, I feel a little bit better now. Good. If anyone makes fun of you for it, I'll kill- I mean, I'll be really, really mean to them. No one's around right now. I really want to kiss her. Dia, le Dia leans in and Min catches her lips in a fierce kiss. When they break apart, Min looks very proud of herself. Notice anything different? It's a really nice kiss, but I have no idea what she's talking about. I got rid of the rest of my cigarettes! You threw them away? No, I sold them to some junior for 15 bucks. That's not good. 
Well, at least it's not me smoking them anymore. That's true. Was it hard to quit? I mean, it's not like I was addicted, so it wasn't that bad. I was a little worried she wouldn't listen, but now that she did, I almost feel guilty. But thanks. But I feel bad I made you change just for me. Huh? You didn't make me do anything. I decided to quit because I figured it'd make me happier if I got to kiss you more. Noelle kept sending me these annoying as fuck studies gloating that she was gonna live longer than me too. <laughs> Honestly, it was worth it just to make her shut up about it. But still, if you weren't dating me, you wouldn't have quit. Guess not? But isn't what it, but isn't that what people mean when they say a couple's good for each other? Like they bring out the best in each other. Oh. I guess people do say that too. I'm happy you quit. I think- I think I'm just not used to being listened to like this. I mean, I'd be pretty- I'd be a pretty shitty girlfriend if I didn't care when something was bothering you. I know you'd do the same for me. That's true. I can't believe that worked. I'm glad I said something. But isn't it common sense that you can't change people? Huh? That sounds so cynical. Cynical. But sometimes it does happen. Sometimes you want someone to change and they won't. I mean, I guess it's technically true. You can't change people. All you can do is tell them how they make you feel, and then it's up to them to change. Some people will make that leap for you, but others won't. Yeah. I think I just need to make my peace with that. <laughs> I'll always make that leap for you. Even if it was from a car to a truck, when they're still driving really fast, like in the Matrix. That sounds scary. I hope that never happens. But I wouldn't get hurt at all, and look, and I look really badass doing it. You already look badass doing normal stuff like pitching. Why this? <laughs> Dio's heart rate quickens with excitement as Min pulls her into another kiss. Dio shudders as Min slips a hand under her sh- Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sliding her warm palm against the small of her back. <laughs> is this okay? Min's hand is hot against her bare skin. Once you get over the initial shock of it, it feels nice. Want me to stop? Dia shakes her head, hiding her burning face in the crook of Min's neck. Min withdraws her hand, looking uncertain. I'm not gonna do it unless you say you want me to. I just need to spit it out. It's not fair to always make her guess whether I'm having fun or not. Even if she's good at it, I need to help her out sometimes. It's just Min. Nothing bad's gonna happen. <laughs> Please don't stop. A wicked grin crosses Min's face, sending a rush of heat through Dia's body. Good, then I won't. <laughs> May I please get my textbooks? <laughs> you're blocking the you're blocking the locker. Uh, sorry. <laughs> no else, just right in front of my salad. <laughs> that evening, Dia's doing her homework when her bedroom door opens. Her mom leaves a bowl of cut fruit on the table. <laughs> sorry, I lose it if she brings in fruit. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so good at this. <laughs> mom! <laughs> Your mom silently places a bowl of sliced mango on Dia's desk and leaves the room. Dia nibbles on the fruit and continues working on her assignment. Aww. Mom! Woo, let's go! Min, yeah. <clears throat> Fourth grade. Florida. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> now don't get too close to the water! Oh, come on, what's the point of a field trip to a, to a bay, bay, bayou if we don't even get to splash around in it a little? I mean, there might be alligators in there, it's probably dangerous. Min suddenly trudges along the edge of the bayou with the rest of her classmates. I miss California. We just moved here a couple months ago. Before, the only white people I knew were Hayden and my teachers. But now, every single kid in our class is white except me and June. I can't believe Hayden was right! Our school in California really wasn't like the- <laughs> anything like the rest of America. <laughs> this bayou has a lot of biodiversity, does anyone know what that means? Junseo raises his hand. Your teacher pauses awkwardly before nodding to him. Uh, sorry, how do you pronounce your name again? Oh no. Junseo. You- can you repeat that? Yeah, Junseo. She nods and her brows furrow, looking lost. Uh, is it okay if I call you John and teach? No. Okay. Okay? 
<laughs> Looking embarrassed, June invokes her and answers the question like nothing happened. Biodiversity is when there's a lot of different plants and animals living somewhere. <laughs> That's right, John! <laughs> John, no! A variety of animals thrive in this habitat. Let's see which one- <laughs> I don't know why I gave him like a really, really bad southern accent. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Let's see which ones we can spot from here. Yes, Sarah? I see a fish in the water. Min hisses to her twin under her breath as the lesson continues. What was that? Now the teacher's gonna think it's okay to call me Minnie or something. <laughs> Not John. <laughs> yeah, John. Minnie. <laughs> if people start calling me Minnie Mouse, that would be at the absolute worst. I can't talk. I, I don't think that's gonna happen. It better not. I hate Minnie Mouse. She's weak and wimpy looking. I bet if people punch her in the gut, she'd just die. I go- I'll go make the teacher call you the right name. No, don't. I don't want to make a huge deal out of it. But you should make a huge deal out of it. It's your name! It's fine. John's close enough. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it looks like the ant walk is ready for us now. Everyone follow me! The class continues down the trail, passing a group from another school. Many of the kids gawk at her and June with unabashed curiosity as they pass by. One boy pulls his eyes into s Oh no! Slits with his fingers and his friends giggle. <laughs> what the? You wanna go, dickhead? Fight me! Oh no, he's mad! I don't like the sound of that bitch! Yeah, get him, Min. Enraged, Min punches him in the face. He topples backward. There's a huge splash as he lands on his butt in the shallows of the bayou. Oh! Yeah, go Min. <laughs> I was like, I was like, what is the song singing? Oh shit. Oh, I might as well save. Okay, Min. Min seizes his head before he can get up and dunks it into the muddy water. <laughs> get him, Gators! Min, stop it! Hey, get off of him! Half an hour later. Oh, man. Min sits seething in the back seat as her dad drives her and June home. <laughs> what, what? I'm gonna give her dad a really bad voice. I'm sorry, but it's just... It's just my way of coping. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Are we brain damaged? <laughs> That's not going to pick you up in the middle of work because you can't behave yourself. I was good. I don't see why I have to be punished, too. I didn't do anything wrong either. Your teacher said you tried to do out a boy. Huh? That's a lie. I was only holding him underwater. Shit. I was only holding him underwater so the alligators would bite him. <laughs> That's not any better. The dad curses and lays down the horn as a Honda charges into their lane. <laughs> something, something, something. Son of a bitch. He cut me off. The car lurches forward with squealing tires. Her dad is racing to catch up on the offending Honda, his eyes wild. What's he doing? He's going nuts! A horrible cold wash runs down Min's spine as her dad maintains his breakneck speed besides the Honda and lays down the horn. Dad, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jun screams that their dad finally swerves into the Honda, threatening to collide with them. The other driver is forced to veer off the road to avoid crashing. What? What's wrong with you? Because he was at fault! I wouldn't even let him get away with it. What are you crazy? You could have crashed. <laughs> it's your fault for making me so mad in first place. It must have been me again. I'll ruin your mood with him. The dad is insane. Yeah. Leave him alone. Yeah. 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 Literally. Min remembers the time her dad threw a three pound paperweight at her head because she cut her hair short and goes quiet. Fuming, her dad pulls over on the side of the road so he can focus on yelling at them. Tomorrow at school, you said don't do teacher for calling me to my Why should I have to apologize? I didn't do anything wrong. That jerk was asking for it. He was being racist and saying we don't know English. Doesn't matter what you did. What's gonna happen? You lose your army to him. Sorry, 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 but I'm coping. <clears throat> what about what you just did? You just went ballistic five minutes ago. Yeah, literally everyone is a hypocrite. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't you be more like your brother? June is so well behaved. You don't understand, you won't fare. You think you're the only one who's done some time in the world? People don't even hire me because I asked for the people I'm done with that. When I got rejected from a job and job, what was I gonna do? Complain for all like a baby? I have to sit through this lecture too. I didn't even do anything. Okay, it's an important life lesson. Just listen. 
I forget Mel and Miss Hill and Peter Paul and people who have rejected me. And you know, we have been led in jail and we have started this. But that's not what happened. I instead went harder. I got certification studying day and night, got rid of my accent. And I was so much qualified with all the white guys coming to force to see how skilled I was. See, you have to be smart. Wasting time worrying about it, it's not gonna solve anything. This is you, writing. Vin's dad imitates her in a high pitched voice. Oh god, dad, no. Someday I'm gonna kill you. Someday I'm gonna kill you. Oh man, no, the double bedroom. The Pokemon poster. <laughs> At home. At home, Min and June hold an emergency meeting in their room. <laughs> this is an emergency meeting of the I Hate Dad Club. Club President and Strike Force Commander Min will read out our agenda today. Our agenda today is complain about how much dad sucks. If he's so good at not getting mad at work, how come he gets mad at us all the time? I mean, I feel like it's all connected. What do you mean? Maybe he bottles up all his bad feelings at work, so when we do anything, he blows up on us. In his head, maybe it's okay for him to yell at us because he's our dad. Well, he's not allowed to yell at me for getting mad when he's not any better. I can't believe he sided with the teacher instead of me, coward. I hate races, they should all die. I feel like he had a point about the fight you got into, though. What? You're demoted! You can't demote me, I'm chief demoter, remember? Screw that, you're my only twin and you're betraying me? You were there too, you of all people should get how I feel. Uh, it's your fault I got in trouble. That's right, and we shouldn't react like that to bullies. We should try to be the bigger person. No, they have to die! If the other people- if other people are bad, we should just be- we should be- what? If other people are bad, we should just get to be as bad. We should get to be just as bad. Do you learn anything today? We don't get to be bad. It's just us- it'll just get us in trouble. And when you talk back to dad, it makes him go crazy. When are you gonna learn? It's just like mom. How come no one will stand up against him except me? What's your idea then, genius? Be a wimpy loser like him? Well, I don't know. Maybe if we just laugh along, the other kids will want to be our friends. Five years later. California. Vin, can you act? I guess, why? Can you be in a video we're making for English? Sure, what's the video? Leah reties re her ponytail, but most of her short hair immediately falls out from the elastic and ends up framing her face. Min gently tucks a curly lock behind Dia's ear, making her grow from lush at her fingertips as her fingertips brush her skin. Talking is hard. We have to make a video about current events. So we chose Saving the Grey Wolves. Short. D did I say it again? No way, right? But uh, who's who's we? That's a no -well. How come you guys keep getting these three-person group projects? My teachers usually do groups of four. There are four-person projects, it's just that usually no one else wants to be in our group. Oh. So I need more people to act out the skit we wrote. Actually, if we just made a few simple cuts to the script, three people would have been more than enough. Your feelings on the subject matter are distorting your judgment. No, we need feed people for the wolf family alone. <laughs> There's no point in showing an entire family of wolves. Just a single wolf will suffice. No, it'll be more sad if there isn't. There's. It'll be more sad if there's also a mommy and daddy. Yeah, stop censoring our artistic vision. <laughs> you just remembered. Damn it. I've never seen you two gain up a Noel like this before. It's because she's wrong about this. If we're gonna make a video, it's our chance to create a masterpiece. We can make it so funny! Funny? That doesn't sound like the same thing D is going for. I want it to be like, how to be a ninja. What's that? You haven't seen it? Oh my god, I'm so old! No? You have to watch it! It's the funniest video I've ever seen! I found this on this- I found it on this website called YouTube yesterday. Oh yeah, what's that? I even converted it to MP4 online so I can watch it on my iPod. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's so old. Oh, nostalgia, man. Min puts it in one of Akarsha's earbuds so she can hear the video. Akarsha takes the other. 
Uh, holy shit, iPods can play MP4? Since when? <laughs> in the living room, two teenage boys do cartwheels and kick-ups to the song Kung Fu Fighting. Oh, they're both Asian? They look about our age. <laughs> hey you, wanna learn how to defend yourself? Aren't you tired of bullies picking on you all the time? <laughs> well then, How to Be Ninja is the DVD for you. A boy in the video bows. Hello everyone, my name's Han- I can't- I can't say this. My name is Hanete Wakusho Shiseyo Takashide Teriyaki Suzuki on the Civic. Hello, my name is Bob. I don't know if I've ever seen two Asian kids like me staring, starring anything before. And they're being funny and everything. Oh my god, it's him. It's him! The first Russian in being a ninja. Blah blah blah. Already, already, a car is cracking up so hard at the kid's line delivery that the iPod is quaking in her hands. <laughs> it should make loud unnecessary noises when you hit things. I've never seen a video like this in my whole life, it's hilarious! You must be able to transform into anything! An animal, a tree, a f-word, you must be able to imitate anyone! After a kung fu battle that culminates in one of the kids resorting to use a fake gun, the bloopers play. And we will be teaching you! <laughs> the boys repeatedly dissolve into laughter over the accent they're doing. It looked like they had so much fun making this. Right? It's so inspirational! They're like our age, but they made such an awesome video. They can create something that iconic, so can we. Must I remind you that this is a school assignment? That we're being graded on? You're still following the grading rubric? Are you? I don't see Gun for an Academy Award on there. <laughs> The script you wrote- the script you two have written is wildly overambitious. Yeah. Under the table, Akarsha immobilizes one of Noel's feet by sandwiching it between two of her own feet like tongs. Got you, captured. <laughs> I'm not captured! Noel wriggles her foot free. When Akarsha tries to trap it again, Noel retaliates by pinning one of Akarsha's feet against the leg of the table. <laughs> No fair, I'm wearing flip flops while well, you have real shoes. You gotta go easy on me. <laughs> you chose the battleground, you don't get to complain! What the hell, they always ask so demented, demented around each other. When you're done playing footsies, can we talk about what you guys actually need from me? The Akash and Noel freeze, looking embarrassed. <laughs> what? Hello, because I'm acting in your project? Can you meet us at the park this, this weekend? Yeah, that's where we're filming. There's this- there's a kind of woodsy looking spot at the edge of it. Do I need to bring anything? Nope, just you. We're still working on the script, so we'll give it to you there. We'll take care of the costumes too. Sakura and Yuki have a ton of stuff we can use, so they're gonna bring it all- Oh my god! Do they have sprites of this? Oh my god, wait. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Okay, so calm down, Shi. Don't get your expectations up too high. Well, I'll be there. The park. When Min gets there, she spots Akarsha waiting in the shade under a tree. Where is everyone? And also, Dia's mom just picked her up. It's so annoying how Dia's mom has to be fine. Has always been fine with Noelle, but not me. And Sakura and Yuki are running late because they couldn't find a hat that couldn't find a hat that they wanted to bring. We don't need Chris and Liz till the fourth scene or so, so I told them that they can show up whenever. Wait, they're acting in it too? Yeah, we pretty much ended up summoning the entire baseball club to help. Wait, this is really cute! Wait, oh! <laughs> Min joins Akarsha under the shade. So, any progress on your crush? <sighs> didn't, I already you, didn't I already tell you I got rejected? You told me you half-assed a confession through a fucking text before checking it out and passing it off as a joke. Well, I was flirting pretty hard before that happened, so either way, they should have gotten the message at, at least subliminally. Subliminally? Have you been listening to a thing I'm saying? Go big or go home. I literally can't even tell who it. it I can't. Even, blah, 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 I literally can't even tell who it was you were flirting with. Okay, I know, I know. What's that? Confessing them, to, <laughs> confessing to them on April Fool's Day. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> when Dia and Noel show up, Min runs over and presses a kiss on Dia's cheek. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I make noises. Oh! I told Dia that phrase meant hi a really long time ago. Maybe you should come clean about it now that we're actually dating. I don't want her to stop saying it though. Noel wearily wears hands in her script. While we're waiting for the others, you can at least familiarize, familiarize yourself with the lines. 
Oh gosh. It's unseasonly hot out, so Min fans deal with the script. What am I playing? The evil hunter. Whoa, sick! So what do I do? <laughs> Are you illiterate? Just read the script! I will, just give me the Spark Notes version first. To summarize, gray wolves are said to be removed when endangered species lifts. I'll be playing a reporter. First, I'll interview an environmentalist, Dia. Next, I'll interview you, a evil hunter. Lastly, I'll interview a family of wolves on their opinion. <laughs> During this last interview, the evil hunter kills the wolf pup, played by Akarsha. <laughs> You really don't like this script, huh? It's clearly biased. It doesn't make sense to extend the special treatment to wolves just because they're, quote, cute and fuzzy. It makes sense in my heart. <laughs> From an objective numerical standpoint, their populations have recovered enough that these prote protections are no longer needed. Humans have a thriving population too. Does that mean aliens are allowed to hunt us for a sport? No. Min reads the sprit at sc sprit. Min reads the script as they argue. It's physically battered and marked with ed edits. <laughs> Why do I feel like a car is gonna burn? <laughs> yeah, I, I feel that feeling, right? But like, that's the question. Where are they gonna get one? Does Sakura and Yuki have a fursuit? <laughs> like, that's the question. Oh my god. <clears throat> they must have been fighting over this for hours. She's <laughs> Oh my god. Guys, wait, I have another idea. I just saw a video of a guy setting a pile of leaves on fire and it exploded. Can we try to work that into the video too? No. <laughs> Dia slips her hand into Min's as Akarsha and Noah argue. Looks like we have some time to kill before everyone else arrives. Min looks around the park. There's a dog! Yes! <laughs> yes, the dog! Dia is almost in tears watching the dog run in circles around the park. It looks like a banana dipped in chocolate and he doesn't even know it. God, the way you think is so fucking cute. <laughs> the dog catches a frisbee with its mouth and brings it to its owner. Fuck it, good boy! Fuck it! <laughs> Want me to ask if you can pet it? No, I think I can do it, thanks. Oh sure, go for it. Don't worry, I'll take over if they don't let you pet it. Aww. Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> Dia nods and hesitantly approaches the dog's owner. She stands about a foot behind him, unnoticed. <laughs> she must be psyching herself up to do it. Can I pet your dog? <laughs> you scared me! Sure, you can pet him. Bucket happily rolls over on his back, exposing his belly. Yay! Dia gives the bog, bog? Dia gives the dog a hearty belly rub as he blissfully writhes around in the grass. Oh, cute. cute. What the fuck? Do you want to pet it too? She's talking to me! Oh, pet the dog, of course! Min rubs the dog's belly with both hands. His rough fur is a little smelly. When she stops, the dog looks up at her expectantly. He's asking for more. You're still petting him too. He really wants a whole crew massag. <laughs> he really wants a whole crew massaging him at once. After a solid five minutes, Bucket still hasn't had enough pets. <laughs> it's okay. You can stop. Uh, I don't want to keep you guys all day. Oh, okay, thanks. Min squeezes Dia's hand as the guy walks off with his dog. You did good talking to that guy. I'm trying to get better at it. I used to think that I was just awkward because of my ear, but I think I partially picked it up from my mom. She's old and scared of answering the phone and talking to strangers. I want to be different. Oh, I get that feeling. I don't want to be like my dad no matter what. That's why I'll never have kids. I'll never do the things he would have did to me to someone else. You wouldn't be like him. You're not a bad person. But I'm worried it's easy to do it by accident. Look at the dog more. <laughs> if I were in charge of naming the dog, I'd name him Banana Dipped in Chocolate. But that's way too long! His first name can be Banana, middle dipped in- <laughs> his last name is Chocolate. <laughs> that, that's still the exact same length! Look at dead tree stump. It's the husk of a dead tree stump. Dia, let's throw rocks at this tree stump! I bet we can knock the bark off it. Okay. <laughs> they survey the ground for rocks to throw, but there's only dirt and twigs. 
We should look around for big rocks. Good idea. Oh, okay. Search for rocks. <laughs> hmm. Sorry. <clears throat> Min scours the ground for rocks. Meanwhile, Dio watches the dogs running around. There's a decently big slab lying in the dirt. This rock will work. Now we just need to find one for me, too. Uh, th this one's for me? This one's for you. <laughs> I don't see any more rocks around here. We should look somewhere else. What is this? We don't have enough rocks to throw at this yet. Me and I each need one, otherwise it's not fair. Okay, nice. Okay. Let's search the... the playground. Let's just stand here, no rocks. It's sad that we're too big for playgrounds now. They should make playgrounds for teens and adults. Yeah, all the scenarios we'd come up with while playing pretend were so fun. My favorite was the one where we pretended we were runaways starting our own clan. That one was so popular, some of the kids joining in weren't even our friends. So I said the teachers made us stop because everyone was digging huge holes in the ground and making stuff out of mud. Is that why? I thought it was because it got too big. Remember, like, 30 of us were doing it. Maybe it was a combination of both? I don't know. I didn't even dig anything. My house was just a bunch of pine needles I arranged in a circle shape. You mean our house? We were married. In the pretend world, I mean. Uh, we, we were? I saved you from being kidnapped by bandits and I made you marry me as a reward. You did the exact same thing as the bandits then? N no I didn't. The bandits only wanted you for bad reasons, but I wanted you for nice reasons only. And didn't you say this game was your favorite? You must have liked it. <laughs> Realizing that Min's right, Dia is so embarrassed that she doesn't respond. Oh my god. Oh hey! What? Esther's hair! What the hell? Oh, it looks good! Sorry. I make noises. <laughs> Esther is seated on the bench, fiddling with a camcorder. Oh, you're here too? Yeah, I'm being the cameraman. Akarsha kept insisting that I'm good at it because I'm artsy, so... Did she say something to her hair? It looks way different than usual. Oh, your hair's so flat today. Uh, thanks? <laughs> Esther gives her a weird look. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dia searches the ground for big rocks. What are you doing? Looking for rocks. Have you seen any? There's a pretty big one over there. Esther points to a large stone on the ground. <gasps> Thanks! <laughs> this one's as big as my fist! Yeah, this will work! For what? <laughs> Esther's playing with the camcorder settings. Okay. That's it. Alright. Yeah! Oh my god. Min hurls a rock at the dead stone. It hits with a thwack. Causing a small piece of dry bark to fly off. <laughs> cool. Yeah, she's so impressed by me. <laughs> I bet she wants to kiss me so bad. Dia follows Min's lead and fires a rock at the stump. It slams into the stump so hard, its top half explodes in a shower of bark shards. Whoa! That was so badass! Thanks. She's the most perfect girl in the world. Min has to hold herself back from grabbing Dia and kissing her senseless. <laughs> I wish we didn't have to hide that we were dating. I get why we have to, but I wish I could just shout it from the mountaintops that you're my girlfriend. It's still true, even if you can't say it. It'd be nice to say it so everyone knows. Yeah, I know what you mean. I wish we could go on more dates. I want to go everywhere with you. The Aquarium, PetSmart, Home Depot, Lights Section, Airplane. <laughs> Dia. <laughs> An airplane? Why, do you like flying? Not really. I like looking out the window and eating pretzel packet. <laughs> And Southwest gives you a little s stir with your drink that's shaped like a heart, but that's it. Aw, oh, Southwest- Southwest doesn't do that anymore! <laughs> we haven't done it together before though, so I think it'll be fun. I want to see how you react to it. Me too, I want to see your face when they give you the heart-shaped stir thing. We should each ask for, the different, for a different free bev beverage and share, so I get to try two drinks instead of just one. Imagine it. Imagining it makes Min's heart feel like it's going to explode. Forgetting her surroundings, Min surges forward to kiss her just as Dia does the same, causing their mouths to crash together unexpectedly hard. Ugh. Sorry, got too excited. That's the worst kiss ever. <laughs> Let's redo it. Wait, won't people see us? Oops, I forgot. Maybe we should lie down in the grass. Huh? Why? That way it'll look like we're just wrestling. Uh <laughs> 
Dian lies down and Min gets on top of her and starts making out with her. It doesn't look anything like wrestling. <laughs> Dia clutches Min's back as Min presses kiss after kiss on her lips. You're so cute, do you know that? Be a little. <laughs> Dia goes still underneath her, suddenly looking uncomfortable. What's wrong? A bug crawled under my shirt. Oh no, not the bug! Dia sits up. <laughs> so scandalous. Dia sits up and unsuccessfully gropes under her hoodie for the bug. Every neuron in. Min's brain misfires as Dia hikes her hoodie all the way up over her bra, exposing her bare torso. Oh, <laughs> I'm looking respectfully. <laughs> Min, please. Min and Karsha are like the same level of down bad, but like Min just like more successful. <laughs> Oh, don't know where it went. Min is so distracted that it takes a few seconds to notice the bug crawling on Dia's chest. Oh, it's just a beetle. I got it. She grabs a hold of it as Akarsha and Noel come jogging up to them. <laughs> Everyone has arrived. We should get in costume now. Uh. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Noel. <laughs> Dia frantically puts her pulls her hoodie back on. Uh, whoa. I was just helping her. A bug crawled up her shirt. <laughs> Where was it gonna crawl next? Down her pants? <laughs> what the fuck? That's not what was happening. Look, the bug's right here. Min raises her hand to show them, but it's gone. <laughs> Betrayal. <laughs> Must have flown off. I mean, I'm not judging. If I had a ticket to poop, say, I know her details. <laughs> But literally here, in broad daylight, really? Oh, for fuck's sake, we literally weren't doing anything. <laughs> uh, sorry. <clears throat> Dia's face is still flushed pink as they walked over to the other's tanning hand. <laughs> hey, was she making you uncomfortable? I can make her stop. No, it's okay. Thanks for asking. I feel pampered with you. The second hair in a burst? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh. Good, cause you deserve to be pampered. The group gathers around Sakura and Yuki as they haul a pile of clothes and props out of a duffel bag. Oh boy. Sorry we're late, I was turning my closet upside down trying to find everything. Any objections if I play music from my phone? Are you gonna play anime openings? Maybe. Then yes. <laughs> How about K-pop? I just discovered this- <laughs> Oh no, it's so old! Oh, I feel so old! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just discovered this amazing group called Super Junior. I don't know what that is. You can play one song. Yosh! <laughs> she plays a song from her phone speakers and tries to untangle a Nerf gun from a coat belt. Oh wait, I'm too aggressive. <laughs> oh, this isn't so bad. Isn't it great? Korean guys are just so much better than American guys. <laughs> How so? <laughs> oh my god, Yuki. They're all so beautiful and kind-hearted, not smelly purrs like the guys here. I need to find myself- No! Yuki, you're so cringe! It's just weird, should I say something? <laughs> the secondhand embarrassment- Secondhand embarrassment part two. <laughs> I guess she doesn't mean any harm by it, she's just trying to appreciate the culture. <laughs> the cringe. <clears throat> oh, it hurts. Oh, god. Okay. <clears throat> Here, Min, this trench coat's yours. It's my brother. Uh, it's my brother's. Yoit. I don't know. I don't know who this character is. Yoit costume? It's supposed to have a hat, too, but I think he lost it. Yoit. The fuck is that? From the amazing series, nobody. No. Oh, duh. Wait, wait a minute, is this all anime stuff? I believe the correct term is cosplay? What? Karsha, I thought you meant normal costumes, like Halloween costumes. <laughs> I need a second. Ow, my shoe. Wait. Hold on. This I need 
<laughs> it's like, go look in a mirror. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god. Wait till she learns how Min style Hey, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> uh, you didn't ask, so. What the fuck are you wearing? My baby wolf costume. <laughs> How do I look? Like someone wearing cat ears. Is this really gonna come across as wolf? Yuki, this would have been more convincing if you had first suits. <laughs> right. <laughs> first suits are so expensive though. I may become a doctor just to be able to afford them someday. <clears throat> Welcome to today's interview. Why are you here? Um, you know, I just want to be able to earn a lot of money so that I can buy a fursuit. <laughs> That's the reason? Yeah, that's why I want to be a doctor. <laughs> also, you, don't, you guys don't have to call me Yuki anymore. I realized a few days ago that going by a Japanese name in real life is kind of weird if you're not actually Japanese. <laughs> me too, actually. Even if we love anime, it's a bit much. <laughs> it took you all the way until now to realize that. Well, better late than never. Thank God. So, what are your names? <laughs> Grace. Grace? What the? And my real name's... Uh... So, 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 let me. I need to figure out how to pronounce things. Sorry, I just need to make sure. So, uh, e da, say, say, say. No, it's so, so, say da, say da, say da, say da, say da. Gotcha. My real name's Saida. At least that one sounds kind of like Sakura. <laughs> Harsha, what does your outfit have to do with being a wolf? You only need the ears and paws to get the point across. But you're saying I should be naked? <laughs> no, I'm not! <laughs> Dia holds up her environmentalist costume. Where do I change? I used the restroom over there. <laughs> I like how she just has her hands up. It's the, it's just the one family room, so you all you all have to take turns getting changed. Unless, you know, you want Min to get more bugs off you. <laughs> you freak whore! You derange! You're deranged if you think I'm funny here in the park bathroom! One way to take it to Boob City. I can't say it Min's lines out loud. What? Stop calling my girlfriend! Stop calling my girlfriend Boob City?! Why are you so obsessed with that phrase now? I'll go now. <laughs> In the meantime, Min, can you help me pitch this tent? It's gonna be the one setting on your- It's going to be the setting of your first scene. Ugh, fine. I can help too, since I don't need to get in costume. <clears throat> Min helps Esther and Noel carry the box with the tent in it. I don't understand why Akarsha keeps making those crass jokes about you two. It's not as if two girls can actually have sexual relations, <laughs> Noel. <laughs> What the hell are you talking about? Yes, they can. Be dense. Humans weren't involved like that. And having it makes it impossible. That's impossible. You can use other body parts like your fingers. But fingers? You must be mistaken. Are we really having this conversation right now? <laughs> no, it's true. I mean, girls love manga is a thing. What? Do you think lesbians just gave up sex for life? <laughs> She's serious? How sheltered is she? Noelle's so shocked she doesn't speak for a while. Esther wipes sweat off her brow and points at the clearing in the dry grass. Uh, that spot over there looks like... It might- uh, That spot over there might look nice on film. Isn't it a bit close to the ravine, though? There's a steep downhill slope right be beside it. So, it's not like the tent's gonna teleport backwards after we've nailed it down. Yeah, unless the typhoon blows us over, I think it'll be fine. Alright, I see I'm out outnumbered. But don't say I didn't warn you. Min hears rustling behind her. She turns around and sees Akarsha making a leaf pile. <laughs> Wait, is he trying that exploding leaf thing? Akarsha, that is not allowed! <laughs> As Noel chases after Akarsha, Min and Esther lay out their tent in the spot they picked. So freaking anal. She probably sexually attracted to laws. <laughs> I bet she loses her mind whenever she sees Jay Walkers. She does! It's like she thinks someone's gonna go, Good job, Noelle. You're the best at following the rules and give her a gold star for it. Min squints in confusion at the steps. At the steps to set up the tent. 
I can't picture this shit. Where did the poles go? They crisscross in the middle, see? Here, just hold hold that and hold that end and stick it through the metal ring. Yay! Like magic, the tent pops out into the third dimension. Holy shit, you're a camping prodigy! I mean, all I did was follow the instructions. Now we just have to find this uh now we just have to drive the stakes into the ground. Mm. Min pounds it. Pounds eats steak into the dirt with a large stone, enthralled by that hitting something is actually constructive for once. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Meanwhile, Esther takes her sketchbook out of her backpack and starts writing in it. What are you doing? Esther stops looking embarrassed. I I'm writing down what you said earlier as inspiration for my webcomic, like for character dialogue. I started doing this whenever something interesting happens so I can remember later. Huh? What, I what did I say that was interesting? Oh, wait, did she, she said it wrong? I didn't even notice. You said I was a camping prog- prog giddy. You know, instead of progedy. What's so special about that? They're pretty much the same anyway. Is it a word? I don't know, I just thought it was a neat detail. I need to look this up. Progedy? Proge? Proge? Prog? A screenwriting major from USC. That's not it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know, it's just that it was a neat deal, detail. Obviously, I'll only use it if you're okay, though. I mean, sure, I don't really care. What's it for again? A comic? Yep. What, like Garfield? <laughs> uh, no, it's nothing like that. It's still a work in progress, but basically, it's about a bunch of teenagers who have the power to shift into alternate dimensions. It's kind of sci-fi, I guess. Oh, so like a superhero comic. No, there are no supervillains or anything. All their problems come from the way that they use their own powers. Like, when you're in a parallel universe, you're gone from your original universe, right? But what if you get tied up with something while with something while there and can't come back? That suck ass. I wouldn't get to see Dio or my friends anymore. Exactly. No one from the world no one from the world you've left behind would know why you disappeared. And you just become a missing person there. I always get so stressed out about that when reading Narnia and time travel stories. I've never heard her talk this much before. She must be really hyped about her webcomic. Anyway, a lot of miscommunication happens between the characters because of issues like that. No offense, but I can't stand stories that revolve around misunderstandings. It's so frustrating when the whole problem is literally just people being bad at talking. If you hurt someone, it should be on purpose. <sighs> but those prob those kinds of problems are the most realistic. In real life, people hurt each other all by accident all the time. Like how? You know how before our school became 93% Asian, it used to have a football team? They died because Asians don't care about football, right? Same as the real baseball team. Yeah, no one no well no uh blah blah. No one would go to the games. As a last dish effort to help them last year, my math teacher offered us two points of extra credit for coming to a football game. So I went to help my grade. But as soon as I got home, my dad yelled at me for going to a game instead of studying. He didn't get that we had the exact same goal, me getting good grades. <laughs> Wait, what ethnicity, ethnicity are you? Oh, I'm black and Chinese. And your dad's a black one? Uh, yeah, he is. I didn't know- No, man! I didn't know black people cared about grades. That's like, pretty racist for you to say. Bewildered, Min completely misses the tense stake she was trying to hit. Huh? How is it racist? Why would you assume black people don't care about their grades? I didn't mean it was a diss or anything. I don't care about grades either. It's not like I was looking down on them. But, but why even bring my race into it like that? I was just asking a question. Didn't you bring up race first? You were talking about Asians. I'm Asian, so I'm allowed to say that. Sure, whatever. But if I knew you would be so fucking sensitive about it, I wouldn't have asked in the first place. Oh, so instead of saying sorry, you're insulting me? What? Why the hell should I apologize? I'm shook. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to be offensive. It's not like I purposely called you the N-word or something. Well, wow, thanks for not calling me the N-word, <laughs> Wow, well, the bar is so low. I'm just saying you're overreacting. There's a real racist people out there who hate minorities, and you're calling me racist just because I accidentally made one little mistake? It's not just one little mistake. You say weird, ignorant stuff like this all the time. Oh god, this is, this is going in a bad direction for me. No, I don't. Like what? Like when you randomly told me my hair was flat. Like, what was I even supposed to say to that? Yours too? Give a grip, that's not even real racism! 
you're seriously trying to explain what racism is to me, a black and Chinese person? Look, I'm a minority too, us fighting is so dumb. You being Asian doesn't mean you're not racist. The worst racism I've ever seen was when I turned to China. God, you're being so stupid. I implode from second hand verse. Yeah. <laughs> it's the misunderstanding thing that Esther was just. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And like, Min, Min is like really sort of. I feel like she, she's extremely defensive about it, right? Because she is so. Oh, shit, my computer shut down. My other computer. So, because she's like super kind of aware of racism because she was treated badly too, right? But she doesn't realize that it can happen from her too, but like in the most minute way. Just like the way, you know, she says things, right? It's like... Because like the racism, the sort of racism that Min experienced was like, like blatant, like just being a dick, you know? This was like, I have good intentions, but I just don't realize some things because I just never learned about it sort of racism. <laughs> Like, you're, you weren't trying to be a dick, you know? Yeah. And it's like, oh no, she's totally gonna beat herself up over this, isn't she? Sorry, I'm just trying to get my computer open again. Oh god, Min. Okay. Esther throws her stake down and storms off. Dumbfounded, Min just stands there with her heart racing a mile a minute. I didn't blow up like this. I wasn't even trying to start something. Shit, did anyone else hear us fighting? Min nervously looks around, paranoid that her friends heard what happened. It's hard to tell if they did. Min frantically hammers the last stake in place, her stomach churning with a mixture of shame and panic. She hears footsteps behind her, and ne nearly has a heart attack when she turns to see Chris walking over. Oh fuck! What if Esther told Chris I'm racist against the last people she's gonna like to? I don't want her to hate me, she even me so she might even kick me off the team. Need any help with the Ted? Uh, nah, I'm good. You could say I guess you could say it's not Ted to be. <laughs> I should be extra careful not to offend her. <laughs> Great joke. Thank you. I feel like not enough people appreciate my puns. <laughs> Oh my god, Noelle. <laughs> Having donned her, quote, reporter costume, Noelle returns to a place to place a sleeping bag inside the tent. <laughs> Min, it's your turn to get changed. Where did Esther go? We're about to get we're about to start shooting. I can't tell her if Esther left because she thinks I'm racist. Um, she just randomly walked off. What? How come? Who knows? She's so weird. Oh god. In the park's restroom, Min quickly changes into her evil hunter getup. Hair down, Noelle! This is what I need! Yes, she looks so good! Ah. I'm, I'm gonna be sweating buckets wearing all this in winter. In the weather. Thank god they couldn't find the hat, or else it would have been even worse. Oh dear! What's a cat for? I'm sorry, I'm not- I'm not cool enough- I'm not a cool enough weeb to recognize these references, so I'm not gonna know what characters they're supposed to be dressed as, but like, it's cute. <laughs> Aww. Dia perks up when Min rejoins the group. You look cool. You should get a coat like that for real. Normally this would send Min over the moon, but she feels so sick to her stomach she can't properly appreciate it. Thanks. It's me, your racist girlfriend. No, man! Dia definitely wouldn't want to be with me anymore if she found that I was racist. But I look okay? You look so cute in glasses. Is this a character from something? It kind of gives off nerdy animal lover energy. No idea. <laughs> Stereo. Uh. <clears throat> I'm close as well. Yeah, like it's all. It's. It's. It's weebs, but like old weebs, you know? <laughs> it's older anime, so I have no idea. <clears throat> Esther, I like your hair. Oh yeah? Thanks. Fun buddies. Fun buddies. Aw. They began shooting the first scene in front of some trees. <laughs> the toy microphone. 
Uh... <laughs> this is Channel 2 News, reporting from Boise, Idaho. Environmentalists have been in an uproar ever since the Obama administration approved the delisting of gray wolves from the endangered species list. Even replaying the conversation in her mind is getting Min worked up again. I can't believe Esther had the nerve to call me racist. When we were in Florida, kids used to call me and my brother Ching and, and try to beat us up. Why would I be racist when I hate racists more than anyone? It doesn't make any sense! I wasn't even trying to insult her. Like, good luck going through life getting offended by every tiny little thing you see. Right? My standards are just to aren't my standards just totally messed up or something? Oh no. Min stomps on a random twig and crushes it into tiny pieces between her beneath her combat boots. What's wrong? Ugh, I'm just having a weird day. Do you think I'm racist? Hmm? No? How come? You're good to me and curious about other cultures. Why? Uh, no reason, just checking. Okay, we got it. Let's move on to the next shot. Leah goes over to standing in front of the camera. <laughs> Ma'am, can you please- uh, Ma'am, can you introduce yourself? I'm an environmentalist with a degree in wildlife ecology. My research has led me to believe that- Bro, can you speed up? <laughs> Bro, can you speak up a little? After a few takes, they managed to capture a halfway audible clip of Dia talking. They moved to the next scene. They should put, like, subtitles. <laughs> Soon, it's time for the Evil Hunter's interview. Min reviews her lines before getting into place. <clears throat> okay, I'm set up. Action. Next, I'm interviewing a hunter who's camped out in- camped out in, Ida in the Idaho wilderness. Hello there. <clears throat> oh, I, I just realized that their names changed to reporter. <laughs> Hello there, how do you feel about the removal of gray wolves from the endangered species list? Esther could straight up ruin my whole life if she said something right now. I, uh... Yes? Give me a minute, I, I just woke up. <laughs> it's the afternoon. <laughs> the sleeping bag I was sleeping in was full of rocks. Anyway, I feel ecstatic about the delisting. I can't wait to kill tons of wolves. Hold up, cut. You skipped a line. What line? A part about how delisting removed protections for wolves from hunters. All right. Hello there. How do you feel about the removal of grave wolves from the endangered species list? I feel ecstatic. The, the listing removed protections for wolves in Idaho and, and... and Sweating profusely, Min tries to focus and remember her line. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Oh, wait. I don't know if you, you heard me, but... <laughs> uh, Ma'am, hello? Don't ever call me ma'am. What? Why not? I don't like it. I'm not a woman or something. <laughs> Are you talking about your character or in real life? Cut. Come on, don't break the fourth wall. After Min botches their tenth try, <laughs> Noel looks about ready to explode. <laughs> Are you even trying right now? We're going to be stuck here all day because of you. Shut up! I am too trying. Let me take a little break. It will probably help us all reset. Yeah, let's go stare at the lake or something. <laughs> We can, all hide, we can hide all our backpacks and stuff in the tent. It also couldn't hurt. <laughs> Thank you. The group trudges over the lake. Dia sits down with Min by the water's edge. Look at lake. Study your lines again. Glance over at Esther. Let's... I don't know if the... Let's just go down. Look at lake. Ugh, I hate naturey lakes like this. Why? It's nice here. It just reminds me of the shit that happened to me in Florida. What happened? I mean, it's pretty much the same as the other stories I told you. I was on a field trip that got ruined by racists. So now places like this are cursed. <laughs> what do you mean earlier about not being a woman? You mean age-wise? Oh, it's hard to explain. I've never really told this to anyone before, but it's probably going to be confusing. That's okay. I don't really like being thought of as a girl. But I'm not 100% moved from it. If that makes sense. Being called a woman or a lady is just way worse. Like, disgusting. I definitely don't want strangers to strong. I definitely don't want strangers seeing me to think, Oh, that's a woman. What do you want them to think? I don't know. I'm still figuring that part out. Yeah! Um, I don't know. I don't know if you were as down bad as me. But, like, <laughs> down bad for the game as me. But, like, I read, like, the Q&As and stuff. But, yeah, Min is non-binary. 
Rin is non-binary and uses she, her pronouns. I'm pretty sure that's what they said. Yeah. <laughs> we love to see it! <laughs> I am actually butterflies. <laughs> just the entire game is just... Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, tilt her head perplexed. Don't get me wrong. Girl is my favorite gender. Like, you're a girl and you're the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> I just only feel any connection... I, I just only feel any connection to being a girl in really specific situations. No, I know. Sorry, just trying to wrap my head around it. And I still call you my girlfriend? Yeah, I like being your girlfriend. And I like being lesbian. It's not that I'm into the being a girl part, but I relate super hard with the no interest in men part. <laughs> it's more stuff like being called ma'am or missus that really sleeves me, skis me out. I know it doesn't make that much sense. Like, gender's not real in the first place, so... No, it makes sense. I feel like I already knew that about that before you said it. You okay with it? Men's really the nods. It's very you. It's kind of cool. You're like a gender outlaw. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I'm so lucky to have the sweetest, kindest, purest girlfriend in the world who has to be protected at all costs. I definitely can't let her find out about the racist thing. Aww. Yeah, what happens if I look at the lake again? <clears throat> Min continues watching the clear rippling water. All of a sudden, Noel yelps and turns indignantly. I can't talk to Akarsha. Did you just throw a rock at me? No, nope, maybe it was the water. The water threw a rock at me? Why are they all so right? Yeah, I love this visual novel so much. <clears throat> it was just a little pebble, right? I bet the waves could have picked it up. He definitely threw that rock at her. Krista sighs from the bench she and Liz are sitting, sitting on. Why is it that wherever we go, we end up babysitting people? Do you think it's firstborn child syndrome? You might be onto something. My siblings are pretty immature, so it's usually up to me to make sure the house doesn't burn down. Make sure the house doesn't burn down. What if we actually started acting really immature too? Then someone else would be forced to pick up the slack. How do you suppose? How do you propose we do that? I don't know. Maybe we should just start talking with no filter. With no filter. Instead of thinking about what we say, we just say whatever it pops out into our minds first. Very interesting. <laughs> because Brianna Lay is a genius. You're so right. <laughs> yeah, like, I was like, half kind of scared. It was like, oh no, what if I play the second game and like, it's not as good as the first one. But no, it's really good so far. Ah! <laughs> Okay, okay. So he lines again. I don't know if there would be a third game. It depends on how the second game ends, that's the thing. If the second game kind of wraps everything up, and it's like, oh, this is like a really good ending, you know? Then it's like, okay, you know, I'm fine with just coping with fanfiction for the rest of my life, you know? But, <laughs> yeah. Min rereads the script. When she reaches the end of the package, she flips it over to make sure there's nothing on the back. To her horror, the backside is covered with a dense array of numbers and numerical operations. <laughs> the heck is this? It looks like a serial killer wrote on it. Oh, it's just a puzzle I made up. Using the digits 1, 2, 5, and 7, only one each, you can create expressions using any operations that result in each integer from 0 to 100. What the actual hell would possess you to do that? It's called curiosity. <laughs> when I look at a clock, I like to make the numbers to do this. What? Huh? When I look at a clock, I like to make the numbers do this. When I look at a clock, it's because I want to know what time it is. God, you're fucked in the head. <laughs> Esther is sitting- okay, we gotta look at Esther. Esther is sitting with Grace and- uh... So- is this Sa- 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 Wait, I looked it up before! How did I- Sa- Yi- Sa- Yi- Da- Sa- Yi- Da- Sa- Yi- Da- Should- Should I try to talk to her? That might piss her off even more. I probably shouldn't. I wish my hair would go prematurely gray. Having white hair would be so cool. Me too. Even though no one else would see it? That's not true. I can show my hair to my family and other girls. It's true. She used to charge, charge other girls $20 to see her hair in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> That's great. How'd you know? 
did you pay to see it? Yep. If you're interested, Esther, I'll let you see it for a special discount of ten dollars. <laughs> Why is that so funny? That's okay. <clears throat> I'll pass. You sure? Limited time offer. It's a limited time. Your hair is always gonna be there. For all you know, I could be dying in a crazy new color every day. <laughs> it could be blue, purple, pink, and you can you'll, you'll never know unless you check. Oh crap, maybe I should pay to see it again. <laughs> You're seriously falling for that? After the brief break, the group gets back to filming. <clears throat> okay, take election take eleven action. Oh no, we're trying to do this again. Hello, how do you feel about the removal of gray wolves from the endangered species list? I feel ecstatic. The, the listing removed protections for wolves in Idaho and Montana. Now it's legal for me to hunt them, and I can't wait to kill tons of wolves. When they finally get through the whole scene, Dia rewards Min with a quick peck on the cheek. Good job. I'm all sweaty and nasty now. You don't have to do that. You're not nasty. I don't mind it. Noel grumbles as she sits next to Akarsha at the picnic table and takes a sip of water. Still can't believe you threw a rock at my face. Hey, that is a gross exaggeration. Wait, so you admit it was you who threw it now? First of all, I lobbed it. Second of all, I lobbed it at her neck, not her face. Why is that worse? <laughs> well, it hit my face. Intent matters here. You're making it sound way worse than it really was. Yeah, intent does matter. It doesn't- I didn't mean to hurt Esther's feelings either. Min uneasily glances over at Esther. She's reviewing the footage on the camcorder. Ellipses. I wish the whole thing never happened. Okay, we're good to start the wolf family interview. Yes! <laughs> I call being the wolf mom. Oh, I wanted to be the mommy too. But I definitely don't want to be the dad. You can be two moms. Adopted. Wolf mom and wolf mom too. <laughs> wolf mom too definitely feels like the- sounds like the inferior one though. It's gotta be a way to make them sound equal. Like how there's always two versions of Pokemon, Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> Does this really matter? Hey, this is the scene where I kill Akarsha, right? Aren't I supposed to have a gun? Oh, I brought a nerf gun you can use. It's in the tent with the other stuff. Okay, I'll go get it. Min rummages through the duffel bag of costumes in search of the nerf gun. Wait, Min say it was the microphone in there too? I don't know, look for it yourself. <laughs> Noelle sneezes as she steps into the dusty tent. Achoo! Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Liz and Krista are like really good. You know, like there's always like a like a parental sort of role in a friend group. Yeah. <laughs> Noel joins Min by the duffel bag. Suddenly, Noel frowns at her. What? You got a problem or something? For one heart-stopping moment, Min's sure she's been exposed as a racist somehow, but she soon realizes Noel is just glaring at the dirt that she tracked into the tent. Are your boots inside? You're getting dirt everywhere! Oh, that's it? It's barely anything! You gotta leave on the- you gotta leave on the sleeping bag already, see? So brush it off! Who cares? I care! You're the one who is responsible, so you should be the one to brush it off. It's just one fucking leaf. Stop spinning hairs over nothing! You know what being difficult here, just apologize and get the leaf off. <laughs> you really want me to get that leaf off? Take this! What? Oh no, Min. Min grabs one end of the sleeping bag and swings at Noelle. Oh no! It whaps Noelle in the torso. Hey, I'm telling on you! Go ahead and try it, Turbo- Turbone? What? I don't even know what that is. Nimal seizes a handful of the sleeping bag as Min tries to land another blow. <laughs> you gormless brute! The fuck you mean I'm wormless? Take that back! Violence! Oh, turbo nerd, okay. <laughs> turbo nerd, okay. I read turbo nerd. Boner. <laughs> turbo nerd! <laughs> oh my gosh. Min yanks on the sleeping bag hard. It slips from Noelle's grasp, sending Min hurtling backwards. Whoa! Min loses her balance completely and falls backwards into the wall of the tent. She hits the ground butt first, pinning the fabric of the tent down with her weight. Uh, the tent- oh no! 
The tent collapses. No, that's gonna go down the slope. No! <laughs> oh no! The tent collapses, blanketing its occupants by in nylon. Min feels herself sliding backwards down a slope. The cliff! The tent's rolling down the hill! Min and Noel blindly tumble down the hill with their limbs wrapped in tent, screaming all the way. <laughs> ah! Eventually, they crash into a large bush at the bottom of the ravine. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Min crawls out from out of the tangle of mess, splitting, oh, spitting dirt and twigs out of her mouth. <laughs> oh, how I despise you. Noel gathers tent into her arms and tries to trudge back up to the park in her socks. What happened to your shoes? I took them off before coming into the tent like a civilized person. See, this is why keeping them on is better. I win. No, you don't! This situation would have never arise in normal circumstances. Much faster, I'm walking than you! See, loser. <laughs> Min looks back and sees how far behind Noel is. It looks pretty pathetic dragging the tent through the dirt. Min reluctantly goes back and yanks the tent away from her. What's the matter with you today? What? Generally speaking, you strike me as someone who can't take criticism. But you haven't blown up like on me like this in months. Did something happened between you and Esther? What? No, why? <laughs> During our scene, you kept eyeing her like she was gonna bite you. Oh hell, if even fucking Noelle can tell, I might as well be wearing a neon sign around what's seeing what happened. Right, right, right. We sort of got in a fight. She got offended by something I said. What did you say? I don't even want to say it. It's so fucking embarrassing. I kind of was like, I didn't know black people cared about grades. What? Why? <laughs> I don't know. None of my classes have ever had black people in them. So I felt like I was learning something new from the story she was telling me. I was just trying to express that. So you decided to tell her you had a bigoted belief that was only changed after a random anecdote she shared? I wasn't thinking, okay? It's easy to pick apart now in hindsight, but the whole thing happened in like five seconds. I didn't even have time- I didn't even- I- what? Well, I didn't even have anything against her. Or black people in general. Come on, you know me. When I hate someone, I let them know. Yes, I'm well aware of that. So, it should have been obvious I didn't mean anything bad by it. When people do Asian accents or say weird stuff about Korean, I don't flip out. You don't? That time we were walking around and got konnichiwa, you were furious. That was coming from a white creep and it was clearly hateful. But if it's just a joke or something worded insensitively, it doesn't actually- It doesn't always mean the person actually hates Asians. <laughs> Why does Min makes me feel smart? <laughs> Min, Min. <laughs> I'm not sure I follow your logic here. Are you saying that as long as something's not intentionally hateful racism, it doesn't bother you? Yeah, it doesn't, because I'm not a sensitive crybaby. But if you had a choice, wouldn't you rather they not say those things? Well, duh. If you could press a button and magically no one ever said that stuff again, that'd be cool. Then it does bother you. Okay, yeah, maybe it would bother me a little, but I wouldn't make a huge stink about it. If it bothers you, doesn't it make sense to complain about it? If I were some weak-ass sissy, sure, but I'm not, so I don't sweat that kind of small stuff. But we just established that you are bothered by it. You just deny it because in your eyes it's weakness to admit you're hurt, because of the tough guy act you've got going on. Uh. <laughs> Character development. Right. Like, Min- like, Min was explaining too, like, she just didn't realize, you know? It, like, her- her saying that was more like a- like a reaction to- to suddenly learning a new thing, you know? It's like, yeah. <laughs> you know. Noah's got this insufferably smug expression on her face, like she's discovered a misprint in an exam that no one else has found yet. <laughs> Also, Noelle is really good at reading people. What's going on? I think I understand now. I understand what? You weren't even there. You think Esther is overreacting because in similar situations, you do nothing. When she told you your response was racist, you became enraged by her audacity to complain about things you suffered through in silence. Admitting that you generally hurt her feelings would require the admission that you've been hurt before too. And your fragile ego cannot allow that. <laughs> Noel! 
<laughs> You're just calling everyone out. Shit, maybe she's onto something. In conclusion, Esther's right, you're wrong, and you're racist. <laughs> this sucks so bad. Oh my god. Covered in dirt and twigs, Min struggles to put the tent back up. Hmm? Are you okay? Not really. I feel like absolute dog shit. Oh no. I just want to hide what I did. I want to dig a hole and bury the terrible truth where no one will ever find it. What happened? I don't really want to talk about it. At a loss for how to handle the situation, Dia quietly helps her pitch a tent. She's just been psychoanalyzed, right? Yeah. <laughs> Selectively good at reading people. She's just, I don't know, what is it? <laughs> she should be like some therapist or something someday. I don't know. <laughs> is that what you do when you are good at psychoanalyzing people? You become a therapist? Or is it you become a researcher. I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> hmm? Oh no. Huh? Look. Oh! Sorry, I make noises. Eo points to a malformed looking butterfly clinging to the tent fabric. Oh, Eo. What's wrong with this wing? It's all crinkled. I think it's stuck like that. It's so sad. Maybe it's because of the false spring. False spring? It's when it's super warm, but it's still winter. It messes up a lot of animals because they think it's spring when it's not. Maybe the weird environment messed it, messed it up while it was forming. Dia tries to get the deformed butterfly to crawl onto a twig. It's hard to watch. Is that what I'm like? Because I grew up with racists and got taught the worst lessons ever? I feel like I went through hell and came out the other side in the most monumentally fucked shape. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, you wouldn't ever break up with me, right? No? What if I did something bad? I mean, like, really bad. What did you do? Are you sure you wouldn't break up me with me, though? What did you do? Min tells Dia what happened, bracing herself for the worst. And that's why Esther is mad at me. It wasn't very nice of you. Sounds like something racist my mom would say. Yeah, I know. Poor Esther, her comic sounds cool too. You hate me now? I mean, it was bad, but at least you realize it. Everyone makes mistakes. Not everyone makes racist mistakes. It's not like people are born knowing things either. Everyone has blind spots. How come you've never offended someone like I did then? I don't talk to people very much. <laughs> so most of the mistakes just happen in my mind. Well, then how come Noelle doesn't offend people? I mean, she was pretty ignorant about gay people before we started dating. When people said that the nar narrator of the gay- Wait, when people said that the narrator of the Great Gatsby was gay in our English class, she got all scandalized and argued against it. She kept insisting that there had to be another explanation, but I think she was just grossed out by the thought of it. That's not as bad as insulting someone's entire race, though. I'm not trying to say she must have worse. My point is she got better about it. She wouldn't do that anymore. So, I don't hold it against her. Just because you were ignorant about something doesn't mean you're bad forever. I don't know, it doesn't undo the fact that I was racist to Esther already, and now she hates me. Did you say sorry? No. She might not forgive you, but you should at least tell her. Min feels such anguish upon hearing Dia's suggestion that it takes her a moment to sputter something out. <laughs> but, 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 no one ever apologized to me! To Min's horror, her eyes fill up with tears. No, Min! So many people did way worse things to me, and they never said sorry. None of my racist bullies ever said sorry. My dad never said sorry. Why is it only me who has to say sorry? When what I did wasn't even as bad. It's not fair. Tia pulls her into her arms and hugs her very tightly, as if trying to squeeze all the grief out of her body. Min leans into her warmth, letting her familiar touch and the steady rhythm of her heartbeat calm her down. What happened to you wasn't fair, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be un that you should be unfair too, or you'll just continue to cycle. You can apologize even if they don't. But it's not fair. I want them to suffer. I want them to die. If I just forget about them, that means they got away with everything. That means they won and I lost. 
isn't it losing but isn't it losing worse to let people what but isn't it worse to let people you hate keep controlling your life it's like that saying if you seek revenge dig two graves is it worth it to hurt yourself in the name of fairness Is that what I'm doing? Crashing the car just to get back at them? Two graves are you and the person you got revenge on, by the way. Not two people- two different people you killed. <laughs> no, I- I got that. <laughs> he was just like, just in case you don't get the metaphor, I will explain it for you. <laughs> You're right. Why should I let the- those, those pe- why should I let those pieces of ship keep- keep controlling me even years later? Sorry, I can't talk. <laughs> If nothing did- if nothing they did matter, that will show them. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Min dashes off and finds Esther, setting up the next scene. What took you so long? Everyone's ready to do the wolf death scene. Can we talk first? <laughs> Esther gives her a guarded look. That depends. Sorry I was an asshole earlier. I shouldn't have said that racist stuff about black people. And the weird stuff about your hair. Yeah, you shouldn't have. Alright, I should have known better. I know how much it sucks looking different from everyone else. Esther lets out a sigh, looking exhausted. You think people would know, but they don't. It's like being kicked on both sides. I go through the same stuff as everyone else at this school, but no one sees me as one of them. Everyone thinks it's because I'm not pure Asian. I'm not as smart or I don't want to study as much. Don't worry, I don't think that. I learned my lesson. I'm not racist anymore. Uh, yeah, you are? Huh? You're literally so racist, all you did was apologize for one specific thing. But what else am I supposed to do then? Gonna educate yourself and not say random crap about other ethnicities? And say sorry the next time you're racist instead of being all rude and defensive. N next time? That makes it feel like this is gonna happen again. Honestly, it probably will. What are you saying? I'm always be racist no matter what I do? Min looks so horrified that Esther gives her a pitying look. I mean, literally everyone on Earth is ignorant to some degree about something. For my webcomic, I tried to research albinos and double amputees the best I could, but I'm still not sure I portrayed everything right. Could be am double amputee? What the fuck is going on in your comic? No one's perfect. You just gotta do your best and learn from your mistakes. Oh, okay. I hate thinking I'm gonna make a different mistake at some point and have to apologize again. It's fucking mortifying. I mean, it shouldn't be mortifying to admit you were wrong about something. I guess it shouldn't be. Hey, are we ready to party? <laughs> hey, what's going on over there? You start talking about something? What? Did I ruin anything? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for the on-point voice acting. I'm trying. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. So, are we good for now? I guess. Can I still use the word- Can I still use the pro- Progedy- Progedy thing you said earlier? Huh? Yeah, sure, knock yourself out. Aw. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, Butterfly Soup is my favorite visual novel. I was, I was so hyped that- the sequel got released. Yeah. Man. <laughs> oh god, okay. I'm trying to gather my thoughts, give me a sec. Okay, I'll just- I'll just be- we, I'll be weird at the end. Not now. Okay. <clears throat> Min hides behind a tree behind, with her nerf gun, waiting for her cue. How has your pack balanced- How has your pack helped balance the ecosystem here? You prevent the elk population from exploding and overgrazing. On mobile? First game was- uh, Oh, I mean, if the first game was, it'll probably be released, yeah. Before we, uh, before we were reintroduced, many biologists were concerned about eroding and plants dying off. Unfortunately, many ranchers and hunters don't understand this. 
In fact, the state of Idaho is planning to kill hundreds of wolves this winter. This is where we always screw up and have to start over. Every time Akarsha makes eye contact with Krissa, she starts laughing. <laughs> Mom, can I talk it in... Um, Mom, Mom, wait, wait, I'm scared. Are we going to die? Holy shit, she finally did it. Goo goo gaga. <laughs> no one's eyes twitches as she recites her next line. <laughs> Who is this adorable little thing? <laughs> this is her wolf puppy. Normally mated pairs produce a litter per year, but we adopted her. <laughs> we love her so much. I'm a leaf of my own. <laughs> Warrior cow wolf. <laughs> Die! <laughs> Min, I think I probably cut the microphone, I'm sorry. Min leaps out of the- leaps out from behind the tree and shoots a flurry of nerf pellets at Akarsha. No, I only- I only kill a very small number of Kenya per year! Thank you. <laughs> Akarsha goes down and Min continues shooting her ass with the nerf gun. No, our innocent puppy! <laughs> I'll be back to kill the rest of you! <laughs> Min runs off screen, leaving Krista and Liz crying very unconvincingly over Akarsha's body. How could this happen? If only we were still on the endangered species list! <laughs> Noel turns sol solemnly to the camera. Today I learned that delisting uh, the, the Today I learned that delisting of gray wolves from the endangered species list would have devast de devastating Oh my god, I cannot speak anymore. From the endangered species list would have devastating consequences. And that's a wrap. <laughs> Finally! We've been here for six hours! <laughs> oh god. And we may have just produced the worst video ever. Relieved to be back in her regular clothes, Min looks around. Seems like people are packing up. Oh, oh, we get to look around and touch the picnic table. Grace is trying to squeeze the costumes back into her bag. Hey, Min, do you know if your brother's single? <laughs> Grace, no! Grace, no! Oh, great. You think you can introduce us? I mean, I'm not even sure he likes girls. <laughs> oh, darn. What exactly do you like about him? <laughs> no! I want to crawl into a hole and disappear! No! Grace, no! <laughs> it's so cute. He kind of looks like G-Dragon. I want to die. <laughs> Do you like my brother just because he's Korean? I want to jump out a window right now. What? Can you chill out a bit with the whole Korean thing? Oh shit, wait, no! Oh my god, it goes around! I'm connecting dots! Okay, sorry. Because <clears throat> initially, when like, Grace was like, Oh yeah, you know, Korean guys are so hot. Min was just like, I should just not say anything, right? But now after this whole experience when she's like, no, it's okay to be like upset at people making like minute mistakes and kind of being like, like, like wobbly hand racist, you know? It's like, <laughs> oh, the king, oh, that's good. Okay, wow. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm, yeah, content warning for bad fangirling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of like, instead of just like shutting up and taking it, right? It's all character development. <laughs> yes. Can you chair a little bit with the whole Korea thing? Sorry, I just get so excited about K pop. Liking K pop is fine, but just being normal about it. <laughs> Sorry. You don't have to keep apologizing, it's annoying. As long as you get it. Okay, yeah, I'll be normal now. <laughs> Man, the tent flap's already open. Min climbs inside. To her surprise, Akarsha's already there. Shh, look! She points to Noelle, who's sound asleep on the sleeping bag. Oh, Noelle! <laughs> Z. Damn, she must have been pretty tired just to conk out like this. Listen, I have the biggest brain in the world. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'll be normal now. God, I wish I was that easy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It takes some time, but for the sake of storytelling and just like 
the fact that you don't want to drag this visual al novel out for like seven hours, you know? Like, we do time skips. <clears throat> or like, we just jump to sort of, yeah, that's how it's gonna be. Akasha gleefully ties- oh, lies down on the ground next to Noel. Oh my god. <laughs> Akasha! Help me braid our hair together. I have short hair, dipshit. Do I look like I know I know how to braid hair? I can't do it myself. It's too hard when I'm lying down like this. Come on, pretty please. God, when you talk like that, I just want to smash your head with a rock. Oh my god. Finn crawls over and grabs a lock of Akarsha and Noel's hair in each hand. It's easy! You just gotta split it into three strands and alternate which one goes on top. Like this? Confused, Min just randomly twists their hair together. The instant she lets go, the braid loosens and unravels. Shit! Noel scowls in her sleep as Min tries again. Karsha! <laughs> Bound to be lovers by hair. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, Karsha, you're so down abysmal. Karsha and Min freeze, but Noelle just turns on her side, mumbling to herself. Mm, just because it's suitable for all large primates doesn't mean you should eat it. <laughs> what is she dreaming about? <laughs> Esther sticks her head in the tent. Can you hand me my backpack? Wait, what are you guys doing? Help. Esther, do you know how to braid hair? Esther assesses the situation for a moment before shrugging. Okay, why not? Thank you! Oh my god. <laughs> Karsha. After a few minutes, Esther manages to weave Akarsha and Noelle's hair into one giant messy braid. You did it! I wonder what she's when she's gonna realize. Do we get a picture? If there's no picture, I'll just draw it myself. Do we get a picture? Noelle stirs on the sleeping bag. Her head gets jerked back by her hair, which is now bound to Akarsha's. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. She bluely rubs her eyes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> That's great. That's so good. No one bolts upright screaming. Ah! What's wrong, Frenchman? Bad hair day? Akasha! <laughs> Why? Get me out of here! Whoa, calm down. Calm down! You literally attacked me in my sleep. I mean, you can just unbraid it, it's not that bad. Yeah, tons of people world would have had way worse than you. <laughs> Shut up, I hate all of you! <laughs> <clears throat> Noel's outfit- well, I mean, they're all- it's all cosplay, so it's probably some anime. I don't know. There was like a little logo on the blazer, but I couldn't see it. And I also wouldn't know, so... <laughs> She surges towards Esther and Min with an aura that can only be described as murderous. Oh no. Akasha calmly lies back down, dragging Noel down with her. Ah! I'll hold her back! Run! Nice knowing you, bye! No, I will never forget your sacrifice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Akasha has the oof. Wait, yeah, she does, doesn't she? Yeah! <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Okay. <clears throat> Esther and Min make their escape. Inside the tent, there's a muffled scream followed by a crash. The tent stakes pop out of the ground as the tent- No, not again! The tent rolls over and goes tumbling down the hill again. <laughs> oh, why again? Ah. Again? Here it goes. Holy shit. <laughs> Min and Esther peer down at the bottom of the hill where Noel, Akarsha, and the tent have landed in a tangled heap. <laughs> Suddenly, something dawns on Esther and she straightens up, her eyes shining. I can use this! In my comic, it totally fixes the part I was stuck on! What kind of story are you writing where you can even use this? Some kind of camping disaster? You don't understand, it's perfect, I gotta write this down. Isn't your sketchbook and everything down there though, inside your backpack? Crap, you're right. Guess I'll go grab it. <laughs> Esther sighs and heads down the hill to retrieve her things. I don't really get it, but good for her. <laughs> Second time for Noelle. Yeah! <laughs> Poor Noelle, oh no! <laughs> tree stump. Chris and Liz are staring at the de decimated tree stump. <laughs> what? what happened to this? It looks like a cannibal hit it. 
Beats me. Should probably keep my mouth shut. Well, I suppose it's not a problem. Speaking of problems, what do you think you're- What do you think of your afternoon as an irresponsible person? That was even more tiring than being responsible. What? When were you guys irresponsible? What? What did you guys do? Did you see them knock down the tent hill? Oh, knock the tent down the hill twice? Yeah, I just ignored it. Me too. Oh, <laughs> that's what they did. It's not what they did. It's what they didn't do. We probably could have finished a couple hours ago if we just wrangled them like we normally do. Yep. Man, I thought I was really onto something. <laughs> Min turns to walk away, but to her surprise, she hears footsteps running up behind her. Wait, Min! Min stops to let her catch up. What? Oh shit! Oh my god! Wait, wait! Are we, are we gonna hear? Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait! Really? Are we gonna talk about this? Oh my- wait, sorry. I got really excited for- for no reason. <clears throat> I couldn't help but overhear some of what you were saying to Dia at the lake. Liz scribbles something on a scrap of paper and hands it to Min like a doctor giving a prescription. We need to go on the internet. <laughs> the internet? Min scrutinizes the scrap of paper. It says genderfork.com. Genderfork? It's a blog you might like. How the hell will you know what I like? I'm trans. Huh? I mean, I'm not that... I mean, not that being genderqueer is necessarily the same as being trans. But I'm here if you'd ever like to talk. It's <laughs> just like me. Oh, it's a real site? Oh, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, Liz is trans, and I I knew from the blog post. But yeah, I didn't realize that they were gonna, like, talk about it here, too. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Have fun! Have fun! <laughs> Liz pats Min on the head and gives her standing- Oh, uh, leaves her standing there clutching the little scrap of paper in absolute shock. <laughs> I guess I should look up that- look that up when I get home. Oh yeah, we love naming things. <laughs> Dia is watching the water. When Min joins her, Dia tilts her head at her. You said this place was cursed, right? Min sighs and wraps her around around her round around what? Her arms around Dia's waist. Yeah. Dia rests her forehead against Min's, her long lashes tickling Min's skin as she blinks. What if we uncursed it? Huh? How? By making new memories together. Dia hugs her tighter, squishing Min's face directly into her chest. Min's gender mom. <laughs> it's so soft. Oh. Min's mind is in such a state of disarray that it takes her a second to process what Dia is saying. In a Herculean feat of self control, she manages to stop rubbing her face against Dia's chest and meet her gaze. Wait, you know what that means? Dia nods, her cheeks tinged in pink. Pink. It was in a lot of the K-pop songs that Yuki- I mean, Grace played. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so I asked her, and found out what it really meant. Sorry I lied to you. No, it makes me happy that you wanted me to say that. Because I do love you. Even now, now that you know what an asshole I am? I think I didn't know that before. <laughs> I guess I was always hitting and threatening people. Then why do you still like me? Oh shit. Oh. Because you're also really brave and resilient and cool. I feel like the world tries to make people into certain shapes. But you fight it on purpose. You try as hard as you can. And I think that's amazing. And subconsciously, I think I understood. Understood what? You're always telling me you'll protect me and kill the people who hurt me. Because you wish someone did that for you. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Min is stunned speechless. It feels like a curtain was suddenly pulled back on something shameful and hidden, exposing it to the blazing sun. What's with this like sequel and just calling out everyone? What? What's happening? <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> oh, 
But Tia doesn't flinch away, just gazes into her eyes. I love you. Blinking hard, Min smiles back at her. I love you too. Teach me how to say it? I can't say that. But just know that it says I love you. <laughs> Man, that's a mouthful. I'm not gonna attempt. There you go. Everyone's getting dragged. Oh, let's go. <laughs> let's go! No! <laughs> Saturday Chinese school! No! Oh my god, no way. See, the fact is because I'm Chinese, I can actually read this. The first No, copies down the unfamiliar characters on the board stroke by stroke. <laughs> what did it look like again? Jing oh, shit. See, I can read things by context and with translation, but I can't do this. No, it's gotta be this one, right? I'm not gonna cheat. It's definitely not this, but wait, no. I no, I'll write it down, then checks again. It's the boards on the board. Okay, I got it. <laughs> got it right. Next, now for the next one. See, it's it's um, what do you fuck? What do you call it? It's uh traditional Chinese, so the characters are slightly different. I can't. I'm gonna have to fucking guess. <clears throat> See, I don't know this one. Okay, we're just gonna move on. Uh, uh, uh. So it'd be easy if Chinese words used the alphabet like most languages. And if you're thinking how you can't tell how a Chinese character is pronounced by the way it looks. Well, I mean, some characters have... They have, like... What is it called? Radicals? Radicals on the side, usually one that kind of tells you how it sounds, and then one that tells you what it means, right? But not necessarily always. <laughs> There's like a lot of exceptions to the, like it doesn't always happen, right? And the one that tells you how it sounds, it's like only kind of, you know, because it might have a different tone, <laughs> but like it like sort of tells you how it sounds. So it's <laughs> it's just I don't know. It's just a lot of memorization. You just get down, like, enough characters to function in the world. <laughs> Pretty much. You're first to learn every single word twice, how it sounds, and what it looks like. It's wildly inf inefficient. A couple hours into the lesson, a kid towards the back of the room raises his hand. Zhongwenzi! <laughs> something, something, yo, something, something. <laughs> Uh, something shall but what? See, this is the problem of not knowing traditional Chinese. The eight thousand. No, don't be afraid. You shall something something the Ren Ping Chan. No, that's not Ping. The Ye Zhi something something the Ba Qian something Zi. So yo. <laughs> 8,000 is still a mind-boggling number. After school, Noelle does her weekly packet of Chinese homework at the kitchen, kitchen table. <laughs> Spent every Saturday since kindergarten tediously memorizing a few characters at a time, but it's barely even made a dent. After all these years, I still can't even read a book or a newspaper. Right? Right? <laughs> at this pace- I can't even read a visual novel game! <laughs> at this pace, it's hard to imagine I'll ever be able to. Whoa, what the hell is this face? There's a face? There's a face! What is this? What's happening? Mom! Noelle, what's this? Noelle looks up to see her mom holding a sample packet of pads and tampons she got from school. What? Face? Oh, that's from the sex ed talk we had in class. The girls received a presentation about menstruation. The school gave you this? Using a tampon is the same as every school. <laughs> Mom, please. <laughs> That's not what the teacher's giving the talk said. It's just a tool for absorbing blood. 
No, you'll be able to feel it the whole time. And it goes into... Her mom can't even bear to say it. <laughs> it's the same as having sex with a man. <laughs> Women giving the talks that plenty of girls use it. American girls get their periods so early because they're thinking sexual thoughts at a young age. Uh, I don't think that's how it works, mom. <laughs> it's not natural. You shouldn't be thinking about these things until you're married. After throwing away the immoral tampons, her mom goes off to the living room to watch a Chinese variety show. Oh my god. <laughs> what is she talking about, right? Oh my god. It's hard growing up and trusting very little of your parents' judgment. My mom doesn't believe in mental illness, yet genuinely believes in superstitions like auspicious days. And no amount of proof or argument can sway her. Oh my god. Wait, that's so- Noelle, you're so onto something! <laughs> yeah, right? It doesn't make sense, right? Oh my god. This entire game is just like, man, parents can be real hypocrites. <laughs> Is Chinese society just decades behind just decades behind the West? I've yet to meet a white person whose mind works this way. <laughs> oh gosh. Noelle glances over at the show her mom is watching. Holy shit. How long will this play? <laughs> okay. It's just puns. They're just laughing at puns. Colorful worlds and cartoons fly across the screen as cheesy sound effects play. How tacky. It's one of those shows where they interview a panel of foreigners who can barely speak Mandarin. <laughs> Noel cringes as silly, boring noises are overlaid with the host's jokes. They're just laughing at the foreigners for not understanding the questions they've been asked. Why is this popular? It's so juvenile and embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing brain cells as I listen to this. Disgusted. Noelle returns to scrutinizing the impenetrable paragraph of Chinese she's supposed to be analyzing for homework. What am I even going to use Chinese for? Watching drivel like that? I have no interest in the backwards culture that produced my pathetic narrow-minded parents. And not say anything. When a commercial break comes on, she throws down her pencil. I want to quit Chinese school. Her mom whirls around in the church. Church? The couch, alarmed. What? Why? I hate it! It always takes up my entire Saturday! They assign so much homework every week on top of the regular homework I get from school. Well's dad looks up disapprovingly from the newspaper he's reading. Oh my god, we get her dad's face too! We get everyone's face. <clears throat> well, you can't quit. What kind of Chinese person can't even cheat speak Chinese? We'll lose face if you don't learn. Other people will think we're bad parents. Why does it matter what other people think? I'm the one whose limited time is being sucked away by it. My opinion should be the one that matters the most. No, you have to listen to your parents. It's for your own good, you're too young to understand. This is a very bad way to convince someone to continue learning. Shouldn't it, like, being bilingual is a cool thing, you know? Like, at- when you- like, my mom- <laughs> My mom told me that- okay, there's- okay. <laughs> She keeps telling me this one story of one of her friend's daughters who used to go to Chinese school and then like she told her like regular school teacher it's like yeah on Saturdays I also have to go to Chinese school and then her regular school teacher said oh you poor thing and then she went home told her mom was mom the American teacher told me that I no she told me that I was a poor thing because I had to go to Chinese school so they stopped and then my mom said that after she grew up right she really regretted not being able to go to Chinese school because she's no longer very fluent in Chinese so 
I don't know how that first story related to the second one, but basically, being bilingual is actually not a bad idea. <laughs> And that's how they're trying- that's how you should be explaining this, not like, oh yeah, it's gonna make you look bad, but you know, whatever. I'll just shut up. Stop treating me like some feeble-minded little kid. I read at college level already. Doesn't matter, you don't have the life experience yet. Some things you can only know from being as old as your parents are. What, so just because you're older than me, you're automatically smarter than I am? Yes. I don't accept that. It's your culture, you can't just throw it away. Yes, I can. It's a poorly constructed, archaic lang language. It's not true. If it's so bad, how come it's worked for thousands of years? You should take more pride in your culture. What's there to be proud of? I'm stuck learning the worst, most pointlessly complicated language in the world. Exasperated, Noel's parents exchange a look. I'm still going to Chinese school. We already paid for your classes this year. Can I quit at the end of the year, then? If you still feel this way at the end of the year, fine. You can quit. I can? Oh, huh? no she can't! Think about it, if she goes to Chinese school with that kind of attitude, she won't learn anything anyway. It's impossible to teach someone who doesn't want to be educated. We might as well just at least save money. Yes, the end of this year is pretty far away, but at least the end is in sight now. <laughs> it's like, what was it? Um, I think we talked about it in the other stream, but like, it's very common for either the children of immigrant parents who were born here or just like immigrants who came here and then like spent like a majority or like one half of their childhood in another country and one half of their childhood in this country right where it's just like you have like this weird combo of two cultures like mixing together like it's a very common thing in america right so and like how you see it is gonna be different but like noel sees it as like yeah, you know, it's probably better if I just focus on um, regular school than trying to learn Chinese along with it, you know. Being Chinese school was significantly free on my schedule. I can probably read more books every week. It'd be so worth it. When I'm older, I'll be thankful that I quit. Oh man, she's gonna be <laughs> not- <laughs> she- oh no, I feel like this is gonna eat her ass. That's a bad expression, I should not use that, but- <laughs> Noelle is so elated that she doesn't even mind being dragged to along to 99 Ranch with her mom, a trip she normally gripes is a waste of time. As they browse the fishbowl aisle, her mom's Nokia, Nokia rings, she quickly brings it to her ear. Wait? It's a pause, her mom's face falls. What is it? Oh, Ama passed away. Oh. I know I should be sad, but I haven't seen my grandmother for years. I never had a real conversation with her. It's like being a total- It's, it's like being told a stranger died. Yeah. Ninth grade. Spring break. Huh. Noelle isn't allowed to close her bedroom door, so she's on high alert when she as she uses the computer. It sounds like my mother's busy washing vegetables in the kitchen. Here's my chance! Noel quickly searches homosexuality on Wikipedia. <laughs> Noel. Oh my god. I skipped this I skimmed this page once as research after Akarsha started insisting Dia and Min Seo were romantically involved. <laughs> but I'm positive there is no mention of it being possible for two men and women to have sexual relations. Awakening <laughs> I would have remembered it. Read the Wikipedia article, click the sexual intercourse hyperlink, click the lesbian hyperlink. Oh my god. Do we only get to choose one of these options? What if we get- I want to see all of them. I'll reread. Okay. Much of the page is devoted to historic and modern day oppression of gay men. There's mention of Saddam- Saddam- something. I can't read. Being criminalized, along with an image of ancient Greek pottery depicting of two nude men embracing that Noel scrolls past very quickly. Wait, this might be something. Anthropologists Stephen Murphy and Will Roscoe reported that women in Les Lesotho Lesotho engage in socially sectioned long-term erotic relationships. Lesbian <laughs> I'll go back and read all of them if they won't let me see all of them. 
What exactly do they mean by erotic? They have to be more descriptive. She clicks on the citation. But the source is a book called Boy Wives and Female Husbands. Studies of African Homosexualities. What the hell? There's no way the library carries this book. Click the Leso though hyperlink. Okay, I'll go back. Don't worry. Because I, I do want to see <laughs> what the other ones show. Noelle scrolls through the page, but there's no mention of the erotic relationships. This is a dead end. I could try googling it, but it might bring up obscene results. Oh wait, no, it does let me go through all of them. Okay, cool. Sexual intercourse. The, the link leans to a more general page called Human Sexual Intercourse. In Noelle's disgust, it features a painting of a man and woman copulating. This is repulsive. I'd really rather not stay on this page for long. Sexual intercourse commonly refers to the act in which the male reproductive organ enters the female reproductive tract. Blah blah blah. In recent years, penetration of non-sexual organs, or by non-sexual organs, fingering, fisting, are also sometimes included in this definition. Why is this fingering? Why are we doing this? What is this fingering? Is this- I should have put a content warning, but... Like, they had did I put a content warning? No, I- oh no, I put suggestive content, okay. <laughs> Because there was like a content warning for like sort of talk of sexual stuff, but I was like, yeah, that's going to be kind of related to suggestive content, right? But no, this is like, like medical. Yeah, anyway. Well, I don't know. If, is fingering medical? What on earth is fingering? Is this the finger thing Minseo was referring to? Click the fingering hyperlink. The page opens. On the At the top, there's a simple illustration of a naked woman stroking the genitals of another woman. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this, this is so ris risque. Noel breaks into a feverish sweat as she reads the page as quickly as possible. Then, in a panic, Noel closes the tab, erases her web history, and shuts the computer down. <laughs> Minseo was right. I can't believe it. <laughs> Should such erotic content be allowed on Wikipedia? Anyone can read it. I must destroy all evidence that I've visited that page. Should I uninstall the browser? Delete my user profile? Perhaps set the computer on fire for good measure? <laughs> Not her smile. Yeah, <laughs> she's like smiling while looking at it. It's like, okay, no. <laughs> Constantly apologized. No. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, this is probably the end, so I'm gonna scroll back. Let's click the lesbian hyperlink. Goes to the page. What's this page is this details historic and historical lesbian relationships. They live such tragic, tortured lives. I hope Dia knows what she signed up for. <laughs> Before the late 19th century, the word lesbian referred to any derivative uh, or aspect of lesbos, including a type of wine. In 1890, however, the term was used in a medical dictionary as an adjective, adjective to describe tri tri Tribal tribalism, huh? As lesbian love, sexual gratification of two women by stimulating intercourse. Okay, what on earth is tri tribad tribadism? Is this the finger thing Min Minseo was referring to? Page opens at the top. There's a simple illustration of two naked women. <laughs> oh, what is this? <laughs> Oh, it's the same reaction! <laughs> Either way, Noelle is scarred for life. Scarred for life, or... Finally... Uh, finally gets it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll go set the computer on fire later. <laughs> Noelle jumps in her chair when she receives a check. Checks? Text. Check your phone. Is it just me, or does King DDD look kind of sexy in this drawing? What? <laughs> huh? Anyone else? Hello? Anyone care to raise a hand? You're insane! Would anyone else hit it? Hello, Lo? Noelle? Banging on your door. Would you fuck King DDD? A penguin. You're braver than the US Marines. Dia has left. Min has left. Well, why are you like this? I'm so bored. I've been stuck at home all day. Unfortunately for you, I can't entertain you for long either. I have to leave for the airport soon. Oh yeah, you're visiting Taiwan, right? How long are you going to be there again? Wait, when is this? <laughs> what? 
what? You've been... Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> How long are you gonna be there again? Oh no, there's a bot. The bot- the bot heard about the- no! The bot heard about- heard about Noelle trying to find stuff on Wikipedia and now it's here! Noelle, look what you've done! Wait, how do I get rid of this? Damn it. <laughs> the bot knew! How do I- Okay, okay, okay. Noel, Noel, please <laughs> look what your Google searching did. <laughs> I'll be there for an entire week. My mom and I will return Sunday afternoon. Did I not read the date? Like, is this like some? Is this like spring break? Winter break? What's happening? My dad is staying for an additional week there for business purposes. I have so messenger when you're there. Do you have to use a VPN or something? No, as long as I have internet access, we should be able to chat like usual. Really? But isn't there like hella censorship? No, there's nothing like that in Taiwan. It's not as if I'm going to China. Right, right. Uh, also, what's the difference between China and Taiwan again? <laughs> shot. I mean, I know Taiwan's an island, but is it like... You say you were shot, yet you're still talking like nothing happened? <laughs> it's your its own country? I have high pain tolerance. No, you don't. Oh, it is spring break? Okay, okay. Sorry. <clears throat> Anyway, I tried asking geography class once and everyone started arguing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, especially if your class is like 98% Asian. Everyone started arguing because it's a political question. Whether Taiwan is a part of China or a separate country is an extremely controversial issue. Why though? To be honest, I'm not clear on the details. As I understand it, the dispute is the result of a civil war that was never properly resolved. Huh. So are you Taiwanese or Chinese? Or both? Well. I went to Chinese school as a child, and my parents told me Chinese folktales. Is that how it works? Just because I speak English doesn't mean I'm English. To be frank, I'm floundering because I've never given it any thought. <laughs> oh, well, oops. Didn't mean to give you an identity crisis. Chris, crisis. <clears throat> even if I say I'm Taiwanese, hardly anyone knows what that means, even other East Asians. <laughs> really? Damn, 28. 2008. That kind of sounds like how most Americans don't really get Desi identities. How so? Like, they think of it about it based on country. Like, you're Pakistani or Indian, etc. But the countries weren't split on racial lines. Like, an Indian Punjabi isn't really the same ethnicity as an Indian Guju. But it's all the same to non Desis because they don't know the difference, lol xd. Oh, you're right. I don't know the difference. Wait. Wait, I know! The answer to what you are. What? You're French? <laughs> <laughs> because you're Frenchman. Less than three. It doesn't help me at all. No? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Later that day, Noel sits in the backseat as her dad drives into the airport. She feels a flash of rage when she sees a passing car sporting a proud parent of an honor roll student bumper sticker. <laughs> Why would you brag about such an unremarkable accomplishment on your Car. You're supposed to be on the honor roll. It's like buying a sp bumper sticker that says, My child breathes air. No, Noel. No, when I used to think like this. <laughs> My parents never even meant bother mentioning such a big ba banal, banal thing. Noel's mom squints at the airport signage as it passes them by. Noel, watch the signs for us. Why me? I don't even know how to drive. You were born here. You read faster than us. All right. How is it that after living here for 20 years, they still haven't mastered English? My mom can't even speak English well enough to carry a conversation with a stranger. What have they been doing this whole time? Uh, which way is parking? Which way? Just follow the arrows, turn right. See, even though I have a PhD, ever since you were in second grade, you can read highway signs faster than me. <laughs> Good thing we have Noelle with us, the signs go by so fast. <laughs> Oh shit, I missed. Noelle's dad scratches his head as she directs him through the airport's, airport's labyrinth roads. Oh, where is it? It feels like we're just going in circles. We're not. See that sign over there? The parking's past the cargo area. Do I turn here? Noelle's heart stops as her dad starts to turn into a street labeled with do not enter. <laughs> it says do not enter, keep straight! Oh! Oh my god. Her dad soars sharply to stay in his lane. 
Noah massages her temples, her heart pounding. I'm surrounded by illiterate idiots. Why does it rest on me, a literal child, to ensure we don't drive into oncoming traffic? They have endless energy when it comes to obsessing over my studies. Why can't they work on their own English instead? As the car rolls into a parking lot, Noel jolts up in her seat. <laughs> no, I'll don't be rude. <laughs> Wait, isn't this the- This isn't the correct garage, turn around! Well, how do you know? That sign says premium parking. Premium parking. Premium means something of exceptional quality, superior. So, isn't that good? Not right now when we're looking for the regular run-of-the-mill parking lot. In this context, premium parking means special parking that's more expensive. Oh! Make a U-turn, we're gonna miss our flight! Oh my god. What, what, what do you mean we're gonna miss our flight? You guys didn't go to the airport like four hours early? <laughs> Come on, guys. Noelle's mom sighs as the car makes a series of turns. This would've been easy if you could talk to us in Chinese. This would've been easier if your English was better, too. Noelle crosses her arms in the back seat, fuming. Why am I the only- Why am the one- What I thought? Why am I the one responsible for making sure we're not separated by a language barrier? You are the ones who chose to move here in the first place. Man. 16 hours later. Taipei. <laughs> oh, man. Noelle and her parents take a taxi from the airport to an alley lined with parked scooters. This must be Akun's apartment. Staying here for the- We're staying there for the week. Your mom presses the buzzer. Uh, a woman doll. <laughs> Sorry. After huffing and puffing for four stories of stairs, Noelle is drenched in sweat. Oh my god! Die! <laughs> hey! What? We what the? We get so many sprites. What's happening? <laughs> Yay! Uh, Neiman? Something. <laughs> I can only guess from the from the given subtitles, man. No, I and it's not even right. <laughs> she kind of fine, right? Like I'm, I'm like, man, like wait, she's kind of cute though. Yeah, Neiman. Uh, 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 something, something, Lila. Neiman, join you, Lila. That's probably not right. Oh, her name's Chunhua. Okay. Chunhua, you found out. Yeah, it must have been in elementary school the last time you saw me. This must be one of my cousins. <laughs> one of my this must be one of my cousins. Well, don't be rude. Introduce yourself in Chinese. Uh. Oh no, no, Noel, your pronunciation's probably wrong. Oh. Uh, jia, jia spelled wrong. Oh, what? What's as in four? <laughs> What's her name? Lo Ying. My pronunciation is so atrocious. I don't even know if they understand me. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, ni, 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 ni shuo shuo? What is that first word? See, no one's even no one's saying it wrong, so it's written wrong, so which makes it harder for me because I read by literally guessing what the words are mean, supposed to mean, you know? What should I what should lay, lay, can we just talk in English? Hakon doesn't speak English, he only knows Japanese, Taiwanese, and Mandarin. <laughs> even the Mandarin, he's nearly forgotten. Ai gestures at her daughter. She's wearing thick glasses and carrying a huge brick of a book. Well, you speak English with Shumhua. She's go she wants to go to college in America. Oh, oh my god, I can't read. She wants to go to college in America, so she's very happy to practice speaking. Ah, oh, shit. Yes, you can call me lit <laughs> Literature! Is that a name she chose herself? Chinese people have such odd taste in English names. Literature. Is it because you like books? Oh my god. I'm gonna... Well, I mean, okay. Okay, but like that's pretty bad, right? Like, 
No, 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 my cousin's better. <laughs> I was gonna say, because my cousin also has, she's like, I remember my mom told me, like, she chose an English name for herself, and I was like, what the hell? She got to choose her own name? That's so cool. <laughs> right? I didn't get to choose my name. <laughs> What is happening? You guys. <laughs> and then, um... Alright, she chose Wendy. <laughs> it's like, Wendy's. Anyway. Then the name she chose herself. Chinese people have such odd tastes in English names. <laughs> it's alright, Chung is fine. We're the same ages, right? Who do you think is more tall? Chunkwa eagerly stands back to back with Noel so the others can judge. Wait, you're standing on your tiptoes. That's cheating. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, you two are the same exact height. <laughs> Sorry. Mom. Mom, please. One US version, one Taiwan version. Noel glances at Chunhua and realizes with a start that she's right. Like meeting a version of myself from a universe where my parents never went to America. A stranger with my face. You sure I'm not tall? Yes, we sure. Something, something, something. Something, something, something. That's supposed to be Taiwanese. Chunhua gives him an affection affectionate hug as Noel awkwardly walked watches from the sidelines. Meanwhile, the adults launch into a, an animated conversation in Taiwanese. I wonder what they're talking about. My Taiwanese is even worse than my Mandarin. I don't know a single word. Actually, wait, isn't Agong Taiwanese? I didn't cover it in Chinese school. Could it be a term exclusively used in Taiwan? It's, it's really a special sort of confusion, not knowing what language you're speaking. Hi, you leads... Noel's parents to the spare bedroom so they can put their luggage away. This reminds me how I'm s used to assume Japanese curry was a Chinese dish because my mom made it regularly. If you have a distant relationship with your parents, your culture becomes a nebulous cloud. Is it Chinese to believe pseudoscience? Is it Chinese to have an outdated and sexist worldview? Or is it just my parents in my particular? How do I distinguish between things peculiar to my life and Chinese culture? Chun Hua brightly takes a seat next to Noel. Anything you have questions about, you can ask me. Oh, Chu, wait, like Chu Hua is legit, really nice though. Like, like actually. Ask about the area. Tell me about the surrounding area. Let's look outside. Chu Hua goes over to the window and points as Noel peers outside at the street below. That was my house. Me and my mom, we walk all we walk over all the time. You must live pretty close if you're able to come on foot. Yes, we are only a few streets away from Ako. Every week, and me and my cousin spend here. It's so different from my experience. When you are all settled at the when you are all settled, the Seven Eleven, we go and grab breakfast. Breakfast from Seven Eleven? What? You've never had it? It's good. It is actually like the only thing the U.S. is missing is good breakfast from convenience stores. Come on, this <laughs> it sucks. Like. Convenience store food in the U.S. sucks, but like in every, I don't know, in other countries, but at least in like most Asian countries, convenience store food is like legit good. <laughs> it's it's so good though. <laughs> it is. It won't be all greasy. No, they have fresh tea eggs, hot yams, Odin, oh, Odin, Odin. If you want a pre-packaged breakfast, they'll heat it for you too. <laughs> In America, is it not like that? Chunghua, you're about to get in a whole load of shit. You can't eat from convenience stores in America without being like, I hate myself. <laughs> no, American 7-Elevens are just junk food stores. Chunghua points at the train as it rushes by. There's a train station near us. We take it a lot. You don't use the car to get around? Not much. When we can't use the train, we ride our scooter. Yeah. What else do you want to know? Ask about her book. What are you reading? It's a Chinese translation of a Russian novel. What it's called in English, I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. Something, lie, something, 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 xiongdi, men. <laughs> something, something, brothers, yeah. <laughs> There's brothers and it's Russian. Brothers, 
Karamazov? Yes, that sounds correct. Oh, it's probably phonetically translated then. I've read it before too. This is exciting. I've never met anyone else my age who's read it. <laughs> Did you like it? The religious themes were of little interest to me, but I found some of its other ideas thought provoking. For example, it argues that humans are so deeply shaped by others that everyone bears some responsibilities for the sins of everyone else. <laughs> Half a decade! <laughs> Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Waiting for half a decade for Noel and Akarsha to get together. Everything we do is the result of a huge interwoven chain reaction of human interactions, and as a result, a crime is never truly one person's fault. It's a societal failure. To Noel's disappointment, Jinghua nods, looking lost. I see. <laughs> you use too many big English words. I guess what I said was beyond her English level. I need to scale it back down to a simpler topic. Uh, do you like reading? I like reading. Are you nerdy? The sudden question baffles Noel. Uh, yes, I suppose so. Good, me too. On the wall, there's even a photo of me that... Hmm? That, that what? Actually, I changed my mind. Don't look too much at the photos on the wall, they're embarrassing. What else do you want to know? Ask about the photos on the wall. <laughs> Tell me about these photos. Okay, if you sure. They look over to look at the pictures on the wall. The first one's of Agong and Chunghua at the park. There's a small chestnut colored war warbler sitting on Chunghua's arm. Oh. That bird at the park we found him uh, at the park we found him abandoned. It's because he fell out of his nest and broke his wing. After he got better, we taught him to fly so he could go back to the wild. See, that's very noble of you. Noah's voice got deeper, I think, to accommodate for Chupan's voice. Sorry. It was Akon's idea. He's quiet, but he's so nice, actually. He seemed very close to your grandpa. Uh, your grandpa? He's your grandpa, too. Oh, that's right. <laughs> to hide an embarrassment, Noah quickly moves on to the next photo. It looks old. A swarm of children are bu building a sandcastle as smiling adults look on in the background. This is me, One Ping and One Zhang. Oh, Wang Zhong, Wang Ping and Wang Zhong, <laughs> Wang Ping and Wang Zhong are my older cousins. They're my uncle's children. Wang Zhong's working right now. Too bad Wang Ping is traveling right now, or else we could have had out. Where is he visiting? Japan. It's his money. Oh, Japan. It's his honeymoon. Honeymoon? Did he get married? Yes, a month a month ago. Oh, I had no idea. In the picture, the people behind us is Jiujiu, Agong, and Ama. We didn't know it, but that weekend was our last one with Amma. Oh, shit. I can't help but feel jealous that they had any weekends together. Well, she was spending every Saturday with her cousins and grandparents. I was at school struggling to learn an entire language so I can even begin to communicate with them. Chunghua reluctantly ge gestures to the last photo, which she was clearly saving for last. Ah, uh, this is... <laughs> what? <laughs> Chunghua? Chunghua, 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 what are you doing? And this is one of me with all my anime figures. Haha! <laughs> oh, so this is what she meant by nerdy. <laughs> it's alright, I have a good friend who's interested in this sort of thing too. Really? And she's American? Yes. She sounds cool, I want to meet her. Y you do? Once Noelle turns away from the photos, Ch Chunghua points to a framed certificate hanging on the wall behind her. You should look at this award too, it's your mom's. What, really? Yeah, it's- in college she won a bunch of- a bunch of poetry contests. She was even in the newspaper. I had no idea. This is gonna sound extremely mean, but I never suspected my mom had any sort of creative talent. All I've ever known is her- All I've ever known her as- What? I've ever- I've only ever known her as a strict, close-minded housewife. Here, you should read her things. She's very skilled. Chunhua pulls a magazine out of from a cabinet and flips it open to a page of poetry. See what I mean? Some people just have a way with words. It's a big waste she quit. I guess there wasn't enough reason to keep doing it over in America. Noelle stares blankly at her mom's poem. <laughs> I'm fine. Can't read any of it.
That evening, Noelle and her parents walked to the subway. Here's our train. We should reach the night market. The night market in a few stops. I hate taking public transit. The trains are always filthy and poorly maintained. Fuck. As they board the MRT carriage, Noelle steals herself for the stench of vomit, urine, and cigarettes she's grown to expect from American subways. But to her amazement, the car's shiny floors and seats look so squeaky clean you can eat off of them. Oh, it, it's absolutely spotless. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Oh, it doesn't cost money to publish on Itch, by the way. Itch is- you can host games on Itch for completely free. Yeah. I only remember falling over. Oh no. Pleasantly surprised, she sits beside her parents in gleaming in a gleaming plastic seat. Uh sure pie. Sure sure pie? Sure sure pie? Revise station. You can actually clearly hear what they're saying. It's not in it's not indistinct mumbling like on the Bart. An LCD screen right across from her neatly displays the names of the previous, current, and next stations. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen! Noel. <laughs> her phone buzzes. Her heart leaps when she sees that it's Akarsha. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why did you send this? Sad face. I thought you liked me. Even if I hypothetically did like you, why would I want to see this awful picture of you? Personally, I think it's very hot and sexy of me to play video games against little kids at Fry's Electronics and Loose. <laughs> Is that what you're doing? Nah, I'm back home now, playing the game I bought. It's called Portal. Dude, you love it. I don't play computer games. No, you love it, trust me. It's not like other games where you hear some guy shooting stuff. You're a girl, and it's a puzzle game. It's in the scientific research facility! Oh? I'll give you the CD. Just play it. I'll consider it after I return from my trip. Oh yeah, you're in Taiwan. What are you up to right now? I'm riding the subway with my parents. Also, holy shit, Noel's phone gets data? Or wait, no, this is like SNS me messaging, right? <laughs> How's that? Hope they aren't have giving you a hard time. Actually, ever since we've arrived in Taipei, they've been in good spirits. I've never seen my mother so relaxed before. She must be happy to be back home to see her family. Oh dang, that's good. We're on the way to the night market right now. I feel paranoid that everyone can tell I'm a foreigner. <laughs> LOL, I get what you mean. When I'm in India, they tell me I'm American before I even open my mouth. Just from the way I carry myself. Her mom sighs as Noelle taps out her response on her phone. Here you are, addi addicted to your- <laughs> You teenagers and your cell phones! <laughs> How am I addicted? Compared to other teenagers, I barely use it. You spend so much time talking to your friends! But friendships are only temporary. As soon as it's inconvenient, they all disappear. After I moved to America for your future, not a single one kept in touch with me. The only people we can trust is your family, and I was so far away from all of mine. The life of an immigrant is a lonely one. Is she hoping I'm gonna console her? Or thank her for making such a brutal sacrifice for my sake? It was her own decision to be as a full-grown adult to move here. It wasn't up to me. Her mom sighs heavily and stares out the window. <sighs> There's a message she's always trying to impart on me. I'm lonely because of you. Noah watches the scenery fly by. I'm okay! After half an hour, the train arrives at their destination precisely on time. Give me a sec.
<clears throat> I'm fine, I'm fine. What? Yeah, I'm okay. This is why you VTube so that people can't see your face. Let's look for clothes. You need new ones. New, you need new ones. But I have plenty of clothes already. They all have holes in them. You should know just to throw away. You should just throw them away already. I feel like since this- I've, I might be speaking too fast though, because I don't know what's gonna happen, but like, I feel like this game is, um, in terms of because we actually see Noelle's parents' faces this time, in comparison to, you know, the last game, right? Along with Dia's parents and, um, and, and Akarsha's parents, right? It feels like it's kind of like a weird, like, trying to- understand your parents but also under kind of making peace with the fact that you're just from different generations so it's 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 definitely looking more at them though so which is why their faces are not shadowy you can like see their emotions and everything too Noel browses through a sea of clothing racks with her parents a hideous page, blah, blah, blah. a hideous pair of beige pants catches her eyes. <laughs> this would complement many items in my wardrobe. Did this, did this say hideous? Yeah, a hideous pair of beige pants. Why do you want if it's if it's hideous? What? <laughs> she turns it over in her hands, searching for its price tag, but it's missing. I'm going to ask how much these trousers are. Oh no, you barter for them, don't you? Do you know how? Are you serious? Of course I know how. Oh no. Miffed, she barges up to the stall's cashier and shows her the pants. Oh no. <laughs> I asked how much are these pants? Oh no. Something, something. I see when and min and something cool the do shall tian. Oh. Down by. NTD? Oh, right. Because it's Taiwan. Sorry. It's only about $7. What a bargain. I always buy this. Ah, you saw some? Ah, I stumbled over the pronunciation. <laughs> just decided to show the faces for for no reason. Honestly, she might have she might have just done that, and I'm just reading too much into things. <laughs> okay. A shame Noel doesn't dare speak another word as the cashier bags for purchase. Excellent, simply superb. After six years of Chinese school, I still can't speak, read, or write Mandarin. She finds her way back to her parents. We're just finishing up their purchase at the neighboring stall. I'm hungry, let's get dinner at the food court. What for? There's food stalls all over the place. We can just eat as we shop. No, I want to properly sit down somewhere and have a meal. <laughs> Noel follows her parents down the flight of stairs to the underground food court. It's a bizarre space that reminds Noel of a mirror maze. They sit, they sit down at a stall and Noel scans the menu, which is conveniently printed directly on the surface of the table. <laughs> something chicken, something something soup. Noel has to pick her dish based on the pictures, like a toddler would. You know what you're getting? I'll order the oyster omelet. It's seldom seen in America, so I should take the chance to eat it here. Oh wait, did she talk about like the making of the sequel? I thought she, I thought you meant like on her blog, like she made a new blog post. But if it was a like, one from years ago, I might have read it. Okay. Because I, I did re But then again, when I read it, it was also years ago. <laughs> it's been a while. So I don't remember exactly what she had. I just remembered, um, you know, like, it's canon that uh, Min is non-binary and Liz is trans. I think I remember that, and I also remembered a picture of, uh, of Akarsha in her pajamas with Sonic socks. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all I remember. <laughs> oh, 
As the stall worker comes over and takes her parents' orders, Noelle mentally recites hers, determined not to be rendered an, an articulate child again. I know this. This is kindergarten level vocabulary. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. Something, something, something. It sounds a tad crude, though. In English, I normally say something more like, I'd like to have the oyster omelette. Uh, yo, yo. Niao, Niao, something, Shima. Niao, something. The woman draws her order down on a pad of paper, nodding. Ha! Nisha ABC, ma! My Chinese was that bad! Was <laughs> she? I could tell, I guess, from your accent. <laughs> Noelle's mom sighs as the woman walks off to prepare their meals. All those years of Chinese school wasted. Mom, please. <laughs> Wow, chicken. Or no, it's oyster omelette. <laughs> I don't know. My first thought was chicken. Noelle tries a gooey spoonful of her oyster omelette. It's delicious. You would never guess this only costs three dollars. Really? Let me try. Her parents each take a, taste a spoonful of oyster omelette and shrug, unimpressed. This is below average. I've had way better ones around here before. Yeah, this isn't really what it's supposed to taste like. <laughs> well, I'm never here, so I would not have known that. Annoyed now, Noelle takes another bite of the oyster omelette. It's the best thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> I should find out what this place is called so I can find it again. She looks she looks up the name at the stall, but it's in Chinese. I can't read it. I better savor it while it lasts. This omelette I can only taste once. All too soon, it's over. Noelle sighs as I get up to continue shopping. You have tried harder to convince me to learn Chinese. Are you serious? We told you not to quit so many times. But you never properly explained why it was so important not to. That's what I'm saying, Noelle. <laughs> or Noelle's mom, really. That's what I'm saying. That's what you should have done. <laughs> All you did was give me condescending lectures about how I was too young to understand why it mattered, and how I'd be an embarrassment if I didn't learn. English is our second language, it's hard to explain things to you. And it's true, you are an embarrassment- Mom! Last week, I saw our- Our son's- What? Last week, I saw our neighbor's son, Michael, mowing the lawn, and he greeted me in Chinese. Ai hao. See, that's what happens when you listen to your parents. Michael goes to Taiwan with his family every summer. That's the reason he's more fluent, not because he was a superior child to me. Why didn't we just visit Taiwan more often when I was younger? That alone would have made me more interested in learning. I feel like I've been trying to understand Chinese culture by looking at it through a soda straw until now. You think we didn't want to visit Taiwan more too? The airplane tickets are expensive. We could- we have to save up for years just for one trip. Oh. But even so, you should have done more to show me that speaking in Mandarin could be a positive experience. Why do you always speak to me in English even though you can't fully express yourselves in that language? If you conversed with me in Chinese from a young age, I would have naturally picked it up from a daily use. We thought you've had an accent if we did that. We were worried you wouldn't fit in at school. That's ridiculous! There's no way I would have developed an accent when everyone else I interact with spoke English. I would have grown up bilingual without any ill effects. It'd be like that. I mean, yeah, okay. Resigned her dad shrugs. Well, too late now, what can you do? Damn. The last day of the trip. Such an awkward way to, to say. No. Yeah, she's like, I feel like she's just going through like a weird stage because she obviously, she doesn't really like her parents. Well, no, what was the thing she said before that I, I really liked sort of her general conclusion at the end of the first butterfly soup where she said that her parents are just okay people who, no, she, her parents are just okay people that make terrible parents, right? They're like, they're just okay people. They're just bad at parenting, you know? So she's just... Because, you know, because Noelle's really smart, right? She reads all these books, she knows, so she's definitely learned other perspectives, at least from, like, an outsider's view, from reading books and stuff, right? So she's definitely also probably read up on, like, how her parents could have possibly been better, and thus makes it extremely 
difficult for her to kind of like look at them not working hard when she knows that they could do better. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know. Oh yeah, it was also that part, yeah. In like, man, yeah. Noel and her relatives blah, 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 blah. Noel and her relatives visit the col columbarium housing Amma's ashes. Holy shit, it's been that long. Wow. Okay. Cause like her mom said that Amma had died when she was in third grade. And now she's a freshman in high school. So they really hadn't had time to go back at all. Or the money, really. My mom visits this, this, visits this place every time she's in Taiwan. Noel follows her grandpa into the worship hall. We crossed an ocean to see my grandpa, and I've barely spoken a word to him. Not out of lack of interest, he must have li lived a fascinating life. He's the only grandparent I have left. But how do you gain access to the heart of a stranger? Where do you even begin? Tell me about yourself? Who says that to their own grandfather? It would sound like a job interview. Even if I knew what I wanted to say, what am I capable of saying in Chinese? Today is Sunday? I'm a student? She watches Chung Hua take a lotus petal from a glass bowl and offer it to the giant Buddhas. Keep saying Chung Hua. Chung Hua. It's Chun, not Chun. <laughs> God damn it. Chun. Okay. Noel, we're going to pray for Amma. Take a flower petal from the bowl over there. Can I pray in English? If you have to. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm fine, I'm fine. Unsure of what she's supposed to do, Noelle does her best to imitate her parents. Uh, hello Buddha? I seriously doubt that you exist. But I'm sure Ama was a wonderful woman. Chunghua deposits her lotus petal in the bowl before the Buddhas, her eyes shining with tears. Aww. To no little surprise, her aunt embraces Chunhua like it's the most natural thing in the world. They're so comfortable with each other. Is that how mothers and daughters are supposed to be? When I look at my mother, the first impression- <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm- I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. When I look at my mother, the first, first emotion I feel is stress. Noelle deposits her lotus petal in the bowl and joins Akum, who's waiting to the side. He smiles awkwardly at her as they stand together in silence. <laughs> the biggest plot twist right now is if Akum starts speaking in English, but I doubt that's gonna happen. <laughs> what should I do? Try to build a relationship in broken Mandarin? Tell him I like reading and my favorite color is green? Literal dying. I'm. F it's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Or do I let this moment pass me by, say nothing, and remain strangers? Am I a terrible person if that's what I do? Come on, we're going upstairs. Oh yeah, I, I get that. <laughs> yeah, I get, I get that. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, like that's like the reason why I was basically saying before, the reason why she's kind of, what was it, like acting like spoiled or not, I wouldn't say spoiled really. She's just kind of like huffy, I guess, right? Is because she's frustrated, you know? Like, what you guys are saying are all correct, right? Like, she's she's seeing, like, what... Like, how it could have been, you know? 
Ja. After an elevator ride, they arrive at the floor housing her grandma's ashes. Mama's over here. Noah follows everyone down the hall to one of the niches. The only thing distinguishing it from the others is the tiny name tag on the door. Not that I can read it, even if I could, I don't know the names of any of my relatives. And at this point, I'm too embarrassed to ask. Even Shunhua's name is... Shunhua's name I only know by sound. I have no idea what it looks like. Noah's dad points to the unit behind uh, beside Amas. Your mom and I bought our spots too. Already? You're only in your 50s. There's a limited number, so we made sure to reserve them before they were all gone. Yeah, because you want to be next to each other too. Suppose my parents are fairly old. They didn't manage to have me until their 40s. Going off the average American life expectancy, they probably have around 25 years left. Aww. Noah's mom wipes her eyes as they open the door, little door of Mama's unit. <laughs> Will I cry when my mother dies someday? Hold on, give me a second to blow my nose. <laughs> Things make things embarrassing. <laughs> different perspective-ish, right? Like, yeah, of course, Noah's mom kind of sucks, right? But it's also, it's like a culmination of like, well, like you can understand where she's coming from? I don't know. It's like, to describe it. I'm seriously starting to worry that I won't. What kind of monster does that make me? What kind of cold, heartless person cares so little about her own parents? Is there something wrong with me? Do I just not form emotional bonds as deeply as ordinary people do? This sucks. See, now I'm like congested and I can't fucking read. <laughs> okay. It's like, oh man, I can't. Like, this is a thing, right? Even if. What was the thing? Oh, 
there is there's like so many videos that I've seen that just like when going down my existential emotional crisis YouTube spiral, you know <laughs> what I'm talking about. And like I I know one there is this one video, right? That was like where like they're saying, you know, you've got like like no, it was talking about childhood emotional neglect. That's what it was, right? And like, and basically, it's just a really common thing. There's like no good way to parent a child is is like, it was like sort of the conclusion that I drew because parents aren't perfect, you know, and they always fuck up. And because of that, the children are also going to always somehow be kind of fucked up too. This is a really bad way to explain it. I probably shouldn't use the word fucked up, but like, you know what I mean. Just like, slightly, there's like, you know, it's not completely perfect in their mental space, right? It's just a thing. Like, it's just a th like, it. it's everyone, every, like, there's no perfect parents, you know? Like, from outside perspective, you might see someone else's parents as like, oh man, this is great, but that means that doesn't like because you you're not actually like they're not actually your parents you know like you don't know the whole picture obviously and like man I can't uh. right because every everyone has stuff about their parents that they wish like man I wish is just like if they did like this one thing better then it would have been like everything would have just been so much easier but they didn't and that sucks right. Man. But like, I don't think it's possible, even if, you, like, unless your parents are like Min's parents, then I can totally get it if you like, don't cry when they die, you know? But like... Like, Noelle's mom, I would say, it's like, she like... Huh. It's like the immigrant parent sort of mentality like they give up like a lot of things and then go to the u.s and then fuck man i'm trying not to be too emotional because i'm streaming seriously <laughs> because like it's like you can't really hate them you know what i mean like even if they're like emotionally kind of assholes right and like sort of drink some water i'm fine it's okay i was just like i just get emo it's like dia i just like get emotional when i talk about things so yeah i don't think it's like i really don't think it's it's possible to to completely hate your parents and like, to the point where like, you wouldn't even cry if they died, you know? Like, even if Noelle's mom is like, a jerk, right? There's still some things that she does that like, even if it's as, as simple as like, cutting fruit. Like, it's, you know, man, I just, man. It's all good here. It's all fun and games here. We're here to see games get together, not have emotional crises. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> no, no, no. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't feel bad. I just got emotional on my own. Man, dude, I was like, like the entire scene, man, like, this is why you have like a virtual model. It's like when tears fall down from your face, you can't see. <laughs> Oh no no no! 
no, don't worry. I'm not angry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's like... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't even know what I initially was trying to talk about. The bad games are the ones that give you an emotional crisis. Right? Yeah. Ugh, okay. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Alright. When they get back to Akon's apartment, Noelle and her mom begin packing to leave. Are you all flying back tonight? <laughs> Actually, my dad will be in Taiwan for another week, attending business matters. So my mother and I are flying back along. Ah, oh, one week is too short. As Noelle fits the last of her clothes into the roller bag, Chunghua takes a seat, pulling a thick tome out of her backpack. Noel feels a twinge of sadness as she watches her cousin read her huge academic looking book. If I'd grown up in Taiwan, we probably would have become close. Suddenly, a strange thought occurs to Noel. If I'd grown up here, would my personality have been shaped into something more similar to Chunghua's? How much of my personality is just a product of being raised by an immigrant helicopter mother with no friends or family around to balance her out? Would my mother and I have gotten along? The magazine Chunghua showed Noelle earlier is still out on the coffee table taunting her. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm congested. <laughs> I finished- I finished packing, so I'll have some time to kill before we leave for the airport. Maybe I can translate the poem my mother wrote. Oh. <laughs> Noelle digs her emergency Chinese English dictionary out of her backpack. I was being a petulant baby in elementary school. All I had to do is pre- preserver- pre what? Pre- pre- I can't say words. All I do have to do is persevere and power through learning the language properly this time. I'll simply look up each word I don't know and burn its pronunciation and meaning into my memory. <laughs> Unfortunately, she doesn't know a single word in the poem's first line. After spending 15 minutes pounding seven words into her memory, her enthusiasm evaporates. This is actually incredibly difficult. I'm not surprised that I have nothing to show for my six years of Chinese school. It feels like the knowledge is just washing over my brain like water over plastic. Is my brain just not wired for this? Could it be genetic? Even after living the majority of their lives in America, my parents haven't mastered English either. Well, if it's genetic, that means you would have had a harder time learning English, right? <laughs> it takes another 50 minutes for her to finally overcome the first line of the poem. At last, on to the second line. And it already knows all these words. Mirror, flower, water, moon. It's total gibberish. Is this supposed to sound poetic? Mushed together like this? Mushed together to sound like that? Mirror, flower, water, moon. <laughs> Noelle feels the urge to tear the magazine to shreds. Perhaps noticing her hands quaking with barely suppressed rage, Chunghua peers over Noelle's shoulder to see what she's reading. <laughs> Ran out of two. Okay. What's wrong? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm just translating, translating one of my mom's poems. Why don't you ask your mom for help? I'd rather die. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Maybe I can help instead? Where are you stuck? Uh, what's this supposed to mean? What, was, what did she say before? I can use that to help translate. <laughs> Mirror, flower, water, moon. Uh, oh, that's... Uh, how do you call it? A saying, like the lesson of a story. It's short for... Flower in the mirror, moon in the water. Pretty much, it, it means something that you can't see but never- you can see but never grasp. Like a flower reflected in a mirror or the moon shining on the water surface? Yes, you can't reach your hand through the mirror and take the flower out. It's impossible. You can only look, never have it. I see. So, mirror, flower, water, moon is shorthand for something beautiful but unattainable. Pretty much.
Oh yeah, for sure. Bye, cheers as Noelle's mom managed to zip her bulging suitcase closed. <laughs> Ready to go to the airport? I'm gonna just guess what this says. That's definitely on the holidays. <laughs> Noelle gives the half-translated poem one less despairing look before flipping the magazine shut. Is that what I've been chasing after this whole time? A flower in the mirror? If only- if only I get straight A's, I'll have a normal relationship with my parents. If only I land a summer internship, I'll have a normal relationship with my parents. If only I become fluent in Chinese, I'll have a re normal relationship with my parents. What if it was never possible from the start, no matter what I did? That evening, Noelle and her mom make landfall in California. <laughs> Why they take the BART back? Instead of driving home from the airport, they take the BART back. Noelle wrinkles her nose as she inhales the stench of vomit, urine, and cigarettes. <sighs> Hold on, uh, I'm gonna blow my nose. Damn you, butterfly soup, for making me feel things. That car is parked in the airport garage. Why not just drive it home? This isn't that, Hasu. You want to be able to get gas. It's not safe for women to pump gas. It's so easy for a criminal to grab you and drive away. We live in one of the safest suburbs in the entire US. Is that why she's always has my dad pump the gas? Besides, I can't read fast enough. When you're driving on the freeway, the signs pass by so quickly. Oh. Noelle reluctantly sits down on a filthy worn seat with a suspicious brown stain on it. The conductor mumbles something unintelligible over the intercom as his train stops at the station. Six, but miss, blah, blah, blah. A breathless man enters the train car just in time before the doors shut. His eyes frantically scour its interior. Uh oh. Does this train go to Berkeley? It does not. This is the Fre uh this is the Fremont train. Shit, I need to get off at the st next station. As the train continues onward, Noel notices a puddle of liquid traveling down the floor. What is that? Did someone spill their drink? Ah! Fucking nasty! That bitch peed in her seat. What? Disgusted, no Noel recoils and keeps her feet as far as possible from the pee spilling down the floor. Fucking oh, gross! So fucking gross! Fucking bitch! No, 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 by the husband, please back to the next station. What's he saying? The urine is a biohazard. We need to get off the train at the next station. Oh my god. Oh my god. Once the doors open, Noelle and her mom hastily drag their luggage off the train and onto the concrete platform. Maybe we should have driven after all. I didn't know Bart was like this. Still several stops from our destination. Oh man. Noelle and her mom wait on the bench for the next train home. Nine car train to Fremont in six minutes. Our next train will arrive in six minutes. Okay. Good thing I was here with you, or else I wouldn't know what to train to take. Exhausted, Noelle stares at the dark line of the trees ahead of them. It's cold. Why are we here? Because the hobo lady peed on the floor? <laughs> that, that's not what I mean. Why did you move from Taiwan to America? To give you more opportunities. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Taiwan is superior to the US by every con conceivable metric. It's not, and it's not even close. Taiwan has socialized healthcare, more robust public infrastructure, and one of the lowest poverty rates in the world. Americans live short. Americans live shorter lives. Even worse, they're not even good as they're not as good at as good at math and science. <laughs> I can't read. 
Taiwan was different in the past. All you see is Taiwan now, but it didn't used to be this way. And America was strong. We were scared China was going to invade Taiwan. But they didn't. In all this time that we lived in America, nothing's happened. That's true, but it could have happened. The, but the plain truth is that it didn't. You could have just stayed put. If I had, could, I could have grown up in Taiwan like Chunghua and the rest of my cousins, and everything would have been fine. But we didn't know that. Yeah, but Noel, you never, you never would have met Akarsha. <laughs> No way, does the title of the stream say buttery fly? No fuck no way, no way. <laughs> no way. Ignore that. <laughs> I don't have time to change it. You think we had a crystal crystal ball telling us the future? Noel's mom perks up as a train screeches to stop at the platform. Fruit fail. Dublin Dub Dublin Pleasanton train. Is this our train? No, it's not. Noelle's mom settles glumly back onto the bench. You know how Chunghua wants to study in America? <laughs> yes. I told her not to do it. It's not worth it. I didn't realize how hard it would be. You'll be far from everyone you know. And your kids won't understand what you're talking about. You can't communicate with them. I didn't know that if you have kids in America, your kids will be American. <laughs> that wasn't obvious to you? No. Loki, I feel like... I don't know. I feel like mom, Noelle's mom can definitely change. Because her, her problem is that she doesn't have anything else to do with her life other than obsess over Noelle, right? But... Her, their neighborhood is like, their school is 98% Asian, okay? There's definitely a Chinese com like community in here somewhere. Like, Noelle's mom just needs to like... Like, there, there will definitely be more moms out there with like the exact same experience, you know? That's what my mom did. <laughs> like, come on, like... I don't know, maybe it's because my mom is an extrovert, she likes socializing with people, and like, Noelle's mom is just like, not. <laughs> maybe that's why. But like... You know, like, it's definitely possible. You, you'll you definitely find, like... That's why there's so many small communities in America. It's like, that's why there's like, Chinatowns everywhere. <laughs> like... Yeah. No, I don't know about all China. I don't know what in Illinois is like an actual community. <laughs> Some China towns are more like tourist spots, but yeah. Uh... I once told my art teacher that my mom was part of the, uh, quote, freshman Chinese students, oh, ch freshman Chinese moms, like, group chat. There is a group chat made for all the moms of Chinese students in our freshman year. <laughs> and my art teacher took one look at me and said, wow, that must be hell. <laughs> but it gives, like, man, I hear all the gossip. <laughs> like, I know, I know things about my friends that they never told me because their moms told my mom who then told me. <laughs> Noelle, you gotta- you gotta tell your mom, get with the program. It'll be better, I promise. Noelle waits for her friends for the baseball club meeting to begin. It was Taiwan. It was amazing. The subway system, it was so punctual and efficient. And the signage was so clear. If you ever visit Dia, you don't have to be afraid of getting lost or not hearing any announcements like you do on the park. Everyone there is meticulously organized as their recyclables, too. If people fail to sort their materials properly, the government will fine them up to $200. Oh, wait, they do that in Korea, too. Interesting. Perhaps Korea is more similar to Taiwan than I thought. That Korea did it first, then Taiwan just stole it. No, man, I think you got it the other way around. <laughs> what makes you think that? Dia listens with a small smile as Noelle continues extolling the virtues of Taipei's- Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, like, Noelle doesn't have to forgive her, right? 
I'm just- I just feel like it's- it will help her get closer to her. Cause- Man, no one wants to hate their parents, you know? You don't come into the world like, I'm gonna- <laughs> You know? Like, it takes a lot, I would say. Wait, did- Oh yeah, I read that. <laughs> Dia listens with a small smile as Noelle continues extolling the virtues of Taipei's trash collecting system instead of describing any of the landmarks she visited. <laughs> you must have liked it there. You're right, I did. <laughs> what do you call it when you're grateful for things your parents have done for you but at the same time you feel like they made critical mistakes that will probably affect you forever? Is that just life? Oh, I suppose it is. Damn, my shoelaces keep coming undone. <laughs> Noel glances to her left, where Akarsha is crouched over crouched over tying her sneaker laces. <laughs> Why? Why have you tied your shoelaces like that? This is the Silicon Valley, Frenchman, the land of innovation. <laughs> Did you give me any souvenirs on your trip? No. Oh, maybe. I didn't get anyone anything. We had limited luggage, luggage space. All we brought back were snacks that we can't be found here. And dubious beauty products my mom wanted. <laughs> That's so true. Oh my god. Oh my god, yeah. Just like me, for real, for real. <laughs> dubious beauty products? Like what, nail clippers with bobs in them? Oh. Why would there be nail clippers with bobs with them? All I meant was products with questionable value, like skin whitening cream. What, uh, skin whitening cream? Like, to make your skin lighter? Yeah, Chinese beauty standards are all kinds of messed up. That it, it's- it is real messed up. It's really messed up. It's been ingrained very deeply into people's minds that the lighter your skin is, the better. It's just like in India. Yeah, oh my god, I thought it was just a brown thing! You guys have colorism too? Oh, is this similar to your catcher? It's a whole thing, you have no idea. I would argue I do have an idea. <laughs> My mother even tells me not to spend time outside to avoid getting a tan. My mom's skin lightning cream. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Cakes for all the relatives you never really got. Like even now, it's like whenever in whenever you go over to someone's house, like your parents like, we gotta bring a gift. You're like <laughs> Right? And now, like, when you go over to your friend's house, you bring a gift, but your friend's, like, you know, not of the same culture, and they're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Avoid getting a tan. My mom tells me the same thing. Oh, my mom does that too. They have those d dumb as fuck skin creams in Korea too. It's the same. It's the same. Yellow and brown parents, they match just like me <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That's the worst. Of course, holy shit. What the fuck, man? <laughs> of course, have you ever considered not speaking? How mean! The second I open my mouth, you all jump to slap my balls! D do you have to word it like that? I'm just trying to use more phrases with the word balls in it. I'm trying to use more phrases with the word balls in it in my normal conversations. Gosh. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I think it'll add more flavor. A global warming assemble. Team Global Warming gathers around Chris and Liz as they begin the war meeting. Blah blah blah. So we've got good news and bad news. Good news, we have a game today! Bad news, it's just a Niles baseball team again. They're the only ones who would play us again. Ah, uh, that's not surprising. We either win by pulling some weird shenanigans or lose so badly we get mercied. So there's no in-between. So most teams we play aren't exactly eager for a rematch. <laughs> we had to swear up and down you guys would be normal this time. Oh no. <laughs> you hear that, Akarsha? So y'all never- y'all better not be weird. Alright, we- 
Yaksuk. <laughs> what? That's how you say promise in Nihongo. Ni uh, fuck, Nihongo. As aka Japanese. Is everyone ready to go? The other team got here early. <clears throat> Team Global Warming walks over to the field where killer whales are already warming up. Oh yeah. <laughs> the college essays, man. I, I, I mean, I say college essay because it's a very common college essay topic. The I'm stuck between two cultures situation. Oh yeah. Man, it's always so confusing. Sometimes it's just better to, like... Just sit and let it go. I mean, like, the, the conclusion they come to in most of those college essays is like, Oh, I'm actually both. It's just both, right? But, like... Like, okay, I, I promise I'll, like, stop talking about- But, like, um, like... The thing about the US is that since it's so heavily just- it's it's all immigrants, right? It's so heavily like immigrants or kids of immigrants, right? So there's no really there's nothing really defining like American culture. There's like the stereotypical like American dream, eat a hamburger, etc. Right? But like as for like, I don't know, cultures, traditions, like it's a lot of mixed up jumbled stuff, right? And like I feel like, especially since since we're on this topic of like cultures clashing together, right? It's like it's not it's like we just don't really have a specific thing, right? It's it's where you like bring in all what was the thing that Hassan Minaj said where he's like life is like biryani where you push away all the bad things and just bring the good things towards you. <laughs> it's like that. Or it's like, yeah, there are parts of your culture that you that your parents have or whatever that you don't really like but you don't have to choose to you can choose whether like what parts to keep what parts to inherit right you can push away all the bad things like probably the more conservative attitudes stuff like that and then bring in like more of the good things like like the food or i don't know <laughs> i can only think so much but yeah oh man america the American dream is dying. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, sure is. But like, I'm just speaking in a broad sense. Like, there's no really. It's hard to define American culture. <laughs> it's just like how American food just turns out to be like weird knockoff versions of like other cultures' food, right? Yeah. Anyway, we're we're talking we're we're trying to get two people together. We're trying to we're trying to see a couple form. <laughs> this game This game, I swear. It's like, oh man, I love seeing like um the, the, like the game is like you go in like let's go lesbians and then like in the middle section you're like holy shit, my entire life. Oh my god. And then like the ending section is like let's go lesbians again. <laughs> it's it's exactly that! Sorry. Okay. Thanks for being willing to play with us again, guys. Uh, no problem, time for our revenge! Yeah, right, we destroyed you guys last time. <laughs> well, that was before- Oh, I forgot I hated this boy. <clears throat> I've been blessed since all the all the characters have been female so far, so I can't do guy voice as well. Well, that was before a secret- <laughs> Listen to me constipated. Secret weapon joined the team. Uh, secret weapon. We got a new guy who's pretty good. Oh yeah, where is he? Junseo and Hayden look amongst their teammates, but as the seconds pass, their faces grow more and more alarmed. I'm, uh, I'm actually not sure. Maybe he got lost on his way driving here. Yeah, that seems typical of him. It's fine. We can wait a few minutes for him to show up. Oh my god. Twenty minutes later. <laughs> No one came. He just he's decidedly late at this point. Tenma it's Tenma. He got lost. I click and then the next sprite that shows up is Sumeragi Tenma A3. No way. Can't believe this. Where the heck are they? where the heck could he be? 
Did you try calling him? He didn't pick up. Well, it's not like he can answer the phone if he's driving. You guys are pathetic, making up some guy to blame your loss on. <laughs> We're not making him up, he's real! A and we didn't lose yet? Stop jumping to conclusions. It's okay, is it okay if we start playing without him? If he turns up later, he can just join the game then. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh my god. As the killer whales file into the dugout, Noelle starts trekking to her spot on the right field. She scowls disdainfully at a barren patch of grass as she passes it. <laughs> Crystal likes pointing to that tiny patch and going, I'll defend that area so you can cover the rest of the field, okay? I hope that grass goes back soon so I don't have to keep hearing that joke. <laughs> hey wait! Noelle, you're playing second base today. Uh, I am? Why? Yeah, why? She she ducks and covers whenever a ball comes her way. That's exactly why she needs to do it. I'm taking AP Sex, Psych, and I found that there's something called exposure therapy. <laughs> it's where you make someone do something they're afraid of until they stop whining and get used to it. That doesn't sound like the textbook definition to me. Krista, how- then how come when you- we went to- what? Krista, then how come when we went on that demon ride at Great America, you had your eyes closed the whole time? That was before I knew what exposure therapy was. Uh-huh. Uh, wait, but- uh, wait, but I was second base. What happens to me then? You're playing left field now because you run fast. We're moving a bunch of people around, not just you two. Krista thinks she's a Mega Mind Master now because of AP Psychology. <laughs> I, I think I never said that. Noelle begins tracking to second base. I do feel a bit better equipped to man second base now than I did when I was first roped into this club. I don't like to appear underinformed, so a bit after our first game, I read the baseball rulebook from cover to cover. Still, I really hope no one gets and no one hits the ball in my way. If you're talking about IG like Instagram, no. <laughs> To her surprise, Akarsh is already standing by second base. B bonjour Why aren't you here? I'm the shortstop. I'm supposed to be here. What? Aren't you supposed to be closer to third base? Says who? The diagram in the baseball rule book? Nah, the shortstop's position mirrors the second baseman's. You're supposed to work together to vary your positioning to anticipate what the batters and runners do, you know? Hmm, is that so? <laughs> Okay. Mm. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> See? Right. I knew that. So we're both covering the same base? Won't that make things unnecessarily confusing? You're like a duo. It's a good thing. Yeah, we should negotiate who does what in different situations. Alright, fine. How about you cover second when there's a runner on first? And then feel the ground balls close to us. And also take care of the fly balls. <laughs> Just do all the work. <laughs> You're just trying to get out of doing as much work as possible! <laughs> the game kicks off, and to her relief, Min quickly strikes out the first batter. <laughs> Sorry, my nose is still kind of... I'm recovering. <laughs> Good, just do that two more times and we'll get to bat. Hannon digs into the batter's box next. Min throws a floater that curves up towards his head for a moment, before dropping back towards the strike zone. Ugh! Instead of swing, Hannon flinches backwards out of the way. Strike? What's with you? Th nothing, I'm just making sure I don't hit, hit in the mouth. I had a dream last night that my teeth were falling out. Th that's what you wasted your dream on? It's not like I can control what I dream about. Min hurls another pitch his way. But instead of dancing like usual, it pretty much just sails straight down the middle. Rawr! Hidden manages to make contact and drive the ball into the grass. It bounces into the air for one singularly terrifying moment. Noel sees it coming towards- oh wait. I can't fucking- I can't read. It bounces into the air and for one singularly terrifying moment, Noel sees it coming straight at her. You got- he gab. Rawr! I hate ground balls! Noelle covers her face with one arm and half-heartedly attempts to catch the ball with the other. She braces for impact, but nothing hits her. On the mound, Min manages to intercept the ball by catching it behind her back without looking at it. Holy shit. Whoa! Even Min herself looks shocked that she caught it. <laughs> Just because it's 
cool doesn't mean he's out. Throw it to first. Min Hasley lobs the ball to Liz. It just barely beats Hayden to first base. Oh. Oh man. That was close. As Hayden heads back to the dugout in the feed, there's a distant shout. <laughs> oh hey! There is a guy here. Ah, oh, sorry I'm late! Some guy is sprinting down the hill to the killer whales at top speed. He has a mohawk. <laughs> he has the, <laughs> the hairstyle. <laughs> that indeed is not Tempa. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I need to figure out how to say this name. Is this Sapan? Sapan? Sub Sapan? I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. Sapan. Pronounce. Sab Saban? Saban? Oh, it's Sab is it Saban? Maybe he is, and he's just in disguise. I really- I don't think it is. Subhan? 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 I feel, why do I feel like Saban is better? I don't know. He's in disguise. Saban! <laughs> Where were you?! The killer player, killer whale player, sighs despondently as he joins his teammates. That's that one. <laughs> I mean, if I'm reading it out loud, I want to at least try to be as accurate as I can manage. <laughs> uh, I was driving over when all of a sudden a spider crawled up my leg. So obviously I crashed the car. What? <laughs> obviously? Are you okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I just knocked a street sign over. Isn't that a crime? <laughs> How big was a spider? Like this big! He pinches his thumb and index together to demonstrate. So small. <laughs> but uh, it was all hairy, so practically speaking, it was equivalent to a spider twice as big. <laughs> Even if it was that big, isn't crashing kind of an overreaction? Oh. Whatever, just get, to <laughs> just get up to bat already, it's your turn. Dumbest character in the game. <laughs> oh my god. This guy seems like a coward. I wonder what makes him their secret weapon. Oh no. Uh, Saban digs in behind home plate. He's standing on the other side of the plate. He must be left handed. Oh no, so he hits the ball and has a different spin? Is that what's happening? Min hurls her next pitch and the bat. Wait, no, that's only for volleyball. God damn it, Ushiwaka. <laughs> Right? Would the bat have the same effect? I don't even know. But you're catching with a minute. Mitt. Mitt. Matt. Yeah. You're catching it with a glove, though. Right? Not trying to bounce it off. So, what's I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I'll shut up. <laughs> and, oops. I guess I'll save. Min hurls her next pitch, and the batter shifts into a, a bunting stance at the last second. He's not even going to try to hit it? He starts to run towards first base as the ball glances off his bat, sending the baseball bat towards Liz. She's forced to run forward to field it, leaving first base unmanned. Oh, okay. I got it! By the time she scooped the ball up, Saban is well on his way off to first base. Oh, he's fast! Friends! Frenchman! Oh, I need to cover first base since Liz isn't there! Noelle belatedly runs towards the base so Liz can throw the ball up to her, but Saban beats her there. The killer whales cheer, cheer as Saban overruns the base. Yeah, Sub Zero! Sub Zero? <laughs> That's me! They call me Sub Zero because I'm so cool! So. Oh my god. <laughs> huh? No fair! I want a badass nickname too! Oh, please, like what? Like, Sub Zero? <laughs> You're just gonna copy him? <laughs> uh, Sayida shakes her head, shakes her head as Sub Zero basks <laughs> under his teammates' praise. Are we just gonna call him that now? Who the heck gets bunt? Hit what? Who the heck bunts to get on base? I mean, if you're fast, it's doable. Lefties have a huge advantage when bunting too, because they're already two steps ahead from 
It's two steps ahead of where righty batters are when they lay down the bunt. Right, that just because they're standing on the other other side, right? So cheap. Well, that's the essence of baseball, no? Cheating and being cheap. <laughs> I thought the essence of baseball was friendship and teamwork. Oh yes, that too. <laughs> Cheating and being Liz. <laughs> <clears throat> Jinsei was up to bat next. He swings the pitch. Uh, the knuckleball suddenly soars outward as though sensing the bat, dodging it entirely. Uh -uh. <laughs> Dia misses the ball by a mile too. She rips her mask off and chases after it. <laughs> yeah! Sub Zero takes off running towards second base. <laughs> He's taking the chance to steal. I need to tag him out. Dia secures the ball and throws it to Akarsha. Got it! <laughs> Never mind. Looks like Akarsha is supposed to cover second base here. Sub Zero skids to a halt halfway between the bases. Oh no! Because it was his choice to run, we need to actually tag him with the ball. Karsha charges towards him, and Sub Zero turns around and flees back towards first base. Throw it to me! Akarsha lobs the ball over, and Liz tags him out. No! Nice one, Akarsha. Akarsha? Who's that? You? I don't know what you're talking about. My name is Sub Zero. <laughs> No, it's not! <laughs> the team switch sides. As Noel crosses the field, she's struck with a peculiar awareness of where she is. Barely a day ago, I was on the opposite side of the planet. I was in Taiwan, where the garbage trucks sing Beethoven's fur release while collecting the trash. And now I'm here playing baseball. I'm wearing a little cap, sweating, and running on grass. Why am I here? It's a mistake that I'm here. Hello, Earth Frenchman? What? You didn't hear a thing I said, huh? My apologies. What was it? I said it's hot as balls out here. <laughs> this again? So what were you so lost in thought about? Nothing really. It's just strange knowing that I would have led a completely different life if my parents had stayed in Taiwan. <laughs> I would have been someone who's close to their fam her family. Someone who wasn't ignorant of her own culture. Maybe I would have been a better person. Aw, oh, I, I like you the way you are, though. Oh my god. And if your parents didn't move, we would have never met. Of course, because obviously that makes up for everything. Akarsha <laughs> grins and inside, the inside of Noel's palm prickles. Ah, stop! That's so, that's so real when your palms prick- Do you get the thing, too, when your palms prickle? Oh my god! Sorry, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna freak out about this game for the next for the next five years. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is so peculiar. Is this what extreme anger feels like? But right now, I'm only pretending to be annoyed for comedic effect. I get the thing. I've like never heard of anyone else who gets it, but like my poems like. Yeah, they do the thing where they prickle, but it's like, it's, it's specifically when I watch romance movies or read, read romance, you know, genres, right? And like, some like really cute scene would happen and my palm would just like start hurting. Like, what is it? I don't know. Like, what is this thing? Is there a scientific explanation? What is this? What's happening? Noel, you gotta figure this out for me, man. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, goosebumps are like the. I don't know. For some reason, it's always the palm. I don't know. I've I've just never heard it before, and hearing it here, I'm like, what the hell is this game reading my mind? Can you stop? <laughs> just like me for real, for real. <laughs> the sensation is so unbearable. She wants to scratch at it until it goes away. I mean. You went there on vacation, you'll prob you're probably looking at it through rose-colored glasses. They probably have tons of struggles over there that you're clueless about. Even so, the standard of living there is on an entirely different level. This is backed up by actual statistics, not just my personal opinions. I don't know, man. It's not good to wallow too long in self-pity. Or else you'll get lost in the sauce. The, the sauce? What sauce? It's a metaphor for being out of touch with reality. <laughs> but I like to imagine barbecue sauce. <laughs> Weird shake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, 
Goosebumps, weird shake, weird prickle in the palms. I don't know, something's happening. The butterflies in your stomach, that sort of feeling, but like, it's just in- Sometimes it's not in your stomach, sometimes it's just in different parts of your body. <laughs> it's just different for everyone, is that what this happened? <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Do you? <clears throat> the rest of Team Global Warming erupts in cheers as Dia bats Krissa in. <laughs> oh, it's butterfly soup in your stomach. Exactly. Oh, they're not they're not just walking Dia like last game? I told Jin I'd shave his hair off in his sleeve if he did that again, because it's not fun for Dia. <laughs> uh, who's up next? Me! Time to unveil my special technique! Wait, she better not be trying to get that getting hit on purpose thing again. <laughs> trying that getting hit on purpose thing. <laughs> oh no. Oblivious, Jin Seo throws a fastball to Akarsha. Akarsha leans into the pitch, causing the ball to bounce off her elbow guard. Ha! Huh, free walk to first base! Ha! <laughs> huh, you can't do that on purpose. The guy on the Niles team who's serving as their umpire pages through the rule book lost. <laughs> um, does it say that in the rules? Actually, it's not relevant whether Akarsha caused the ball to hit her or not. Per Rule 2, Section 40 of the NFHS rulebook, there's no distinction between the act of touching or being touched. <laughs> Seriously? Thank you, baseball lawyer. Mwah. Actually, just last summer, Rule 734 was added, stating that the batter shall not permit a pitched ball to touch him. But it's not really my job to remind them to update the rule book. Noel! But, but still, that's not fair. You may not like it, but this is what peak baseball looks like. Even the Major League Baseball logo is just a guy getting hit by the pitch. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? It's a guy swinging at the ball. Oh my god, don't do this. Don't do this. <laughs> no, really picture it. The ball is too high up, and now look how close to him it is. It's too late. There's no way he's going to be able to hit it in time. It's a guy who's about to get beamed. <laughs> no way. She's right. It really is a guy about to get hit. I rest my case. Akarsha drops to first base, victorious. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Alright, I'm up next. There's already two outs, I better not strike out. But on the bright side, Dia and Akarsha are both on base. If I can somehow hit this, we could have it this we could end this inning with a le massive lead. Sorry, I can't talk. <clears throat> Noelle swiftly strikes out, missing by a mile with each swing. Trat, I blew it! Hey there. Did you try? Yes. But did you fail? Also yes. <laughs> Wait, I think I said those in the wrong order. <laughs> Forget the order! Why'd you mention me failing at all? Krissa, no. <laughs> the team switch sides. As Noah trots to second base, she crosses paths with Dia on her way to the catcher's box. Dia, do you have any tips for hitting the ball? Dia considers for a moment. It's easier to hit the top of the ball than the bottom. Hmm. <clears throat> Bad for hitting home runs, but you'll strike out less. Yeah, at this point, I'd be thrilled to hit any of the ball. You think I can differentiate between the top and bottom halves? <laughs> Theo appears not to have heard Noah's response and has walked away. Thanks, I guess. The killer whales cheer, cheer as a batter hits a grand slam off one of the one of Min's pitches. Woohoo, we're tied now! Eat shit and die! <laughs> Min strikes the next two batters out in quick succession. I can't talk anymore. Help. Quick su 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 succession, but the third gets a solid hit. Maybe I can catch this. Noel leaps for the ball, but it flies over her head and bounces into center field. Got it. Krista feels the ball, then tosses it back to Noel. I need to throw this to first base. Noel throws the ball with all her might. It plops almost straight into the ground and begins rolling away. Noel. Liz leaves first base to grasp the ball, but at this point the runner is approaching second base. It's another pickle! Liz and Akarsha needs to box him in again. Akarsha! 
Who? She's not cooperating because she wants to be called Sub Zero. <laughs> call her Sub Zero. Don't call her Sub Zero. <laughs> Don't call her Sub Zero. Akarsha, you vile creature! Huh? I wonder who this Akarsha you keep referring to is. Liz pulls, throws the ball to Akarsha, but she pretends not to see it and lets it land on the ground. Really? Shit. I mean, shoot! <laughs> Noelle rushes to grab the ball instead, but the, rusher, but the runner is already long gone. She streaks at Akarsha as he crosses home plate. <laughs> they scored because of you! Because of me, or because you're a big meanie and didn't compromise like a good teammate. Really makes you think. <laughs> no, it doesn't! Liz just cuts. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm curious to see what will happen if I call her Sub Zero. <laughs> Sub Zero. Oh, hey, that's me. <laughs> Akarja catches the ball. Liz throws her and quickly tags Junseo out. No. <laughs> Another win for Sub Zero. You're disgusting. Thanks to Noelle's noble sacrifice, global warming man is maintains their deadlock with. The killer wills for the next few innings. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm still congested, give me a sec. Butterfly soup bingo. <laughs> you can't make a bingo once the game's already out. I guess you can make it for Butterfly Soup 3. <laughs> if that ever is a thing. I get the feeling that this is gonna be like the end, but like, you know. I don't know, it depends on how it ends. It's the bottom of the last inning. We just need one more one run to cinch our victory. I was close to a bingo. Oh my gosh. Hey. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Saida and Krissa rack up two outs right off the bat. Come on, a sorry, Dia Sama, you're her only hope. After letting two balls go, Dia swings a fastball. Swings at a fastball. She drives the ball into right field and everyone holds their breath as it rockets towards the fence. It smashes into the middle of the fence, just a couple feet too low to clear it. Too bad it was in the home run. Too bad I'm about to beat the shit out of you! Kidding, kidding, dude did great! Nia spins, sprints around the diamond and slides into second base, just barely beating, beating the throw. Safe. Akarja cracks her knuckles as she gets up from the bench. Time to use my special technique. Oh my god. Wait, are you gonna get yourself hit by the pitch again? Yeah. Back when I was in the Little League, I saw a batter get beamed in the face. Krista, do you remember? Do you remember? He was on your team. Huh? Oh yeah, that was so scary. He collapsed and was just lying motionless on the ground for a while. Oh no, are they trying to scare her? Oh my god. He looked like he was dead. Poor kid had to be carrying off in a stretcher. I think it knocked out one of his teeth, right? Yup. Actually, maybe he even had died. Maybe he even had died for real later. <laughs> maybe. Anyway, you trying to get on hit on purpose just reminded me of that. Oh, oh, okay. This supposed to be a new scare tactic they're trying. <laughs> what an embarrassing death, Ayo. Hey, <laughs> Plus, this is our only real chance. To bring Dia home. We have two outs, and Noel will probably strike out at her bat. No offense, Noel. I'm taken. So, getting death by balls? Bro, there's a guy who did actually dive like that, you know? It's a guy, you know, I don't know if you know his name, but his name is Leon. <laughs> So getting walked here would just delay the inevitable. You should try to keep, create an opportunity for Dia to run. <laughs> what? What do you mean, what? His name's Leon. So I actually gotta hit the ball? Oh man. No pressure if you can't manage it, but do your best. Say no more, I'm going serious mode. 
As Akarsha walks up to the plate, she tosses her bat in the air, spins around, and tries to catch it behind her back. <laughs> the sound. <laughs> she doesn't spin around fast enough, so the bat just clatters to the ground. <laughs> Akarsha picks the bat up and points it at Juseo. <laughs> what the fuck? Your pants can't wait for my pee. What is that even supposed to mean? She's trying to confuse you, don't let it get to you! Disturbed, Junseo quickly pitches to Akarsha. Akarsha whips it for a strike. Oh, whoopsie! <laughs> We're all gonna be haunted by the P comment now, and it didn't even work! <laughs> the team holds their collective breath as Junseo lets the next pitch fly. Akarsha smacks it into foul territory. Strike two. If you waste Dia's double, I'll hit you! <clears throat> I'm sorry, Min's voice turned really bad. <laughs> Krista taps the sign she and Liz taped to the dugout's fence. No hitting allowed. <laughs> huh. Then, then I'll scream really loud in your ear. So it destroys your eardrum. Lynn taps the second sign they taped to the fence. No screaming allowed either. God damn it. <laughs> Adi's not strip, but it's even worse. <laughs> it's even worse than the fact that, like, like, what the heck is- But like, I've never heard anyone say that before in my entire existence on planet Earth. <laughs> what? Jinsei winds up again. In the meantime, Akarsha has gone suspiciously quiet. Akarsha leans in so she gets hit by the pitch again. <laughs> not again. Where are you going? You just lost us the game. Yeah! Akarsha races towards first base like her life depends on it. G guys, why is she running? Ta Tag really tries to steal second. Hayden quickly throws the ball to Safan, the first baseman. Akarsha hastily stops in her tracks. Uh oh. Come back here! Akarsha turns and scrambles back the way she came with Safan at her heels. What is she doing? There's no benefit to her retreating all the way back home. As Akarsha nears home, Saban hurls the ball back to Hayden, who lunges forward to tag her. <laughs> they panicked and forgot the basic rules of baseball! All they have to do is tag first base to for a force out. Can they do that? She was hit by the pitch. She's entitled to first base. Good point. <laughs> Guys, don't forget Dio's running too! Huh? Dio slides home in the confusion! <laughs> yeah! Oh my god, Min. <laughs> Min runs over to home base and starts furiously kissing Dia as Hayden chases Akarsha's back, uh, Akarsha back to towards first. <laughs> Get off the playing field! The game's not over yet! It's not? I thought we won. Run won't count if, Akarsha's, if Akarsha is the third out before making it to third base. Or before making it to first base. Or if they can even tag her out? I don't, I don't know anymore. As she's trying to weasel past the bomb, Akarsha trips on her own shoelaces and collides with him. Ah! Oh no, it's because you tied your shoes all weird, Akarsha. Akarsha bangs her head on Saban's knee on her way down. Ouch. Oh my god! Akarsha! Without thinking, she runs over to where Akarsha is, lying motionless on the ground. Akarsha, are you alright? Akarsha doesn't respond. Coming from Akarsha, the silence is a thousand times scarier than if she had been screaming. Oh god. Wait. Oh no! Wait, 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 wait! Wait. <laughs> wait. <coughs> Her voice comes out all choked and funny, and Noelle realizes with horror that she's crying. <laughs> the world would be an awful place without you. Oh. Please, Akarsha slowly begins to sit up. Sorry, I'm. Uh, what? I... <laughs> she, she loves her. Oh my god, it's so confirmed. Come on, Akarsha. Oh my god. <laughs> Noelle is so relieved that she tearfully pulls Akarsha into a hug for a moment before a mixture of other emotions catch up with her. Wait, what am I doing? Her heart party, Noelle hastily shoves Akarsha away, sending her crashing back to the ground. What? You absolute ass. You scared me. Don't ever do that again. Noelle frantically wipes her tears away as Akarsha wobbles back to her feet. Soon the others have gathered around her in concern. You okay? 
Yeah, just woozy. What year is it? 1834? <laughs> just kidding, 2009. <laughs> How can you be cracking jokes right now? Can you tell me what happened? I got myself in a pickle, tripped, and ate shit. <laughs> okay, good. Ask her if she feels nauseous. You feel nauseous? Nah. Nah. As, as they run through the series of tests for concussion, Chris and Liz relax a bit. You seem fine. It's good that you can remember what happened to walk. It looks like he lost consciousness for a second there, though. I wasn't knocked out. I was thinking the whole time. Huh? I was just stunned because it really hurt. So, you remember what I said to you? Yeah, that I'm an ass? Well, what about before that? Uh, before that, everyone was screaming that I fell. It was so chaotic, it all kind of blurred together. <sighs> what a relief! It would have been mortifying if she heard me falling to pieces over her. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna... <laughs> let's go, lesbians, let's go! You should still get you checked out by an adult. Aren't you and Liz technically adults now? You know what I mean, real adults, like the school nurse. Doesn't that mean the game's over? Yeah, sorry. We'll have to rematch you guys some other time. Wait, so did we win? Did Dia's run count? Unfortunately, no. My understanding is that Akasha ultimately violated Section 4 of Rule 8. She made a travesty of the game. <laughs> a travesty? That's such a dramatic way to put it, I love it. I'm so sorry, you can hit my head super hard too as payback. Like, with a bat or something. Wh why It wouldn't help at all. I'll do it. No one's hitting anyone in the head with a bat. Well, can you skirt Akarsha to the nurse's office? Alright, fine. Let's go lesbians, except one is bi. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nothing went for the case. <laughs> Noelle and Akarsha trudge back up the hill towards the school. Oh, lesbians, you're so right. <laughs> Suddenly, Akarsha touches her own cheek, confused. But why is my face wet? What? Something wet on my cheek, like water. It's from when I was crying over her. That, uh, that must have been someone's spit that fell on you. Well, you. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe this. Man, if only I hadn't tripped, I totally would have saved the day. You should thank me for f thank me for trying to save you from <laughs> I can't read. You should thank me for trying to save you from making us lose. <laughs> now that she mentions it, I do feel a bit bad that she got hurt trying to help me. I am I actually am a bit impressed you wrangled such an improbable outcome out of a walk. I truly marvel at your creativity sometimes. <laughs> what? Who are you? What did you do with Noelle? <laughs> Contrary to pop common belief, I am in fact capable of being nice. <laughs> I know, but you usually look like you're passing a really hard poo while you're doing it. <laughs> Akarsha grabs Noelle's hand and furiously shakes it up and down. <laughs> Congratulations, you've learned basic human decency. <laughs> you should try more often. Oh my god. To Noelle's dismay, she feels a strange, almost electric undercurrent of something running between her palms. Or their palms. Why am I so sensitive to her touch all of a sudden? I think it used to be like this. Noel thrashes her hand free and seizes Akarsha's wrist. Whoa! Could it be that I'm still excited from the game? There's probably still adrenaline in my system. But let me go! War crime! War crime! It's not a war crime to grab someone's arm! Oh my god, oh the humanity. To be captivated by a court jester, a circus, a circus clown juggling five bowling pins. <laughs> yeah, the new angles are so good, man. Like, <laughs> and the expressions too. Like, I just, <clears throat> man. Like, I need to just like go back and and like screenshot and then just stare. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just when art is good, you just stare and you're like, man, that art is so good. Like, you can't even formulate in words, but it's just like, wow, I'm so glad you made this. <laughs> <clears throat> Theo clearly looks up from her notebook as Akarsha takes her usual seat in front of Noelle. How's your head? Oh, I'm all good now. The nurse just told me to rest up for a few days. 
My parents made me see a doctor over the weekend too, and he said the same thing. That's good to hear. I wish I could have used this as an excuse to get out of the bio test today though. At least we have the multicultural week of some at least we have the multicultural week assembly in third period. You can use it as extra time to cram. I want to at least watch some of it though. I heard there was gonna be a K-pop part. <laughs> Noelle's heart does a nervous little stutter as Akarsha turns all the way around in her seat to face her. Do you remember the poster that was in the nurse's office? No, what poster? It said that if your hand is bigger than your face, you have cancer. That doesn't sound right. Why would that be the case? Swelling? Just to check, Noelle puts her hand over her face to compare their sizes. <laughs> Akarsha slaps Noelle's hand so Noelle smacks herself in the face. <laughs> Akarsha! Akarsha bolts and Noelle chases after her. The bell rings. This concludes Noelle and Akarsha's daily morning screen fest. Once they're back in their desks, Noelle glowers at the, at the back of Akarsha's head. Help me. <laughs> <clears throat> I can't keep my eyes off of her. It must be because my body's natural defense natural defense mechanism in response to threats. Right. If I hold her hand, it'll prevent her from doing the why are you hitting yourself mood. And if I embrace her, she'll she will be completely immobilized. Yes, these are perfectly reasonable explanations for all of these strange urges I'm feeling. Noel. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> In third period, Noelle's teacher leads the class to the gym to watch the multicultural assembly. Most of her classmates have their heads buried in their biology textbooks as they walk, desperately cramming for the impending test. Pistol. The ovul- the ov- ovul- the- Fuck me, man. Ovul? Ovul? Producing part of the flower. Next. Phylum. Uh, plant tissue that moves waters and stuff around. Next. What stuff? Like, stuff. You know. Stuff. You know what, Krasha? I've never actually seen you study for something in earnest before. Yeah, well, I actually decided to try it. I decided to actually try normally for once. I think I have too many lies and weird plots going on at the same time, and it's tiring me out. <laughs> You fool, you nuisance, you liar. I want to know everything about you, Noel. <laughs> I want you to tell me every thought that's ever crossed your mind. Sepal. The outer part of the flower, the green leafy part. Why am I so infatuated with her? It can't possibly be that I fancy her. No, surely not. I may have grown used to the concept of dating men, but I have no intention of being in a relationship like that myself. Even now, I'm aware it's possible for two women to copulate. That changes nothing! Oh, even now that I know it's possible. Right. Homosexuals can't legally get married anymore. It seems unwise to pursue a lifestyle reliant on the mercy of a government that isn't unreliable as our own. <laughs> oh. Akarsha gives her an odd look. Why are you glaring at me? Oh, is that how my face looked? I haven't done anything yet. Y yet? Oh! Nemo walks straight into someone in the class walking ahead of them. Yeah! Oh, hi, it's you guys. Oh, hey, what's up? I posted the first chapter of my webcomic. I saw every page has like four comments. Is that good? I don't have- I have no idea how to gauge webcomic success. Esther, you're like a celebrity now. Ooh, I wanna see! Here, I scan all these comic pages for my sketchbook. She holds her sketchbook out so Noelle, Dia, and Akarsha can read it as they walk. It's not scientifically accurate. <laughs> but at least it's easier to follow than a cursed English video we made. <laughs> Hey, were you really in high school if you didn't act in a completely incomprehensible movie with your friends? Huh? Is that Noelle? Huh? Where? Huh? <laughs> Dio points at a panel, showing a character crumpled on the ground. Well, wait a minute, is this traced from a photo of me? Uh, er, uh, yeah, don't worry, I made sure to tweak some things. 
Her personality is completely different from yours, and I changed her hair color to white. Why white? Is she old? No, it's because she's albino. She has red eyes, too. <clears throat> okay, but what if people realize- still realize this is based on my likeness? Looks like someone already did. Sure enough, Min has left a comment on the page where the albino Noel is getting her ass kicked. <laughs> Gone up Halo? <laughs> LMAO, get wrecked, nerd! <laughs> That's the price of knowing an artist. Artiste. Uh, sorry. Sam will ask for permission first. Esther, you're coming to Fanime with us, right? Yeah, I begged my parents to let me go. We should cosplay as your characters to help promote the comic. What? No! The anime is so bad, and I made a bunch of mistakes on everyone's outfits. You're famous and you're still trying that- you're still saying that, BS? You created this with your bare hands, so what if it's not perfect? You're a god. Okay, whatever. Do what you, do what you want, but I'm wearing normal clothes. Seriously going to be too cool for anime while attending an anime convention? It's not like you can wander in by accident. <laughs> I call dibs on Stella Luna. Then I get Kagami Izuna. Well, I want to be. I want it to be Kagami Izuna. <laughs> Noel hangs back with Dia as the others argue, trying to process a confusing tangle of feelings about not being the center of Akarsha's attention. <laughs> she watches Akarsha's ridiculous, Akarsha's ridiculous gait as she walks, the one that apparently marks her as <laughs> America and in India. What? Question. Do you ever feel like love is a choice? Question. Like, could you potentially fall in love with someone? You're not- you're not in love with them, but if you wanted to feel that way, you could. But if you ignore it, it'll pass eventually. Isn't that just regular love? No, I'm talking- I'm not talking about regular love, like what you and Min experience. There is no preventing that. The two of you were drawn together with the force of a freight train. But this isn't like that. This is more comparable to someone uh, reaching a fork in a road. Because I can obviously control my emotions, especially the ones that aren't useful to me. I'm not a wild animal. <laughs> Even if you could control your emotions, why don't you think they're useful? Because they would de derail my entire life. There's insufficient evidence to suggest the subject in question would re reciprocate my feelings, so perhaps this is putting the cart before the horse. But in the unlikely event that things actually did work out between us, it would be extremely inconvenient for my plans. What plans? You know, just the default ones. Essentially to secure a respectable job, marry a successful pan, and spawn two well-behaved first- <laughs> I can't even talk. And spawn two well-behaved children in the suburbs before I'm 30? I'd be throwing away my prospect of leading a normal leading a normal life just for the pleasure of being tormented by a silly little clown every day. Dia. Dia Dia who who knows? Dia gives her an odd look. She looks like she's struggling to piece together a very complicated puzzle. What? Nothing? If the person doesn't fit your goal, shouldn't you update the goal? I can't. It's the only outcome my parents see as acceptable. If I don't adhere to it, they'll badger me day and night. They'll never let me hear the end of it. Don't they already do that anyway? Oh, yes, they do. You're right. No matter what I do, they'll always find some new issue to latch onto. Why am I so desperate for the approval of two people whose opinions I don't even respect? I wish I could rewrite my brain to only carry approval from people I hold in high esteem. Like me? You would be included, yes. Then I want you to adopt a thousand dogs and start exercising. <laughs> a, a, a thousand? But you can read books too, as a treat. <laughs> your manner of discussing this makes you sound like your, your- Wait, makes me sound like your pet hamster. <clears throat> Dia's definitely gonna figure it out. Come on, right? Like, uh... <clears throat> <clears throat> Noel follows her class into the rafters. Mia, over here! Hmm? Min worms her way over to them through the crowd. I escaped from my class. Escaped? Are they gonna come looking for you? Nah, I lost them. Better have. I'd rather not get caught harboring a fugitive. The music's kinda loud. Hold on. 
Music's loud. Give me a sec. <laughs> yeah, do you have Weedman arc? Yes. <clears throat> like she she used the term like what like being being annoyed by a clown every day or something. Like who else can it be? Come on. <laughs> <clears throat> nah, I lost him. Better have. I'd rather not get caught for harboring a fugitive. Did it hurt when you were born with that huge stick up your ass? <laughs> I'm not even gonna dignify that with the response. What the hell is this anyway? Multicultural week? Yeah, that. None of the other schools I went to did this. At lunch, there's samosas and cold stone cupcakes. What, for free? No, you buy them. All the club- all the clubs sell something to fundraise. I heard there's also musubis. What's the baseball club selling? Uh, curry- curry pizza, I think. Akarsha takes a seat at the end of the row against the wall. Min begins to sit down next to her. Suddenly, Dia grabs Min by the shoulders, turns her around to face her, and kisses her full on the mouth. <laughs> what brought this on? <laughs> Do you win man arc? Do you do you wing woman arc? Ha, ha damn, get a room. <clears throat> Baffled, Noel squeezed past them and sits in the spot Min was about to take next to Akarsha. What? What? what was that for? Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> Dia whispers something into Min's ear that Noel can't catch. What? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Are you sure? Maybe half. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> Ting to what? Ting Ting Nikling is one of the most popular folk dances in the Philippines. This dance originated on an island in central Philippines. Noel and Nakarsha continue to cram as their fellow students showcase a variety of cultural performances. Dia lets out a huge yawn and lets her head rest on Min's shoulder. You tired? Stayed up late studying. I'll wake you up if anything cool happens. <laughs> Man, I wish I stayed up late cramming too. I'm so dead. We have the entire assembly to study. If you want to live, stop whining and start reviewing. Yes, ma'am. What part of the flower will turn into a fruit? What? What? Over... Oh, ovary? Ovary. Ding ding ding! You didn't by hand... You didn't, uh, you didn't by chance ask that question just to make me say ovary, did you? No way! How immature do you think I am? Last period, you asked me to guess what number you were thinking of, and it was 69. Well, you're the immature one for guessing it right. How am I the immature one? I guessed it because I knew you were always like this. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Dee is sleeping! Anymore, she isn't. <laughs> the teenicly dancers bow and run off the stage. Now that they've reached a lull in the conversation, Noelle is hyper aware of the way the side of Akarsha's thigh is pressed up against hers. <sighs> Why did I have to meet you? Why do you have to be so funny and make me so happy? <laughs> ah! Ah! Stop! Oh my god, stop. Well, don't stop, but like, man, stop as in like, stop doing this to my heart. <laughs> you weren't everything. Next up is Chinese dance. Chinese dance has thousands of years of history. <laughs> Wasn't that the same thing they said about the Philippines? It has thousands of years of history <laughs> every time. <laughs> A troop of student dancers wave colorful fans to an idyllic sounding Chinese song. <sighs> Do you know what the song's about? I wish I could tell you. I haven't the faintest idea. When I was younger, I was so eager to cast the Chinese part of me aside because it was difficult. And now I regret it. Hey, no judgment. I'm whitewashed, too. Does it ever bother you that you can't speak any Indian languages? Maybe a little. It would be cool to know. That's all? You don't feel guilty for being uncultured? Excuse you? I'm plenty cultured. Today I'm gonna eat curry pizza, destroy the sport of baseball, and even enjoy the company of a Frenchman. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's not the traditional culture your ancestors experience. Is that such a bad thing? It's different, but it's pretty cool in its own. It's an uh, but it's pretty cool in its own way too. And if I really want, I can always pick up Hindi or something someday. But you already missed the whole window of time where children pick up languages the most readily. Don't people? Don't plenty of people learn languages later in life though? 
I feel like Dia and Min's learned- Dia and Min- Min have learned a ton of- just from teaching each other. That may be possible, but it's not optimal. Dude, whose life is optimal? You're not a robot. Just take what you can get and be happy. <laughs> they're bringing out the best in- they're- god, they're so cute! I love them so much! They're so cute together, god damn it! <clears throat> Easier said than done, but duly noted. Speaking of robots, did you try playing Portal? I did. W what did you think? It makes me motion sick. I kept having to pause because I was on the verge of throwing up. Yeah, I feel you. Oh, oops, sorry. But I did enjoy the witty dialogue and the song at the end. So you still played all of it? Yes. Even though it almost made you hurl? What choice did you have? You told me to play it. Oh, yeah, I guess that's what friends do. Isn't GLaDOS so hot? <laughs> oh my god, you guys. That sadistic artif artificial intelligence who's trying to kill you? It's the whole appeal. She's scary in a seductive way. Like, her voice gets all low and sexy when she's insulting you. Did you hit your head again? Something's definitely not right in there. <laughs> K-pop, I already know it. We're not exist without them. Girls in the crowd. What? Oh my god. The K-pop dance troupe's introduction is completely drowned out by a chorus of high-pitched screams. Oh, that's cute. Not sure I would characterize those banshee-like screams as cute. No, not the- not them, next to you. <laughs> Noelle turns to see Dia sound asleep in Min's arms. Min's gazing at her like she's an angel that just fell down from heaven. It makes Noelle's skin crawl, so she quickly looks away. So disgustingly in love. I can barely- I can barely bear to look at them. Right? It's like staring directly at the sun. All obvious. Sometimes I kind of wish that was more my style. Do you really? It's not exactly my style either. Yeah, I guess not. Uh... <laughs> uh okay. Noelle carefully maintains a mi mildly disgusted expression as she watches no as uh, she watches Akarsha read, just in case she's caught staring. <laughs> if I cast this part of myself aside because it's difficult too, will I come to regret it later? Hey, do you remember the time my brother hijacked my computer and typed all this crazy stuff to you? What? It was a few months ago after school. Remember? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I forgot about that. That was odd. Yes, I remember now. Why? I lied. That wasn't my brother. That was me. Okay. What? Huh? <laughs> Akarsha! Akarsha goes back to reading her biology textbook, though her legs now jittering up and down. I feel like I was just told a joke whose punchline flew straight over my head. Why would it matter that it was her and not her brother? What exactly did she say? <laughs> no, well, just like checked it off. It's like, okay, Akarsha being weird, and just like didn't think about it, <laughs> didn't pay attention. No, <clears throat> no. As she racks her brain, a dozen costume seniors take the floor. Thank you, K-pop. Next up, we have se Senior Bangra. Bangra was originally a folk dance from farmers in Punjab. Oh, he's Chris and Liz. <laughs> Wake up! Seniors, come on down! It's okay if you don't know the moves. Follow our lead. How's it okay if people don't know the moves? I guess they're all trying to copy the group that's learned to dance. Wouldn't that look hopelessly unsynchronized, though? They can't possibly dance in proper unison on the fly. Why don't we see for ourselves? Let's dance! <laughs> Wait, I thought only seniors went down. What are you guys doing? Akasha stands, yanking Noelle up with her by the arm. What? We're not seniors! <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. <clears throat> Come on, no one's gonna notice. I can't focus anyway. Oh my god. Oh. oh. <laughs> ah. That's the most pitiful interaction I've ever seen. <laughs> Noelle just needs to realize, man. Oh god. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be like- I'm gonna make really dumb noises through the rest of this playthrough. I'm sorry. 
Noelle balks as her friends weave their way into the crowd of amateur dancers. I, I don't dance. <laughs> High school musical too? <laughs> Come on, you don't need to be good at something to do it. They all try to copy the others, clapping and raising their arms at a, a beat late each time. <laughs> this looks like shit! Oh balls, this is harder than I thought. I told you, we look like fools! But that's okay, so does everyone else. Already out of breath, Noel looks around at the chaotic blur of Asian nerds flailing their limbs, limbs around them. It's true. This must be a group of some of the worst dancers in the world! <laughs> With renewed confidence, Noel spins in what turns out to be the completely wrong direction. Leah rears back to avoid cashing into her. <laughs> to Noel's surprise, Dia belatedly bumps into her, sending her flying into a car show. Oh my god. Uh... I almost seemed deliberate? What? Pardon? Akarsha tries to pull back, only for Min to smack the back of her head in retaliation. You guys! <laughs> I mean, like, last time Noelle and Akarsha were the wing wing people, right? But like, Dia Min being the wing people, this is extremely violent wing people ing. <laughs> wing womans. Akarsha tries to pull back, only for Min to smack the back of her head in retaliation. <laughs> Ow, what was that for? This- this air is mine! Huh? <laughs> Noel grabs Akarsha's hand for balance as they collide again. Isn't this fun? This is a hellhole. This is paradise! Oh my god. Oh, wait! <laughs> Sorry! That's so cute. Akarsha laces their fingers together and Noelle can feel it. A hairline crack racing through something foundational within her. It's an utterly terrifying yet exhilarating sensation, but she doesn't let go. <laughs> ah! Sorry. <laughs> I can't feel it's for you. She whispers it, as an experiment, so that it's impossible to hear over the roar of the crowd and the music. But it feels like a small daring victory, like the first step on the moon. Like a butterfly breaking out of its chrysalis, all soft, naive, and crinkled. Maybe with two left feet, and a few days late to the party, but alive, so alive, trying to process the blinding, beautiful, wild world she's broken her way into. Uh, what'd you say? <laughs> a cartel twirls her, and a Noel gives up on suppressing the giddy smile on her face. <laughs> Nothing. Maybe I'll tell you later. Be that way, Burger King. It's not even a slogan. <laughs> they dance and dance, all stupid and str struggling and happy. There's so much pain and misery in this school. It's twisted us all into strange and flawed shapes, like butterflies born into a full spring. But it's the circumstances that gave you me... They gave us you and me right here, right now. Kant wrote, out of, out of the crooked timber of humanity, no straight thing was ever made. <laughs> and how and how we long to be straight, forgetting there's beauty in the crooked things too. We'll never live the lives our parents wanted us to lead. And that's okay. Because we'll forge something brave and new instead. It won't be the same. But it'll be ours. And I won't ever let that go. Oh my gosh! Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Wait, let me turn the volume higher. Wait, I don't know if I can turn the- I can turn the volume higher for you guys. Oh, don't worry, I won't skip it. I'm just gonna... Oh my god, like, it's... I'm guessing, right, there's an ending scene. Is it, is it like an ending scene like the last game where it's kind of like a couple years in the future ending scene? Dude, I... Oh, stop. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, yeah. All the people dancing. <laughs> Credits performance. Class of 2016. Okay, okay. Opposite of special things? <laughs> Confetti? Huh? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh. I did confetti, right? <clears throat> the future! I'm gonna cry. Well, were they open? What do you think? It's one in the morning. Of course Home Depot wasn't open. There's gotta be somewhere where you can buy bolt cutters. At this hour? I'm not optimistic. Guess I'll die then? How else are we gonna get them off? Get them- Get what off? <laughs> I'm afraid we need to go to the fire station for help. <laughs> Stop laughing, this isn't funny! This isn't funny? We're going to the- <laughs> We're going to the fire station with me half naked and handcuffed, and it's not funny? You really can't get dressed more than that. I mean, my arms can't go through the sleeves. Hold still. <laughs> I give up, good enough. Go good enough? If only I had a humiliation king, this would have been perfect. Doesn't Min have a katana? You do? Or at least some kind of sword. Maybe we can use it to slice the handcuffs off. What, you want a surprise amputation tonight? No. And you're sure the key didn't fall behind the treasure? I looked everywhere, it's gone. I'm convinced that in these scenarios, small objects stop obeying the laws of physics. This never happened any of the times I handcuffed you. That, my dear, is called luck. Whatever you say, skunky. Stop calling me that! Fine, skunko pop. D gray man. <laughs> and don't- Don't brainstorm horrid new nicknames for me! But you're basically- But you're basically begging for it with your hair like that. It's not as if I grew gray hairs on purpose. Then how come I don't have to- I don't have any. You're intolerable. Ah! Uh! <laughs> Noel seizes the front of Akarsha's shirt and yanks her forward, crushing their lips together. Akarsha makes a small noise of surprise, but then grins as she deepens the kiss, co coaxing her lips open so that her tongue can slide inside. At the start of the night, she tasted like watermelon lip gloss, but that's long been since. I can't talk. But that's long been kissed and smeared away into oblivion. Noel can't help but think, why bother? When will you learn? I'll always kiss through every layer of crap you put between us until it's just you and me. Ah, sorry. <laughs> when they part, their breasts rag, neither of them can come up with anything witty to say. I love you. I love you more. That's impossible. No, it's not. I love you times infinity, therefore, I win. You can't multiply infinity. Infinity is a concept, not a number, so it's- so is love, for that matter. Well, too bad, I did it. Love you times infinity. Noel sighs, but she doesn't bother hiding the half-smile tugging at her mouth. <laughs> if you're gonna speak nonsense, then I love you times infinity plus one. <laughs> They're seriously going? Now get in the car, I have work tomorrow morning. Oh god. Akarsha tries to respond to as Noel opens the door for her, but she's laughing so hard it takes her several attempts to get it out. <laughs> the firefighters, they couldn't look outside and see. Prius driver dressed like Frog and Toad and me. But what's wrong with driving a Prius? Just get in already. I love you in times infinity minus one. I love you in times infinity minus two. Okay, okay, how mean. Ah, uh, uh, that's it. Oh my god. God, I love this song. Holy shit. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh 
my god. Wait, I really like- Okay, can I just say, like, at the very end, you know how it's like, they, it seems like they didn't really get together in high school. Like, it, or it was like towards the end of high school, right? Because it's like, what do you call it? Because it, it feels like it's just like you need some time to like figure shit out, right? And I, re I really like that because or else it would have felt like felt really rushed. Yeah. So I'm a bit confused on the... Why the fuck does Min have a sword? Min has a bunch of knives in high school, so obviously once she gets out, she upgrades to a sword. Duh. <laughs> Wait, yay! 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 They're together! Oh my god. Like, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, that was so nice. I'm gonna go... Man, I, I'm like... Well... Honestly, like, I thought... A couple of things. I thought that the roses were gonna play, like, a larger part. <laughs> How am I supposed to sleep? What am I supposed to do? Uh... But like, I don't know. I feel like the roses just kind of got thrown behind. I think the reason why I was so like, like I don't know, aware of it is probably because I read like. Hear me out. I read a, f I read like a fanfic, that like, like focused on the roses. I think, I don't know. It's a while ago, so I don't exactly remember. But like. And, like, that was, like, one of the ways that they, like, paired Akarsha and Noel together, I think. Right. Or, or I'm remembering wrong. I don't know. So I thought that that was gonna happen again, but it didn't. Which was, which was nice, because I don't know if... I don't know how... I don't know. <laughs> it's been so long since I read that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And, like... Man, cause, cause during it's a five year wait, you know. So obviously, I read fanfic about Akarsh and Noel getting together because I can't just sit here and just like stew in misery. So, right? But I, but like the the thing I was really worried about that was that I was gonna like, like the fan like some fan fiction's story more than the main story or something like that. But. But it's okay, it's okay, the main story is really good, so it's just, it's that wasn't the case, so... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 83 and no one tells her. No! <laughs> what did you... Akarsh is about to die and Noelle's just like, there's something I just, I've never told you. That... <laughs> that time in freshman year in high school, those roses, that was me. <laughs> And the car's just like, what? And then she dies. No, that's awful. <laughs> the roses were a prank. Exhausted all fan, right? Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Man, oh god. I think, I don't know. Do you guys think, like, a sequel is necessary? I feel like it's pretty, it's pretty wrapped up, you know? Like, Butterfly Soup felt like there- like, there, it felt like there needed a Butterfly Soup too, because there were elements of the story that just like- or, no, it was the- it was Akarsha and Noelle who just kind of felt like there was more to them, right? And just didn't get explored, right? But then Butterfly Soup does that, so then it's like, well, I don't think there needs to be any more, right? Like, you could tell more stories, like, based on the side characters, you know? the baseball club and the killer whales or whatever, right? But like, it's like, I don't know. I feel like you're over milking it at that point. I don't know. Yeah, it feels like the story is kind of done, which is, which is nice. Like it's, it ends in a good spot, you know? All the rest of the content can just be either blog posts or like fan content. <laughs> List content, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know. I think in terms of like having games be released, 
like it feels pretty wrapped up you know like if there is going to be more to it it would probably be like a spin-off or a side story or something like that <laughs> oh yeah i definitely understand <laughs> I hope it sticks around though, cause like, uh, I feel like Butterfly Soup last time, it like it got traction, like I remember there being news reports saying like this is the best visual novel of the year or something like that, right? But like, in terms of fandom it's still pretty small, you know? But yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, but yeah, man, it's just, man, it's just such a good game. <laughs> I lack the um, vocabulary to express my emotions, but like, you know, you know, you don't have, you don't need me to tell you, you know. <clears throat> Yeah, like, I'm tr I'm trying to convince people to just, like, play the game. Just like, just play it, you know? Like, I'll watch you play it. <laughs> I'll watch every inch of your playthrough. Like, I'm very starved for more reactions to this. <laughs> because it's just so nice. It's like... Because I... Uh, hmm. It's like, you, like, this whole, like, representation thing, like, just sort of, like, being seen, right? Like, oh, he's just like me for real, for real, you know? But, like, in a serious way, right? And, I don't know, from my perspective, because I've never seen it as, like, super big of a deal to, like, be seen in media. Like, when Barbie came out with the different race Barbie dolls and stuff like that. It was just kind of like, okay, you know, whatever, right? But like, it's- but then there's this one game in particular I played and shit, I forgot the name of it. I can look it up real quick. But it features a, um, a Chinese- Chinese American or Chinese immigrant, I forgot. But Chinese- like Chinese American-ish- it's set in the 1920s though, so. But it's like very progressive for the 1920s. <laughs> but it- like the main character was Chinese, right? And like playing it, it was just like something was like, wait, this is like really nice. <laughs> I don't know. It was something, something about it. I can't put it in words, right? And now it's like, okay, I get it. I get it. It's like when you have media that just gets you, and you're like, yo, I, man, I relate on a hard level. Hashtag relatable. But, man. Find that's not it. Where's my library? Oh, it's called the Blind Griffin. Yeah, it's a dating sim. It's a dating sim. I played with my friend. It's it was okay. <laughs> uh, oh man. Oh, thank you for sticking around through. I don't even know how long the stream was. How long is this? So. so Seven hours. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I think I read on the website that it was supposed to be two to three hours long. How did we stretch it here? <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> I think it's well, it's probably because I was reading everything out loud, which adds on a couple like an hour or two at least, right? And then <laughs> and then also coupled with the multiple breaks that I took because of um information that will not be mentioned again <laughs> we were getting emotional that's why <laughs> man yeah exactly gosh the game is three yeah it's totally three hours long <laughs> yeah totally. it's three hours long if you're playing by yourself and just reading it, it's seven hours long if you are reading it out loud and then you get- <laughs> you become 
Um, and then it plays with your emotions. <laughs> that's what happens. That's, yeah, that's exactly it. Four hours. Yeah, see, it's it's not supposed to be this long. It's because I kept talking in between. But like, that's that's why I'm here. That's why I'm streaming it, man. So it's it was gonna be long anyway. But yeah. Man, am I hungry. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Alright. <laughs> alright. It's alright, it's it's like eleven PM now. Alright, I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it. So so, um, yeah, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for sitting through seven hours of gameplay. <laughs> I really loved Butterfly Soup, and or and Butterfly Soup 2 is also just as amazing. I don't really know which one is better, and I don't really want to compare them, because it's just kind of like the story and then the second half of the story. It's just combined together a great story. It's great. It's really good. Please tell your friends and family to watch it. Oh, to watch it, to play it. Or if they don't want to download it, or if their laptop's built, broken, you should go stream it to them and play it with them, because I think it would be a great experience. Okay. <laughs> Alright, thank you! Thank you for stopping by, and good night! <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, hello. I'm so exhausted. <laughs> Yay! Um, what? Welcome. I'm back. Hello. Hello, hello. Pregnant? Pachi, pachi, pachi. Um, what? Welcome. I'm back. Everything is Tuscara at this point. She dying Tuscara. <laughs> Yay! I love landing the joke. Um, what? Welcome. I'm back! Are you feeling alright? Pregnant? That's my whole world, bro. Bro. Um, what?